I become a little too shy for love? I've been hurt before, all's fair in love and war. So I snuggle up close to the shell I'm living in. And if I let you in, another round begins. me anymore I wish they would have helped you text back sooner thought I opened up a door I guess I closed the one that kept our future why am I always the one that does a changing I lost myself trying to fix what's wrong while you go do the same things I wish I never cut my hair Called all night Never let you love The songs I liked Always get too close And let me down I wish I never let us fall out I wish I never grew it out The way you say Cause now I'm so damn close To God and say When I look in my camera Every day I wish I never let us fall out I still got my hurt in I know you wait often as I'm gone I guess you take the things you want And leave me feeling like the lonely one Why am I always the one that does the changing? I lost myself Trying to fix what's wrong while you go do the same things I wish I never cut my hair Called all night, never left Songs I like always get too close and let me down. I wish I never let us fall out. I wish I never grew it out the way you say. Cause now I'm so damn close to going insane when I look in my camera every day. I wish I never let us fall out. Wish I knew better than to take your crying. As 
a sign for me to change. I gave my all and now I'm barely fine with the memories hovering on my face. Wish I knew better than to take your crying as a sign for me to change. I gave my all and now I'm barely fine with the things I do every day. At least I never cut my hair cold all night. Never let you love the songs I love. You gotta settle down, feel your breathing start to shake up. Just gotta hear me out. No, it doesn't have to be your fault. Oh, you try to tell me I'm a broken one. You're the only one feeling like you're not enough. I know my issues feel like they're your exit door. They make you insecure, but you know what they're looking for. So baby, shut up. What is going on? I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody had a good rest of their night slash day. Welcome, welcome. I've had a good day. I'm full of energy. So what do you say we finish off the main story of control today? Hey, the plan, I don't know, six to eight hours, six to nine hours. I don't know. Some, wh whatever I've got energy for, I actually have the mic on this time. I actually knew what I was doing a little bit when I started the stream <laughs> but uh yeah I'm excited because as you know I've been loving this game we did the longest stream I've ever done yesterday it was like what eight and a half hours over eight and a half hours 
So that was fun. That was a lot of fun. So I'm I, I'm ready today. You guys would be proud of me. My camera is blurry again, and I don't know why it's fucking blurry. Camera, what are you doing to me? What is going on, camera? This I I swear all of my equipment like just rebels against me. Okay, and now it's frozen. All right, all right, lovely camera. All right, you absolute piece of garbage. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Already with that, ten dude. I was so on point today too. I had everything going perfect, everything set up nice and good, and then I don't. know, Maybe do you think like I'm such a loud person that like it scares my equipment? Is that what it is? There we go. It's focused in a little bit. What? What the? What the? Yo, what kind of? Wait, <laughs> What is happening? All right. Anyway, people be out of. Yeah, I must have like gremlins or what were those things from home safety hotline? For those of you that watched that video that I did, must have like those little keyboards or whatever the fuck they are running around messing with my shit, dude. Hey, I prepared the fuck out of out of out of stuff today. So I got like my dinner prepped already. I got snacks prepped for myself that I could just go and grab like healthy shit, too. You guys would be proud. I accomplished so much today. I did more laundry. I got the entire house caught up on laundry. I, I took like an hour long walk with the doggo, played some fetch with her in the backyard. She's a happy girl. She's sleeping on the couch. We just, I just had cleans my car out. Like it's just been a productive as hell day. And now it's time to relax and have some fun with you guys and scream at video games. And I'm excited about that. So let's get into it. I hope everybody's doing good. Goober, Dracice, Mr. Diabati, Paolo, welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are all doing good. Thanks for being here. Uh, Stewie MC, uh, Toko, Carrie, Dog Soldier, Cass, Sarah, Freaky Sky, Scott Mason, Panthera, Michael C, Bishop, Atnir. Who else we got? Patrick. Welcome, everybody. Leslie, good to see you. Thanks for joining. I hope everybody's doing good. Drag guy said, Skilly, I got my PC so excited. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Congrats, man. Congrats. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear it, dude. <clears throat> well, make sure you go through, you know, set up all your settings, do all that jazz, do all that good stuff, dude. Download Steam, get the games installed that you want to have installed, all that good stuff, dude. Congrats. All right. That's awesome, man. Welcome to PC gaming. All right. Let's get to it. Every time I think it makes sense. Uh, so if you remember where we left off, left off, if you, if you remember where we left off last time, guys, if you remember where we left off last time, we just went into the like parapsychology, parakeesnology, like Dr. Darling kind of area. We found Marshall, who is like kind of head of operations or, you know, and she had a bunch of people there and stuff. We found her. This is her right here, Marshall, right? And uh, we went and got a black rock prism. Um, for her to create more Hedron devices, I believe, and help out. And then she told us about our brother, what was his name again? Fuck, Dylan, right? I think it's Dylan. And our brother Dylan was actually taken or kidnapped by the FBC, the Federal Bureau of Control, uh, at the Altered World event in Jesse and Dylan's town called Ordinary, which was over a decade ago. Um, and he was actually taken because he was being groomed and prepared to be the next director of the Federal Bureau of Control. But we don't know exactly why something happened. Things went awry. He's dangerous is what Marshall told us. We don't necessarily believe that or our character Jesse doesn't. And uh, so now we're going to go try to um, yeah, it says right there. Find Dylan. Now we're going to go try to find Dylan. Uh, Marshall told us kind of where we could find him. But she was very clear. She said, don't let him out whatever you do don't let him out <laughs> so uh that's a little freaky right i don't know we're gonna see what's going on leslie has been a channel member at the squadron level for 14 months leslie you absolute legend thank you so much for that just insane support i really appreciate it that helps out a bunch the squadron level is the highest level so thank you and carrie with the 20 dollars stream elements donation carrie you absolute rock star thank you that helps out a bunch. I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, oh, and the other thing we learned yesterday that we got confirmation on is that Jesse has an entity, uh, an interdimensional or a parallel dimensional entity in her head, essentially, who has been helping her. And that entity's name is Polaris, or that's what she calls uh, 
the entity. She's been referring now to the entity as her or she. Um, Polaris doesn't communicate, it seems, so much with words and everything, but more visuals and feelings and stuff is the thing that I got. And it's almost like fourth wall breaking, too, we've talked about. It's almost like Jesse's speaking to the player, but I, I, there is 100% confirmation that there is a interdimensional slash parallel dimensional entity in Jesse's head helping out. So, out. anyway. Uh, I think we're gonna go to the sector elevator and go to containment or uh, panopticon. That is my best recap of all the events of yesterday, but you should definitely go check out that stream if you haven't seen it uh, when you get a chance because it was a shit ton of fun. Uh, MJC with the $20 super chat said literally just logged in to say hey before I put away laundry. MJC, you absolute rock star. Thank you. I really appreciate the super chat. You're awesome. Phoenix Locks with the five gifted channel memberships. Those went to Noah Astle, uh, AZ Naza, Valigator, Stacy83, and Sparkwater. Welcome to channel membership on behalf of Phoenix Locks. Phoenix, you legend. The blurry figure thanks you. I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, where are we going? We're going to the containment sector, right? We also are going to do the two DL DLCs. So I don't know how much longer it's going to take us to complete the main story. I want to do a lot of the side missions if I can too as we go. But uh, we'll be doing the DLCs as well. There's there's two expansions, two uh, expansion areas, as I understand it. So I'm doing good, Luxy Funky. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Hey, uh, chat, you're going to have to help me out. It's okay if you're not going to be here. Hold on. Panopticon. Panopticon. Altered items. Maximum security prison. Dangerous. Okay, so uh, if you remember from the rest of the game, we haven't been here yet, but the Panopticon is essentially, you can think of it as like the area of the oldest house where they house dangerous para-utilitarians, dangerous altered items, things that need to be contained, right? It's the SCP part of the facility, essentially. So we're going to get into it. Gaelic Devil, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Panthera, welcome. Good to have you. Yeah, I always try to recap because I know life be life in, right? Not everybody can catch everything. So you had the fam over for Easter. Oh, that's awesome. Hell yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> shit. I hope that was a good recap. I think it was. I don't know. Oh, uh, what I was going to say is chat. I need you guys' help. For those that are still going to be here when it happens. So I have an alarm set, but just to make sure. 7.30... I need to take like a 15 minute break, walk the dog, get my dinner, you know, get some snacks and stuff. Just make sure I'm eating, move around, you know, so I don't get blood clots or anything weird. And then uh, 1030 and then I should be good to go the rest of the night. So those are the two break times. If you want to plan ahead, 730 p.m. Eastern and 1030 p.m. Eastern. That's when we're going to take breaks, 10, 15 minute breaks to, you know, take care of the old doggo and and get some food and use and uh you know i'll use the bathroom at other times if i need to but th that'll be like designated break times okay all right if you're planning ahead like me can we watch this or is this just annual review of containment procedures and processes all right yep no need for that huh i hear the hiss chanting like oh yeah here we go Yep. I figured that might be the case. Can I just snipe this guy? Yeah! Dude, Pierce is so fucking good. Woo, baby! Dude, I love this game. Oh, I'm dialed in. I'm dialed in already, baby. Woo! Dude, I gotta be honest. I might be wrong about this, but I feel like maybe with certain power-ups, I feel like Shatter, the shotgun um, side of, of the service weapon, like, do you need it? I mean, you have a lot more bullets with Shatter, right? So you can rapid fire faster. It's probably better for crowd control, but 
with Pierce, it's just like, as long as your aim is locked in and you use the, the flipping between guns to reload faster, Pierce is just, it is, it is fucking, it's redunculous. Now, of course, if you're at close quarters, it's, uh, it loses its potency, right? Because the, the enemies get on you too fast. All right. Hey, what's up, Morgan? Welcome to the stream. Setch, good to have you. Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. Uh, what is this? More reports. God, there are so many collectibles in this game. Uh, object of power and altered item distinctions. While altered items and objects of power may seem similar at first, it's important to note some very key distinctions. Firstly, objects of power grant para-utilitarian abilities. Um, secondly, objects of power translocate anyone who makes physical contact to the astral plane. This is widely believed to be due to the redacted's affiliation with objects of power. Not every individual is allowed in the astral plane which indicates the redacted evaluates who can or cannot enter. Thirdly, and this is not always the case, objects of power are much more paranaturally redacted than altered items. Looking at the specific criteria that defines an object of power, it is no wonder they are notably rarer than altered items. In fact, we have redacted altered items for every object of power contained within the Bureau. So objects of power are like the high level uh, objects of power and places of power, right, are like the high level, like the highest extra dimensional, dimensional, intra dimensional, like powerful items. Altered items just have like a, a minor quirk or a weird effect, right? But like objects of power are the things that have given Jesse like the ability to evade, right? The uh, our telekinesis, all that. Like those are just on a whole a whole different level, right? All right, uh, find my brother. Uh, do you think she's done? Is she done yet with uh, the mold? No, we have to wait. Okay. I think that mold mission might actually be one of the DLC things. I'm not 100% certain, by the way. Hey, what's up, Cass? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Ferbers, welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. Nameless, welcome. Thanks for being here. Oh, yeah, Nameless. Well, I... <laughs> If, uh, if you can sleep to it, go for it. <laughs> it always surprises me because, you know, I feel like, like I said la yesterday, I'm a very loud person. All right. Any other, uh, you know, like any lore? God damn, dude. All the chanting and shit, dude. Oh, yeah, there we go. Recording. Reminder. This week, any documents that suddenly appear pink light red or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately is that the mold failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm possible Thank bodily you harm attention you got it man hey what's up tim miller yeah this game control is very good i learned today too when i was making my thumbnail i didn't know this maybe somebody said this and i didn't realize but control 2 has been announced in the sense that there was no trailer or anything. It's a while away. It's probably several years away. But Remedy Games and 505 Games announced their partnership for Control 2 and that they are working on it and it's going to come out. And it's going to be uh, even bigger and better and crazier was the announcement. But, you know, there's not even any concept art, no trailer, nothing like that. So it's a ways away. But Control 2 is going to be a thing. And since we're going to have played this one and I love it so much already, we're going to we're going to do it together day one when it comes out for sure they have they have earned my allegiance until they fuck up which hopefully they don't do <laughs> but yeah so i'm i i was it was really nice to see that that there's gonna be a control too we also don't have confirmation that it has anything to do with jesse i mean we don't know how this story plays out or anything like that we just know it's gonna center around the Federal Bureau of Control and, and like this part of the wake universe, right? So. All right. Nico, did I say hi? I know you, I think you've been here, Nico, but welcome. If I didn't say hi. Man, nobody's really using the safe rooms. 
Did I just get an interact button somewhere? All right, what is this? Logistics and security, logistics and security. So both the doors go to the same place. Okay. We'll take the left one. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, we're going to take... Is there a thing shielding them? Is there an entity? Is there one of those circle things over there? Or is it up above? All right, you know what? This guy dies first. Shielded enemies first, always. Woo, baby. Hey, hold this for me, bitch. Hey, hold that for me. Sparta Java with the uh, four months of channel membership at the cadet level said, Ooh, Sparta Java, you absolute rock star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You're a legend. Dude, man, I should have stopped trying to seize that guy. I, I was, that was, that was, that was on me. That was 100% on me. I knew better. I knew this game doesn't, doesn't play around. I hit it with a <laughs> explosion. Explosion. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, where are you, fuckers? Oh, sniper. Yep. Nope. Not today, son. Okay. Well, at least we kept all the collectible progress. Hey, what's up, Jackie O'Lantern? and welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. At least the glowy weapon looks cool, dude. Pierce looks amazing. Yeah. All right. Troll point shining, or there's another guy here. He came up the stairs. Bitch. That's everybody, right? All right. What does it say? Security, medical wing, and panopticon. Okay. Panopticon is ultimately. What was that? I heard that. I heard that, motherfuckers. All right. Okay. Panopticon is ultimately where we want to get to, right? We need the building shift to be able to get over to that side. All right, let's do the control point. Let's go. So whenever we see that visual anomaly, right? That's Polaris communicating with us, telling that that's important. We should do this or interact with this. We learned that yesterday. Patrick Cheeseman, could I cliff notes the events of the game? Yeah, hold on a sec. The building shift, they made him look so cool. Visually, this game is very striking. So I think if I'm going to cliff notes it, I hate to keep doing this because it's very unique in its own right. Um, and it has forged its own identity. So I don't want to make it sound like it's a copy of this, but it is very similar um, in story to kind of SCP, right? So the best way to think about it is in the Alan Wake universe, there are things called objects of power, places of power, and then altered world events, right? So OOPs, POPs and AWEs, right? And there's also altered items. So, and they all have different levels of power or different things, right? An object of power is an item, almost like an SCP object, that when it is bound to a person, gives them some sort of ability. Those abilities can be positive, like telekinesis with Jesse, or they might have some more negative effects. Altered world events are like things that happen, like a dimension or another reality crossing over into our reality at um you know a certain location like there was an altered world event at our main character's town named ordinary and we don't exactly know what that event was or we haven't been told yet and then um 
places of power are places that hold some sort of special significance. They are a way between, between dimensions or realities or things like that. And within the Alan Wake universe, there is the Federal Bureau of Control, the FBC, which has been, uh, it's a U.S. government organization, kind of like the foundation for SCP, that has come about. And their job and their task, right, is studying, containing, dealing with objects of power, altered world events, etc., etc., etc. Our main character is Jesse Faden. She uh, lived in the town of Ordinary. There was an alter world event there a decade plus ago. Her brother Dylan was kidnapped by the FBC. She's been trying to find the FBC ever since then. She finally found it. When she got here, there was uh, an interdimensional entity or hive intelligence named the Hiss that was attacking the FBC. And the uh, prior director of the SBC, his name is Trench, uh, killed himself with this special gun that we have right here, the service weapon. Jesse, our character, picked it up, and whoever bounds the service weapon, it's an object of power, I believe, becomes the next director of the FPC. So now Jesse is the director of the FPC. We are working our way through the FPC's um, building to A, try to find our brother and figure out what happened to him, and B, stop the hiss from uh taking over the fbc and leaving the fbc building and interacting with the rest of our world because they are from another either reality or dimension or alternate universe and they should not be here and they seem to be hostile so that is the rough and dirty i think the best synopsis i could give um a lot of stuff is not as that seems also the other thing important to know is that the fbc headquarters is a place of power called the oldest house and it essentially shifts and changes its layout and its rooms and a bunch of stuff about itself constantly all the time uh when we change that control point right there what you just saw was what's called a building shift which is something that this building does so anyway is that a good summary for those that have played the game before i hope so <laughs> And if somebody timestamp or clip this, clip this, clip that like, that's more than a minute, but make two or three clips of it. And then if somebody asks, we can just refer back to this. That's the best I got. I shot my load right there. They do kind of let the gun choose the director. The funny thing about the gun is if you pick it up and it doesn't bind itself to you, you die. It, uh, it makes you commit karmicide. So, it's, uh, it's kind of dangerous, right? <laughs> it's a little bit of a catch-22. It's a job that if you want to get the job, you have a high probability of dying. So, the, the, the service weapon seems to be... It seems to have some relation or, or correlation or be bound to the oldest house, the building itself as well. So... And anyway, this is connected to the Alan Wake universe because Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. Para-utilitarians are people who can use objects of power or who can go to the astral plane. They have some sort of ability to interact with these, you know, extra dimensional or alternate or parallel universes. And uh, the FBC and kind of the idea of altered world events and everything was first introduced in the Alan Wake games. And one of the DLCs kind of focuses on the connection with Alan Wake a lot, is my understanding. We haven't played the DLC, blah, blah, the DLC yet, but yeah. So that's the connection there. I've tried to call out every time I see something that connects to the Alan Wake universe. I've tried to... Uh, I'm not going to catch everything, right? Someone uh, needs help but out there. I've tried to call it out. What's up, Jonathan? Welcome to the stream. Sounds like there's a man down. But I would say if you like SCP and you like SCP lore and everything, this is very well done and in that same vein. So you will definitely enjoy this if you like if you like those games or that style of game. What is this? Okay, this fight is not going well because I'm missing. All right, got him. We have a major, we have a side mission that popped up. Dude, Pierce is where it's at to deal with those fucking, the shielded enemies. 
otherwise they're just they're just a pain in the ass yeah baby all right wasn't this the room that i was in yeah it is there's the control point right there i hear fuck dude sniper shit Son of a bitch. I need your I need your eye up your your blue thingies to heal. Fucker. Hey. Got him. Where's the other one? <laughs> oh! oh my god! Jesus, where did the rocket come from? Where the fuck did the rocket was it the guys that I just killed? Okay, it was. They got a rocket off before I shot him? Holy shit, dude. Yeah, I know. I'm like the new director of this place, but I've been destroying everything in my path. <laughs> I love... The, one of the great things about this game is, is like almost everything you can interact with and fuck with and pick up and destroy. It's just... Oh, it's so good. The combat is so much fun. All right. Oh. Ooh. I'm here. What happened to you? I uh, got in a little scrap. Name's Horowitz. I oh ah. Ooh. Is he gonna be okay? I don't, don't know. Look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells <laughs> I don't is think still he's in fine. there. You gotta get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We were hunting a runaway altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks. The clocks. A threshold. Okay. The bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. We, were, we followed the altered item inside, but the way it was acting, we weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. Yeah, I don't think he's fine. That's a lot of blood. I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Uh, Wells is the medic. Please, <laughs> you gotta get him out of, of there. Of course he is. I'll be fine. Of really. course he is. Rook can patch me up later. Fine. But I'll be back for you. I damn well hope so. <laughs> Just use the motel cord there. It should get you into the clocks. Sorry. The threshold. Okay, so for those that don't know, the threshold is... Uh, when they refer to a flesh... A, a, a fresh, a fresh, when a threshold is mentioned, that means like a place or an area where you could cross between dimensions or realities or into the astral plane or whatever. Like, um, I think technically the Ocean View Motel from the Alan Wake games, and it's been, we've been in it several times in this game too, is essentially a threshold in and of itself, right? If I understand them correctly. You could probably call Ocean View Motel a place of power as well. I think the, those are kind of interchangeable, not fully. The rule of three, two, Trey, and speak of Ocean View Motel. It's not a loop, it's a spiral! Everybody okay? <laughs> it's not a, an upside down triangle, it's a pyramid! All right, everybody palm down. Everybody palm down, everything's okay. I don't know why you guys are freaking out. Don't freak out. All right, we got another Ocean View Motel puzzle. The handle. All right. Yeah, if you can't stand or you can't walk, if you're so injured that you need to set down and you can't get up, it's bad, right? <laughs> Like, it's not good. <laughs> Panthera said, Jesus, you scared me. That was the point. Is everybody awake? Is everybody awake? Everybody wake up. All right. Uh, ooh. Speaking of clocks. All right. Hold on. Uh, all right. What time is it going to land on? Is it going to stop? <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dude? Uh, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, like when I escape is when it stops. Oh shit. Okay. We're going to have to, all right. If I hit this again, there's going to be a, oh no. Oh wait. What's that laughing in the background? Do you guys hear that? Excuse me. All right, this is a puzzle. When I hit the bell, the time changes. 
So I think I got to match the, the clocks in the rooms to the times here, right? So we want to stop the little hand on the 6. And then in between the 11 and the 12. God, that's going to be hard. Is there going to be a clock in here? There is. All right. Fuck, dude. All right. Little hand on the 6. And then the other one in between the 2. Yes, we, we hear... Oh, I fucked it. I got... Okay, I got it. They, they, they don't want it to be... I got that one. All right, so that one's correct. We're going to have to do the first one again. I totally came to the bell and clicked it the first time and didn't even notice the clock. All right, what time? So between the 10 and the 11 and between the 5 and the 6. Okay, so the little hand moves slower, so... I'm going to, because it's the hour hand, right? So the hour hand between 10 and 11. And then between 5 and 6. All right. I got this. Then we're going to have to do the first one over. Oh, man, I missed it. All right, we got to wait for it to go back around. Fuck! Yeah, there's some weird laughing in the background. It's way in the background, though. Oh, I got I to gotta fix the volume. I realized I have it way too loud. Okay, there we go. There's that. Hold on a sec, guys. Sorry about that. Because combat was probably blowing everybody's ears out. All right. There we go. Don't worry. It should still be fine. Um, I don't hear it anymore, by the way, Nico. So don't worry. You're not missing anything again. It was there, and now it's gone. And I don't know why. Uh, so this should open the first door again. Yep. And then we got to fix it to... Between one and two and three and four. Okay, between one and two for the hour. It seems like as long as you stop it with the hour hand correctly, it's fine. Why is this one not moving? There we go. Oh, shit. I, I panicked again and I didn't stop it at the right time. Fuck. What's up, Roaring Oblivion? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. At near. can't remember if I said hi. Welcome. Good to have you. I missed it again. I was reading chat and it just went by. Fuck, every time? Do I say hi to you twice every time? Ah, oh, that's me. That's a, okay, that's what we needed. So what should happen now, I think, if, if this continues as it has been, we're going to open the door three again. There's going to be a key. No, there's a key right here. That's where the key goes. And then the key unlocks one of these doors. It, does it always unlock the Black Pyramid? Okay. It unlocked the Black Pyramid last time. I guess it unlocks the Black Pyramid again. And then we go here. That looks like a containment box for an object of power. Uno. Dos. Tres. Find the missing medic. All right. Let's do it. This Wells guy can't be far. He can't be far? I mean, he could be. All right. By the way, I don't think I ever mentioned this, but I'm sure those of you that watch me play Alan Wake get it. Light switches, right? Uh, or pull cords for lights. Anything that a switch to do with light. Very symbolic, very important, very metaphorical um, in Alan Wake games. The switch or the light switch in Alan Wake 1 and 2 is a massively important item, right? And they continue to play a big role here in Control. So that's another connection to the Alan Wake universe. I mean, this is all the same universe, right? But you know, you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I see clocks over there. What are you? Why? Are, I don't like that sound, brother. I don't like that sound. I know where I have to go, I think. I just... Don't know if I want to walk over there yet. Okay, I guess we are walking over here. I hear stuff that does not Those sound friendly. The clocks he was talking about. That is a lot of clocks. Is something spawning like a shit ton of clocks? What's the what's the purpose of all the clocks, dude? All right, control point to cleanse. Are there enemies? Am I walking into a trap? Uh, oh, yeah, I absolutely am. I took a little bit of damage. Not a lot. Where did you come from? Fuck, fuck. Oh my god, I'm getting lit up out there. Come on. I knew you'd do that. 
I heard you walking, bitch. Oh, I scared myself. I thought I saw something out of my peripheral vision, so I just shot. <laughs> and then that scared me. Oh my god, I got problems, man. The number of times I scare myself in games is great. All right, can I cleanse this now or am I going to get am I going to get No. Nope. Wait. I'm hearing Wells talk. All right, hold on. Let's cleanse this. All right, at least we have the point right now. This looks like a camp for FBC security personnel that we've been running into. Ooh, Entropic Echo. We needed that to upgrade. I, I think we needed two, though, but hold on. Uh, Astral Constructs, yes. Pierce, upgrade Pierce, upgrade Shatter, upgrade Spin. Okay, what do we need? 25. We have 47,000 source. We need to not die is what we need. We need three more Corrupted Samples. We need, uh, oh my God, I need so much to upgrade the shotgun. Like, look at how many remote thoughts and entropic thoughts I need. That's, it's, yes, I can upgrade Pierce. That's all I care about, dude. That's all. Now I have an extra, an extra thing for the weapon form. Uh, that's fucking right, dude. I would also like to upgrade, um, what is charge? Charge holds, that's a new one. Ooh, charge holds up to three explosive. I didn't even recognize that that was there. Charge holds up to three explosive projectiles that can stagger enemies caught in their blast radius. Oh, it's like a grenade launcher. Oh, well, we have to get that. We need more remote thoughts, though. Uh, I'm not doing that yet. We don't want to spend our resources on that. I have one ability point. I don't think there's anything I can get for one. Extra melee damage. You know what? I'll fuck with it. Let's go. We'll spend one more point and then we unlock our third mod slot. So what do we have? Kill his troopers in the research sector. We're not there anymore. Research sector. Okay. We got to get rid of those because we're not in there anymore. <clears throat> research. We're not there. Maintenance. We're not there. Without getting hit, kill his snipers in the containment sector using shatter. Okay. Oh, using shatter though? Yeah. Kill enemies in the containment sector using abilities. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, research incursion. No. Uh, Containment incursion, use shatter, kill. I don't want to use shatter. Uh, kill has hiss elevated. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I heard Wells, but where is he? Well, he could be anywhere. Eh? Eh? How about that one for you guys? Everybody, everybody. Yeah, there we go. I just had to call attention to it, you know. Hey, what's up, Misty? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. What's up, um, Ari? Welcome. Good to have you. I appreciate you being here. Joker, good to see you. Thanks for joining. All right. I upgraded Pierce, right? Oh, I need to put... I need to put... That means I have... All right, what is this? Damage while low on health plus 85%. Damage while aiming, 29%. Damage against enemy armor. Ooh. I mean, that goes with Pierce, right? For sure. What about Grip? We have better stuff that I could be using on Grip. What am I doing? Damage plus 18. Hold on, what's Grip? Damage plus 18. Damage against enemy armor 30. All right. What can we do that's better? Um, headshot damage plus 46%. Ammo cost per shot minus 5. Reload speed 14%. Accuracy plus 6. Uh, we can get rid of this headshot damage. Uh, damage against enemy armor. You know, I might, I might, I might leave. We need better things for grip. Uh, what's my new mod thingy here? I don't have another slot yet. Absolute and prime. Okay, we're good. All right. That door is level nine. Dude, the most we've seen is six, and we have level five clearance. Level nine? Fucking hell. All right, well, god damn, dude. And I thought we were starting to get to the top of the clearance things. Oh, is someone dead? Are, are, do you see me? Hello? Okay. 
Are you Wells? Your friend asked me to come looking for you. That must be Horowitz. Glad he got out. I stayed back to help the others. Did a shit job of it, clearly. You tried. That's enough. Horowitz needs your help now. How do we get out of here? We should head back through the threshold. Yep. We can look for other survivors as we go. We better hurry. Can this... Can this... Which way? <laughs> Just follow the blood. All right. So I'm a little worried here because I'm assuming I have to keep escort him back, right? But here's the problem. You can fail missions in this game. Like, I have failed several missions. I'm wondering, can he actually die? Like, does he have level nine clearance? He's going to take us through level nine. You beautiful bastard. All right, hold on. Before you go there, I'm going to already let him die. I just want to make sure there's not a collectible over here, brother. We like reading all the lore. Okay, there's not. Please don't go through the door without me, dude. I'm already abandoning him. Oh, he follows me. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, come on, dude. Hey, what's up, Mr. Diamante? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Surfing Penguin, good to have you. Appreciate you being here. What does that mean? Okay. What's with the clocks? Yeah, what's the object of power that's here? Effect. This used to be a regular office wing before the threshold manifested. The forces at play in there got a hold of someone's old clock and started duplicating. Now the office is abandoned and its clocks all the way down. That's weird. What is this? This is like one of the Darling, Dr. Darling research videos, but that's not Dr. Darling. That's his research assistant, right? He's like, why the fuck are you filming me, bro? Oops. Oops. Uh, can I fix that? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to bump it. I didn't mean to bump it, dude. <laughs> that would be really unsettling to have somebody filming you the whole time you're working. I mean, I guess that's what I'm doing to myself, but still, that would be strange. It'd be strange. You think the janitor is God? Yeah, I think... I, I don't think that's a bad theory. I think that's a good theory. I think Ati is not human. I think he's some sort of interdimensional or parallel universe being. And uh, he knows a lot more than he knows. Um, or I think what's happened is he, like, lives... but Like, he obviously, like, shifts between realities and dimensions and stuff. Or that's been hinted at. And I think that's driven him a little, like, cuckoo. <laughs> uh... So I think that's why he doesn't make sense sometimes. There's Dr. Darling. Is nobody going to say anything in this? She's like, this guy's a fucking idiot. Why is he my boss? <laughs> I think we encountered this before next to that elephant, right? That's like an altered item, I think. I don't know what he's trying to do, though. Probably running an experiment on it to right understand how it works, I would assume. Was that just his reflection or were there two guys? There were two guys. so that guy couldn't melee me but oh damn it man i got in trouble there i should have stayed up there and sniped when did i unlock the ability to eat the breeze long time ago in the first stream uh that's my telekinesis powers but yeah uh do i gotta talk to you again hello let's go yeah let's go <laughs> i died i can't believe i've already died two times again I get a, I get a little too confident, a little too cocky, and I go I go in What's with too the hard. Box? All right, we've seen that. 
threshold is that. regular office when before the threshold. The forces of claim there got a hold of someone's old clock and started duplicating it. Now the office is abandoned and the clock is out of order. a little bit but i managed i managed to to think on my feet and grab the rocket and throw it back all right <laughs> i usually fail at doing that that's why i had like nine deaths last year grenades and rockets this was always that's what always kills me man uh do you want to open the door like how am i supposed to open the door from here dude buttons in there do i need to create a door i'll create a door that's what you want all right, I can't create a door. You, 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 you want to help out, man? How the fuck am I supposed to get in? Open the gate for Wells? Well, where the fuck am I supposed to open the gate at, man? All right, there's got to be... There's something I'm missing. Open the gate for Wells. Oh, go up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, Knight Rider? Welcome to the stream. So Thanks for joining. So, you came here for an altered item? The anchor. The yeah. anchor. Langston said it'd be a simple item retrieval, but the power of that thing had, I I've never seen anything like it. This might be our last object of power because we still have, um, we still have one more power that we're going to get as Jesse based on the upgrade tree. So this might be, this anchor thing might be our, our, uh, thingy, Mobabi, our doohickey. Jasper Post Box, altered item 31-PE. Agents arrived in the town of Jasper Crossing, Arizona after the communications department intercepted multiple phone calls to local authorities regarding frozen people in the streets. Four of the five dispatch dispatched agents became paralyzed upon arriving at the scene. Additional assessment teams were dispatched. Variations of identification formulas were tried with ineffectual results. Agents resorted to using aerial photography to study the positioning of the paralyzed individuals. Soon after, agents discovered the event's epicenter to be the local post office. Unaffected agents cleared the area of all paralyzed civilians, animals, and bureau personnel before beginning to study the item. Agents deemed susceptible to the item were tasked with interviewing and reinforming the public away from the site. The item was soon placed on a transport vehicle manned by unaffected agents. Air travel had been deemed too dangerous given the item's effect. Numerous reports of temporary paralysis were reported by civilians along the truck's route from Arizona to New York City. So I'm not positive about this. And don't quote me on this, but if anybody has played the first Alan Wake game and there was like a DLC or like a little expansion thingy called Alan Wake's American Nightmare, I think is what it was called. I believe that takes place. I haven't played that. I played the first Alan Wake, but I haven't played that American Nightmare which we need to do the remastered version of Alan Wake and play American Nightmare together at some point because I love the original Alan Wake game too. Um, and I've never, and I want to play American Nightmare, but I believe American Nightmare takes place in Arizona. So this might be a connection to the uh, Alan Wake games and the original Alan Wake uh, DLC, but I could be wrong. If anybody in chat knows... You could confirm that or deny that with as little spoilery information as possible. Uh, Low Wolf, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Slick Monster, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. All right. Valkyrie's Ride, welcome. Appreciate you joining. Black Wolf, good to have you. All right. Uh, this is the pink documents thing we had. And, ooh. All right. The, uh, the, the board, the black pyramid is going to talk to us. Or no, Trench. The containment sector, the Panopticon, is home to the altered items we find and contain. It is a maximum security prison. 
It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols of angry gods. It's all of these, and none of them. It's something more profound, unbelievable. Damn it. Unknowable. Something worse. Something worse. Altered items. We've found many. They appear mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They're all powerful, dangerous. They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. We put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical proportions. God damn. God damn. Hey, uh, Skilker4420 just became a channel member at the squadron level. Squilker, you absolute legend. Thank you so much. That is next level support. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, I got to open the door for this dude, right? But jam. All right. You better not die on me, bitch. Can I get in here? All right. I can't create my own door That's that way. Ooh, uh, so seize accelerator. Oh, for upping. Can I get in this store here? I cannot. Wait, hey! No, fuck, dude. Back up. Back up, bro. Back up. You do not want to fuck with those things. They will explode on you. I gotta take out this bitch. He's gonna look. Got him. Alright. I shouldn't have stepped back in here. God damn. All right, pick up all the upgrade materials. How, so that door isn't open. That's where I jumped down here. There's no way over there from here. How do I... Like, literally... I should be able to climb through that, right? If I crouch? <laughs> if I just break apart... Hold on. Hey, you might want to move, dude. This is going to get ugly. I'm going to be able to fully break through that. <laughs> uh, emergency first aid. Is, am I not? There's a radio you can turn on, but it looks like that's all that is. Okay. So maybe you're just not supposed to get in there. I got you. Sealed threshold hallway. Where are we? Wow. We This place is... The containment sector is huge, and we haven't even been in a, a fifth of it. got killed my friend got killed let's just stop to get an item while uh wells and and wells gets his ass handed to him over there oh i missed fuck hey what's up bitch gotcha is that everybody nope Oh no, that's not good. Fuck. Ow! 
All right, I needed to kill that guy. Sorry. He was gonna be bad news. Oh, dude, I need health. All right, I can, maybe I could seize this guy. Can I get close enough? Fuck it. I, I can't chance him throwing shit at me. Step out, bitch. Step out, motherfucker. I don't think that got him. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Collect all the health. Collect all the health! <laughs> I, I, I sniped him in his fucking face! Gotcha. All right. God damn. They threw that deputy fucking floaty scientist. Cornered us. We sealed the door on the way out. We couldn't let it get out into the bureau. Okay, should I? I'll need to come deal with that altered item later. Later? If I open the safe room now, Wells could get hurt. Oh, that's a good point. I want to open the safe room, though. I want to know what's in there, bro. Scott Mason, I don't know if I said hi. Welcome, Scott. I might have already been saying that a lot. Uh, <sighs> no, I appreciate it, Skilker. I'm glad that my content's a bright spot for people. That's what I want. An escape. Fun place. So take care, Adnir. Have a good walk. Thanks for joining while you could. We'll see you when you get back, whenever you want to rejoin. Come on, we need to get back to Harlem. All right, yeah, dude. I'm just looking for... I'm looking... I need to learn. I need the lore, man. We need the lore, dude. We need it all. Also, I need all the mods. All right. The ambience is awesome here. Okay. Nothing up there? What's over here, man? Is this the right way? Spin grouping efficiency. Weapon mod, a prime weapon mod. Hell yeah, dude. I already shot those. Or they got blasted at some other point. Fuck the hiss. All right. Arctic Queen, Altered Item 10-KE. Uh, an interview with Redacted, 11-20-1974. Can you tell us why you left your building that day? LM, I was running out to get eggs. There was that corner store on 30th. That's why I left Michael there on his own. Knew I wouldn't be gone long. He was drawing at the table when I left. Had his crayons out, happy. The building came down when I was a block away. I ran back, started digging. City workers found Mikey later beside the fridge. The drawings hadn't come off. Tons of bricks fall on it, and those drawings are still there. How does that happen? You kept the refrigerator after the accident? Why? It still had his drawings. God must have kept them safe for a reason, right? I'd get home from work and stare at them all night. I was in a bad way back then. Why did you sell the fridge with your son's drawings on it? They'd gotten stuck to it or something. I thought about cutting them off those magnets, but maybe it was better I didn't hold on to them, you know? Gotta move on, everyone says. What's my fridge got to do with the building collapse? Anyhow. End of relevant portion. Man, don't ever, don't, you can't leave your little kids alone. Don't, so, I mean, there's no way she could have known that the building was gonna collapse and all that shit was gonna happen, but you can't, you can't do that. You just can't do that. All right. Rob with the gifted channel membership and that went to Metal Witch, Metal Witch. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining and uh, welcome to channel membership on behalf of Rob. Rob, you rock star. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Warlord West. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Sorry, dude. I ruined Pacific Drive for myself by watching you play. <laughs> it's all good, man. I appreciate you watching. I'm sorry you kind of ruined it for yourself. Hey, 
I will say though, it's a gameplay wise, it's a ton of fun. So even though you know what happens and you watched it and it's totally up to you, you know, and how you feel, I would still say it's worth a playthrough in my opinion, if you want to play clear, it, we couldn't but. Contain the altered item. Horowitz ordered a retreat. We got out, but Hiss was waiting for us. I took Horowitz to the motel court and went back for the others. All right. That was brave of you. Yeah, this guy's an all right that. dude. It's my job. I got stuck. <laughs> Fuck. Get out of my way, man. All right. Nothing in here. Uh, where were we going again? We were this way. Oh my God. Look at the amount of clocks, bro. What the hell is this duplication altered item or object of power? It, look at how many clocks it has duplicated. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. This is fucking insane. There are so many goddamn clocks. Where the fuck? How do I get out of here? This just looped back. <laughs> are the clocks blocking the way? Oh my God, I'm lost. All right, hold on. <clears throat> I don't know. I can't tell on the map, or at least I can't tell right now. How the fuck? Uh -huh. Oh my God, they're just, they're everywhere. Okay, that's where they sealed it. Oh, wait. He said follow the blood, but where's the blood? All right, let's go back this way. It was tons of fun to watch me play Pacific Drive. Yeah, I had I had a lot of fun with that game. I That's my... That's in the running for one of my favorite games released this year so far. Very high up there, I would say. We'll have to see. This year is still young, right? It's only the end of March. So I have to see what else releases this year. But definitely my favorite survival game in a long time. So very unique. All right. We have a control point. Before we pick up the control point, though, what else is going on here? We're not far now. All right. I hear you. We're not going that way yet, though. We need the control point, buddy. board countermeasures did i complete one i did look at that i got a remote thought too kill enemies in the containment sector using abilities okay i need four more of those and i need to kill a hiss distorted we haven't encountered one of those yet in here containment incursion kill kiss demolish hiss demolition experts kill kiss the band kiss must die no, <laughs> the demolition expert fucks are uh, the ones who fire rockets at me aren't they i hate those bastards all right, what do we need to upgrade um, or do charge? We need one more corrupted sample. Oh, dude, please, 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 please. Oprah Winfrey, give me one more corrupted sample for the love of God. All right, what is this? See, like a bridge. Ordinary AWE? Ordinary AWE. Ordinary's the town I was from, but what? Hey, what's up, Dip? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. You're about to get Helldivers 2 because of me. You got the Odeer because of me. Oh, hell yeah. Well, you're going to have a ton of fun with both of those. They are fantastic multiplayer games. <laughs> I just blew up the servers here. What the fuck, dude? Why they gotta use red creepy lighting for everything in the oldest house? Somebody needs to talk to the interior decorator because they don't, excuse me. I got both of them with one pierce shot. That's what I'm fucking talking about, dude. <laughs> Motherfucker! Motherfucker! A deer game was a lot of fun. I, you know, it's in early access. I, I would like to see them like add some more because there's only two maps I think right now. Um, it's not that expensive though, uh, and it looks like they have some updates planned. But I would like to see them add more maps. I would like them to come up with like slightly altered um game modes too. Uh, 
because I think there's a lot of potential right there. Um, but the uh, the concept and the idea and the execution is really good right now. So I think they have something special on their hands if they'll just keep um, adding to it and refining it. Hey, what's up? Uh, uh, in uh, JK984. I was trying to figure out like how to say your username or whatever. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Glad to have you. I hope you're doing good. Appreciate you being here. So we, uh, I figured out the secret last time, right? To reload the service weapon, you reload faster if you switch forms and it seems to keep reloading up to a degree the more times you switch, right? Well, I also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, can I brag on myself for a minute? I really like using Pierce, right? That's what I've been using. But you see me switching quite rapidly to reload quicker. Um, I always come back to Pierce though, or I've been landing on Pierce almost every time. I, I unintentionally have been counting in my head how many times I flip the weapon. Cause if you, if I flip it an even number, I land back on Pierce, right? If I flip it an odd number, I land on, um, grip. So that's how I've been unintentionally landing on Pierce. Uh, while I'm, I'm doing the flipping dodge efficiency. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, okay. Health and launch energy cost. Evade energy minus 21%. Oh, dude. Uh, that will be my third slot when I get it. I use launch a lot. I love the launch ability, so I don't want to get rid of that, and I need the health boost. But that upgrade right there when I get my third slot unlocked will be it. Come on. The motel court is on the other side of logistics. Mm, okay. Mannequin supplement. That sounds familiar. Waste mannequin. Um, it's an altered item. 7-KE. The item was last owned by Madame Redacted, an operatic performer from Berlin. After her career ended in a public scandal, she relocated to Redacted, Maine for reasons unknown. With her came the trappings of her old life, including this item. Locals reported that she rarely left her home in the short years she spent in Redacted. After her death, caused by Redacted Redacted, the state held a public auction of her belongings, seeing as she had no known relatives. Various conflicting first-hand reports exist, but testimonies provided by witnesses of the event do contain some common elements. Most every witness saw numerous mannequins break through the, window, the house's windows, tumbling outside. Some witnesses report bright lights. Some report high-pitched singing. These are unverified. Numerous civilians inside the house at the time of the incident were hospitalized for various injuries. Two were crushed to death. Agents were dispatched upon seeing an article regarding these events during the Bureau's daily scans of national periodicals. The item was quickly identified and brought to the Bureau. What the fuck? So, oh, it's the, it, the wasted mannequin. It's duplicating. So, so it, it, the, the mannequin must be the duplicated thing. <clears throat> duplicated a bunch. You don't have to change your new username, JK984. Uh, just tell me what you want me to call you. And I'll try to remember it. It just made me stumble for a second. You do you. Your username can be whatever you want. As long as it adheres to YouTube's guidelines and isn't offensive. <laughs> Put that disclaimer there. I'm going to be a good skilly. <clears throat> All right. Rob with the gifted channel membership and that went to bearded cue ball Rob you absolute legend thank you so much appreciate that man and uh bearded cue ball welcome to channel membership hey reminder for those who are channel members or have been gifted a membership join the discord and make sure you have your youtube account connected to your discord uh you get uh, a shiny you know internet pointsy uh role and a special name color and an exclusive chat that I'm really bad about using, but when I remember it's there, I try to use it. Meet Wells at the control point. All right, hold on. Before we do that, what else is in here? <clears throat> Central containment. This is the way we came from. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So we've been we've been here. This is the way we entered before we met Wells. I I I thought maybe not because we would have gotten this. 
Um, I, so... <clears throat> All right. So I have played Pumpkin Panic. <laughs> you guys never saw it. Okay, this happens sometimes. Sometimes, as a creator, you play a game and you either don't vibe with it or the video just doesn't turn out good and you don't release it. And that's what happened with Pumpkin Panic. I thought the game was great and I thought it was fine. I was sick when I played it. Um, I actually played it because Dracice recommended it to me. But I was sick when I played it and uh, I was really bad at it. And I played for like four hours and I kept getting really close to beating it, but I couldn't. And it made me rage really hard. And because I was sick, <laughs> because I was sick, I was like really salty about it. And uh, so I, uh, I never put that video out because I don't think it was particularly good. My commentary wasn't great. I was sick. I sounded like shit and I got like legitimately angry. <laughs> so I never put it out. You did not recommend it? I swear to God you recommended Pumpkin Panic. Oh, someone else did and you reminded me. Okay, that's what it was. All right. Yeah, it's been a while though, but I did. I played it back uh, in November or something of last year. Don't put that evil on me. <laughs> So I like the game. I think I would have been able to beat it. And I think it's difficult near the end, right? I think I would have been able to beat it. That would have been fine if uh, if if I wasn't sick and I and I didn't just I tried to do it all in one night when I was sick and it just didn't pan out well. So <laughs> also, too, I was late to playing it like everybody else and their mom had already put it out on YouTube and everybody else and their mom had already beat it. And I was like, well, I wasn't my best in this video and I didn't even beat it. I was like, I can't put this out. This is, I can't put this out. It'll do, it'll do so bad. <laughs> so I didn't put it out. Uh, Creative Nick, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, uh, but videos take up a lot of space. I think I have long since deleted that from my hard drive, but I had, I was holding on to it for a bit. I was holding on to it for a bit, but I think it's gone now. I'd have to double check. Let's go. I, I shouldn't have given everybody FOMO either. I'm sorry. I should have just been like, oh yeah, maybe I was just checking out some, but nah, I can't do that. I can't lie to you guys. All right. Hold on. Something's wrong with him. He's hiss infected. Shit. Oh no, he became hiss. Oh no, dude, I gotta kill him. Oh, God, no. destroyed that guy. I just didn't I let up. The wells. <laughs> Make sure he's okay. That combo is dirty. I was using my, my Pierce service weapon and then letting my energy recharge and then just using my entire energy bar to just use my telekinesis to just pound him with fucking uh, objects. All right. Can I talk to you? Oops. Sorry about that. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that, man. That was a mistake. My bad. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. And thanks for coming to get me. Horowitz's HRA must have been damaged in the threshold. Guy never put himself first. At least the anchor altered item is still locked away down in the clocks. I hope it rots down there. That altered item needs to be dealt with before it hurts anyone else. I gotta go back and do it. I should go back down and contain it. Yep. Head to the executive sector, Wells. They could use a medic. Thank you, Director. I'll go see what good I can do there. 
what's up rob thank you for the gifted channel membership man that is like what the fourth one the fifth one i can't i, I can't count i can't count above two electric lettuce got the gifted channel membership rob you absolute rock star thank you the blurry finger thanks you hey what's up Vale marie good to have you thanks for joining dish soapify welcome good to have you does my scream travel through the whole house it does right now because my family abandoned me this weekend so i have all the doors open um i have a little bit of soundproofing in my room you guys can't see that and uh I, there's two doors between me and the rest of the house that if i close them um it doesn't travel as far but yeah you can kind of still essentially hear it all right uh we gotta go back and deal with that altered item right so back through all the doors well nobody's in the house with me except poor ruby my dog i'm probably gonna end up making her go deaf poor doggo nah she'll be okay uh security which way do i need to go to deal with this again um i can't remember central containment sector elevator I don't remember which way we came. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't paying that close of attention. Is it this way? Oh, shit. Ah, 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 I'm flipping my weapon while I'm doing this. Who wants some? Oh, baby! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Dude, step out here, bitch. Gotcha. Woo! All right, is this the this is the right way? Is it through that door? Yeah, yeah. What was that? What was that? I heard that. Wait, I need I I can pick up that health. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh, I went through the, the Ocean View Motel is like, uh, uh, in between reality slash dimensions place. And, uh, it's how you travel, uh, between realities or dimensions. And it's not exactly fast traveling because there's a fast traveling mechanic at control points. But it is, uh, how you progress from one reality or dimension to another when you need to sometimes. Uh, that's the wrong way, right? I went the wrong way. Totally came the wrong way. Damn it. I'll just I'll just throw I'ma throw dead bodies at people. No, it's just debris. God damn, dude. Where did he go? Where did that guy go? He's like underneath me. What the fuck's he thinks he's doing? What the fuck's he thinks he's doing, huh? You better get his ass up here. You better come out. I'm not coming down, dude. I know you'll explode all over me. You know what? Fuck it. I can't come back through here. I got to go to the right place. 
mechanical room? I didn't even come in here before. Yeah, I did. I opened this. Is this the right way? I think this is the right way. I'm so confused. Logistic. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. I did come this way because these are open. Right? I just need to get back to where the altered item was being held. That safe room and open it. And this is the right way. We came down this hallway. All right. I'm going the right way for sure. Hey, Rob, with the additional gifted channel membership that went to uh, the Gaia Bean. The Gaia Bean, welcome to channel membership. On behalf of Rob. Rob, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate the continued support, man. You're a legend. Where? How do I get out of here? This way? It's going to be more enemies to fight. I hear, I hear stuff. Do I have enough uh, to, to do the... Uh, oh, I have two ability points. Can seize duration, shield strength, melee damage, not enough points. Health, I need three. Energy, I need... Okay, I'd like to do some more health and energy. 50% to launch damage. Oh, that's so enticing, though. I gotta do that. I use launch so much. And I have... I have my... Hold on. Before we forget, I have my final mod slot for myself. And I can put evade energy cost on there now. What else do I have? Seize speed plus 63%. Health plus 31. Launch energy 7. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see, though. Can I do? I don't think I can. Oh, I need. I still need the corrupted sample. Three corrupted samples and 10 more entropic echoes to upgrade shatter. Okay. Board countermeasures. Remote thought. Got that. Hiss distorted. Oh, no. I kind of had to cease, but I kind of didn't. All right. Kill enemies in the containment sector. There we go. That one should be pretty easy. All right. Onwards and forwards. Where's this uh, safe room again? Somewhere through here, right? Nope. These are the bathrooms. Nope. This is not where we need to go. Did we come through? The yeah, we did. I came through the clocks. All right. It should be in here. Lady Savage, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Happy Easter to you as well. Uh, how do you become a channel member? Uh, there's a... Uh, here, hold on. I think if you have a brand account, I don't know if it'll let you. Uh, there you go. Click on that link right there. And that will take you to my channel, to a join page. And it tells you all about channel membership and the different levels if you want to join. All right. Never required, but always appreciated. Oh, that, that's the shelter. This is a safe room well showed me. All right. The one with the altered item inside. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Why is this safe room so much bigger than the rest? Oh, it closed. <laughs> The door was closing like right away. All right, we don't want it to get out. So we're locking ourselves in here with it. All right. Threshold management retrospective threshold 9D. Threshold with the effect of redacted manifested in the containment sector in the middle of the redacted department. Simultaneously, numerous redacted appeared in the area, injuring and killing many redacted. After rescue operations were completed and redacted, rangers were sent in to discover the threshold's epicenter. The sheer amount of redacted made the expedition impossible. The area was sealed off after removing the clocks proved an impossible task. The department was relocated and the area abandoned. Researchers theorized the threshold induced unstable matter to our dimension, which adopted the form of the redacted redacted as redacted when introduced to more stable redacted. This note has been brought to you by redacted. Hey, what's up, Cinder Phoenix? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Take care, Dip. Have a good one. Thanks for joining and supporting while you could. I appreciate it. Great. More clocks. There are so many clocks in this area. Danger! Danger, Will Robinson. Danger! All right. Is that... That looks like death. So don't jump off the side, Skilly. All right. 
I see a control point, possibly. Yep. What is this place, dude? The... How am I supposed to get across that? That's the anchor. That's it. That's the item. It's a ship's anchor. That's the object of power. All right. It's not the mannequin like I thought. Yeah. How? How am I supposed to get that? Huh? Oh, I got an entropic echo. I kind of need those. What is this? Weapon mods full. Oh, fuck. I got to. All right. Hold on. We got to take care of some uh, weapon mod business here. All right. Go by type. What do we got? Uh, exclusive to Pierce. 14% zoom. 15%. 17. All right. We get rid of both of these. Uh, rate of fire plus 14%. Reload efficiency. Get rid of that one. Damage boost. Got to keep that. Ammo per shot. Ammo refund. Recoil. We'll get rid of the uncommon. Rate of fire. Projectile spread. Projectile spread. We'll get rid of that one. A lot of our mods now are pretty high level for the most part. Plus three. Uh, blast radius. Plus 36. Exclusive to charge and surge. Those are two that we don't have. Charge, we have the ability right now to craft. We just don't have all the items. But surge, we don't even have the ability to craft. Uh, we'll keep one of those though. Accuracy plus 22%, 46% headshot, damage while aiming 29, 35, low on health, accuracy. Okay. And then we should be able to pick this up now. Charge blast boost. I just want to see what that is. Uh, where's that at? Blast boost. Oh. Okay, blast radius, blast radius, okay. All right. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't possibly make that. Like, I, re I really can't. I can't make that with evade. So. Huh. What if I throw a clock at it? I don't think I'm able to do this just yet. There's an ability I'm missing. I mean, I know I can evade, but maybe I have like a power to fly or something or levitate or some bullshit. Yeah, that's up there too. We got to remember, where are we? Sealed? Okay, containment. We got to come back to this. We don't have all of the abilities yet because we're missing, right? Watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a guess here. Nobody spoil this. I'm gonna take a guess though. If we look at our abilities, right? So you got your health, your energy, which is our what we use for telekinesis and our abilities. Uh launch, which is our telekinesis. We have a shield, which I can pull up and use a shield, and then seize, which lets us control weakened enemies. And then there's this blank spot. I'm gonna assume that this locked ability is something that lets us like because we've come across a couple spaces where it's like this, right? Like where we can't get across. So I'm going to assume that that's what that is. We're going to have to come back here later. L chat, do not let me forget the anchor, okay? That's that's a job you guys have tonight. Do not let me forget. We should be unlocking the ability, I would assume, soon. Do not let me forget the anchor, all right? got to remember where it's at. I wish I could put a... Oh, fuck. Shit, 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 shit. I'm already taking a lot of damage, dude. need to be back in that room so i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to fight these guys i can't run Woo! fuck you bitch God damn it. Their le their abilities hurt so much. 
Did you know you can beat the game without getting the powers and it's possible to miss this last power? I did not know that and I better not miss this last power. I need that health. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Where are we're in containment? Yeah, I kind of was curious. It the way you get the powers, like, it's not like. Like, it's kind of along the main story path, but you could totally... Oh, thank you. You could totally not do them. Like, it's not a main story mission to get most of them, I think. Launch might be, if I remember correctly. So I was curious if, like, yeah, you could just wholly skip out on them, which this would be such a different game <laughs> without your powers. Uh, they just add so much to combat. So that's interesting. That they, uh, that they allow that. This game is very much a, a, a play, a sandbox. I need to get back to the, the thingamabob. All right, and this is way, why does it say turntable? Is that the name of the control point? Okay, just save right there. Miss info, you had to go see what powers you had. This last power is not able to be missed. Okay, good. I want the last power. I need it. Why is there an enemy here? It's one of those invisible fucks. No, no, dude. I hate that. Where's it at? Where's it at, dude? Why is it not attacking me? I, dude, this is fucking weird. All right, I'm just gonna leave. And it's okay. I thought it was one of those invisible uh, things that hiss. Uh, what are they called? Hold on. Collectibles. Fuck. I gotta remember what they're called now. Uh, agent barrier charge. No cluster. Distorted. I thought it was one of these. Able to render themselves invisible. That isn't that what it was last time. You think it's stuck? It might be stuck. <laughs> Uh, Frederick, what's up? Welcome to the stream, by the way. Good to have you. All right. This is the way out, right? <laughs> I'm just breaking everything, dude. Uh, down here? At least I thought it was. Wait, wait, wait. Is this right? Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we want to go through these doors. All right, we're in security now for this area. <clears throat> okay. Who is that guy? Who's that guy? I recognize him. That's Sakuraya Trench, the director before me. Wall of Honor. In memory of heroic agents who gave their lives to forces known and unknown for the protection and greater knowledge of all humankind, we honor their sacrifice. Any names we recognize here? Maybe from the Alan Wake universe or anything? Peter? Sebastian? Um, because there's a couple of FBC agents who died in the line of duty in the Alan Wake games. So I'm just wondering. Matthew Hammer, Thomas Holmes. I might not recognize their names, but I'm just trying to go through and see if I do. I'm curious. Fish halves, fringe, Michael. 
Cruz, Jesse Robertson. Yeah, Jesse, that's kind of weird. That's not our character's last name, though. Sean Donnelly, David. I wonder if these are, like, some of the names of people on the development team or what. I'm just curious, though. Okay, so far I recognize none of these names from the Alan Wake games, so... Okay, yeah. If there's a connection, I don't... I don't remember it. Can I get through here? No. You'd love to be able to zip around like that? Dude, it would be great, wouldn't it? Medical wing. Hey, what's up, bro? You're gonna need medical after I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm throwing dead bodies around. All right, they're all dead. Any notes in here? No, nothing. All right. <laughs> level six. I have level five. I don't have level six. Fuck. That's right. Hey, no pictures. No pictures of me. Examination room. Oops. I didn't mean to start blasting already. Hey, they have a defibrillator. That'd be a sweet S Easter egg. <laughs> Sorry, puds. No, I like it. I like it. The dumb tiss. Yeah, it would. They, there might be a connection there that I don't realize. <clears throat> Another exam room. One of these is going to have like a note or something in it probably, right? And a third exam. This is a big one. This is a... Yep. Oh, well, an item. Hey, have a good one, Rob. Thanks for joining and appreciate the tips. Are you heading out? You got to go. Got to go shopping. He's crying. Hey, no worries, dude. Catch up on the VOD if you want later. I know it's not the exact same, but appreciate you being here while you could. You go do you. All right. Uh, six is done. What does it say? Can't find your office. Rangers from security department. Watch your step. Building shifts, right? That's what that's referencing. Logistics is back that way. You love that I hunt for lore whenever possible. I try to. I, I This is how I play games even when I'm not doing content. Uh, I like to try to be thorough. I usually don't have time to 100% a game, but I like to try to see and do as much uh, as possible. And I love lore. I love story-driven narrative games like this that also have good gameplay. So I, I try really hard. I feel like sometimes that slows me down, and so my playthroughs are longer than most people's. And I, I, so, I know sometimes some people get annoyed with that. I can't pull. Okay, stop. I literally can't pull that. All right. All right. Oh, damn, I still don't have level six clearance. Oh, am I going to get the gas mask soon so that I can go or whatever I need to traverse the areas with the red mold crap? Oh, no, dude. Oh, what the fuck was that? The fuck was that? throwing the bodies of their dead hiss brethren back at them. All right. I might actually have enough. I might have enough now to do the, uh, that one upgrade. Oh, fuck. It's the fucking sniper entity. Okay. Uh, storage room. There's so much to explore. I don't know where I want to go first. All right, this is blocked off by mold. Can't go out there. Drive safely, uh, Skilker. Thanks for joining and supporting while you could. You need a stream of me reading SCP records and lore? Yeah, we talked about doing that with backrooms and with SCP. I just got to figure out a good way to, like, spice it up. 
Also, too, I got to do it on a day when I, I got to, like, rest my voice before I do it. Because reading a lot of notes or lore entries back to back really can be tough on the voice. I should shoot the speakers. You're right, Misty. I got I got bad about about not doing that anymore, and I need to get back to it. Are there, are, are there speakers in here? No. All right, what's in here? Fuck, dude. Bitch. Ooh, that was the last guy. Okay. Oh, it just loops around right here. I got gotcha. you. Good night, freaky uh, sky CJ. Thanks for joining and support while you could. I appreciate it. Oh my God, I missed something. I'm so sorry. Lindsay Oberell, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. I hope you're still here. Lindsay with the $5 stream elements donation said, be awesome, stay awesome. Good sir. Lindsay, you rock star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It helps out a bunch. You rock. Thank you, seriously. Sorry, I missed that. I was in my own little world. <laughs> oh, sucked into the game. Fluffy kids, what's up? Welcome. Good to see you again. I hope you're doing good. Forgotten one, I don't think I said hi, but you've been here for a minute. Forgotten one, I hope you're doing well. These are like decontamination showers, it looks like. It's a red phone. Emergency. All right, what is this? Mechanical room. Okay, and we've explored any lore down here. No. Nope. More entropic echo, though, and I feel like we needed those, if I remember correctly. Yep. All right. Oh, hey. Another entropic echo. Find Dylan. What's up, Josh G? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Sarah, good to see you. Thanks for being here. I hope you're doing good. Oh my God. We just stepped into his levitating fucking central. Jesus, dude. Taking care of all that fucking weirdness. Hmm? Hmm? Did you say something to me? Bitch. Fucking plant. Suspicious. Sussy bacas is what there are. Why are those plants everywhere? Ooh. Ooh, girl. We got a light. We got a threshold. We got a light switch. Ooh, girl. Ooh, what's back here? El Banos? No pictures. No recording devices, please. No, this is not. Conference room. Okay. <laughs> I've learned your youngest to curse. Oh god. Am I am I corrupt Nope! Not allowed. Am I corrupting future generations? Okay. Important. Uh feels important. An urgent vision. Uh, writing this down so I don't forget. Saw this dream when I fell asleep during Dr. Darling's presentation of food poisoning. I saw one, an inverted black pyramid, the board, the astral plane. Then a red pyramid appeared underneath. What's that? It felt scary and bad news. Uh, what is that? Moivro? And then two, they move to be on top of each other. Is the hiss the red pyramid? Like elevator lights going up. Is this the sector elevator? It's an hourglass, a doomsday clock. It started flashing wildly. The sand is leaving down. Oh no, felt terrible. That's cut off. Uh, when they connected, docked, 
oh shit i don't understand what that is for now it's all down and the red on the top this can't happen we must stop this from happening they rule us now i woke up screaming this is a warning i think the red is supposed to be the hiss i think the red's supposed to be the hiss for real i am uber focused yes i'm in love with this game that's why verbal spice like a hiss chandelier store in here it is <laughs> It is like a his chandelier store. I want, I need six, dude. Prime candidate program, transit quarter. This is the way to my brother. Let me in. All right. Well, I didn't do anything. I didn't have to use his body like that, but I did office rooms. All right. Case files, globe procedures, wolf globe, altered item 72 dash PE. No unique procedures required. However, contact should be limited as some report feeling disoriented after touching it. Item is handmade, set in dark wood. The item itself is lacquered, hand-painted, spins freely on all axes. While the contents and oceans are recognizably those of Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous redacted and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tanrelio. There are no signatures left by its maker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect seems to grow worse with prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in redacted handlers. Fuck, dude. You sound- Hey, what's up, Hat Rabies? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Um, by the way, did you know Scotland, they are a rabies-free country? Did you know that there are some countries that rady, ra radies, rabies has been eradicated in? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I found that interesting. Anyway, there's your one, there's one of your fun facts for today. How about that? Um, <laughs> yes, this is on Game Pass. That's actually where I'm playing it from. Um, I'm playing it on Game Pass PC. Uh, app so I'm playing it on PC from game pass it is also on sale on Steam um, for a stupid cheap 899 for the ultimate edition game pass version is ultimate edition as well so we discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels the agents found their way up into the building once we became aware of it it was there for the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own. Seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints, and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. Huh? It's unstable. Shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Bureau has been here a long time. The control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. <laughs> he looked mad that I shot him. <laughs> That's great. It's like I just happened to start shooting right when the thing was ending and he looked pissed off that I shot him. And it's like it ended because I shot it. <laughs> Fucking hilarious, dude. Oh, man. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah, you said Sweden's rabies free, too. I think there are several European countries or quite a few that are. Uh, but yeah, uh, Sweden, uh, Scotland, too. A lot of the countries that are rabies free, I read, they do. Yeah, you're right. They have very strict policies on uh, animal entry and very strict rules about you know you have to prove that the animal is rabies free and rabies vaccinated and they have to be kept in quarantine for like a couple weeks when they first arrive etc etc um so 
That's pretty interesting. Rabies is fucking scary as shit, so... Be really cool to live somewhere that uh, is rabies free. Frederick with the gifted channel membership and that went to Assman Ghoul. Assman Ghoul, welcome to uh, channel membership on behalf of Frederick. Frederick, you absolute rock star and legend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It helps out a bunch. What's that say? Can't tell what that says. Ooh, I gotta do my yin and yang. Yin and yang. Look at that. Like I, it's like I make my own Oreo cookies right there. Does this open up the security stuff? It does. Oh no. Oh no. Containment breach. Oh well. I'm the director. It'll be fine. I say it's okay. Oh, my weapon mods are full again. Fuck a duck, dude. Oh uh, shit. Things are filling up too too much. Uh, shield strength boost. All right, we'll get rid of the rare. We're having to make some tough choices now. 32%. We'll probably get rid of that then. Um, these are my personal mods though. Dodge efficiency, evade efficiency. Get rid of that. But then we have an 18%. Get rid of that. Launch energy cost, 11, 12, and eight. Um, wait, that's the 12. That's the 11. 15 and 17. Okay, hold on. All right. Uh, 20% health, 31. Okay, we already have a health mod on too, so we might end up eventually getting rid of that as well. And then what are these? Seize speed. We'll get rid of the 52% and the 57. And then keep that. Uh, weapon mods are full too. Fuck, dude. Uh, zoom 17%, rate of fire 14, reload speed 14, reload speed 14, we can get rid of damage, uh, ammo, no, there's not gonna be anything I wanna get rid of, okay, we don't need that, cause we have a three projectile one, um, 41%, 55, projectile speed 65, we'll get rid of the 55, Accuracy, 22%. Damage while aiming, we can get rid of that one. Damage after kills, damage while low on health, and accuracy, okay. Damn, yeah, all right. Headshot boost, okay. That's what that was. All right, that's just opening that way. We already went in there. Is this everything? Is this a nice little... Federal Bureau of Control Security Center. Security! Security! Eh, eh. Altered item cell breach. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Uh-oh. Has the Hiss found him? Uh-oh. Are you there with him? Can you protect him? She's talking to Polaris, the entity in her head, right? This is bad. Uh, Panopticon cells, multiple security response en route, breached. I can't read all those cell numbers, but it looks like 12, 6, 7, like everything. Everything's breached. Okay. Well, that's lovely. Um, did we explore both sides before? Hold on. I came from here, right? Mechanical room. Yep. I came from there. There's no door over there. Did we explore over here? Yeah, yeah. This is where the darling thing was. Is this a... No. Okay. All right. We're good. We're doing the light switch. Threshold time. Rule of three. Oh, no. That's Dylan. My brother. Dos. Trace? Trace? Transverse the motel again. It's not a loop, it's a spiral! It's not a triangle, it's an upside down black pyramid! Everybody okay? Okay, good. Am I just supposed to open this door? Oh yeah, it's locked. I need the key. All right. What the fuck, dude? 
there's some other person in here randomly screaming like me okay <laughs> holy shit dude dude what what you and the and the missus do on your own time is your own business but don't oh my god there's blood maybe you should get a new hobby brother that doesn't sound too good everything's upside down why why am i on the ceiling Okay. There's nothing to interact with in here. All right, let's just let's just do this again. Open door too. Everything is right side up. How do I flip everything? The I need to I need to fl I need to turn it upside down though. How do you turn it upside down? All right, let's do this again. That scream sounded a lot like me screaming about the spiral. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are going to get so tired of that dumb uh, joke by me eventually. Hmm. Does that flip the room if I like? That was the only thing I could interact between all of those. All right, the picture was right side up. Oh, the key. That's all I had to do. Interesting. All right, now we have the key. What's up, Jacob? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Was I a VA for this game? I was not a voice actor for this game, unfortunately. Oh, boy. Uno. Dos. Tres. Fine, Dylan. Yep. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've I don't like the sound. Him. Kind of man he grows What's up, up dark be. days welcome to the stream Things as hard for him as they were for me maybe in here they were even harder archives p6 cell and security watch your step p peak peak with the panopticon supervisor speak with the panopticon supervisor watch your step Who? what <laughs> this guy Brother, give it up, man. Shave the head, dude. Just give it up, bro. All right? All right, buddy. Langston, okay. I got gotcha. you. Just give it up, dude. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered <laughs> items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV, okay. it's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a category five OOP we're talking about. And if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, man. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Hello. Hello. Open the door, Langston. Open the door. I'll it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first timers not to touch anything, so. Uh, don't touch anything. Let's do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Fred. Thanks, Langston. All right, Fred. Fred Dread. You ever thought about dreadlocks, bro? Hey, I think you could do this. it. Containment failure in Panopticon cell 69. <laughs> Get it? 69. I do not see what is humorous about an escaped paranatural entity originating from cell 69. <laughs> but you just said it. What Come on, fuck? you guys. It's funny. <laughs> this guy can't be for real, dude. <laughs> Hey, congrats on getting affiliated, Is the Dark TV Days. back in its box yet? No rush or anything. It's just, you know, an ongoing concern. This is the last guy that I, 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 I thought I would be making a 69 joke here. But hey, go for it, bud. 
Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. Okay. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. That's weird. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal. It's creepy. Uh, there's no question about that. It's creepy. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. Thanks for subscribing to the channel, Molob. I really appreciate it. Good to have you. Objects of power versus altered items. What's the difference between objects of power? We've already and read notes items? about this, but let's we'll see what Think he of says. Them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives, knife rain. <laughs> nice metaphor. Knife rain. It's knife rain, everybody. Trench, prior Did director. Did you work closely with Trench? <clears throat> oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them, the inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Well, I mean, he's Still, the director. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. All right, Langston's background. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another 10 years and voila, supervisor. I just picked up a gun. <laughs> or a gun picked me. That's very true. Yeah, you're right. This is a very lonely man. What I imagine right based on everything we know about the oldest house and the panopticon i imagine he's not really allowed to leave right because this place is under such high security and they're worried about containment breaches and they're worried about people taking objects of power or trying to bind them or doing fucked up shit with them i imagine he spends his life here in the panopticon and while he does come across as creepy and kind of weird i imagine that's because of that and because of his work, which is with all this strange, weird shit, right? I'll see you later, Langston. I could I'll be wrong, be though. He might Not be, a, he just, he might be a sussy baka, too. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, subdue the Benikoff TV object of power, fourth floor. Some of the security cameras aren't working. How Thermos, proceed. All right. Oh, <laughs> Alan Wake! Alan Wake reference. Oh, dear diner is in Alan Wake. It's all over Alan Wake. Oh, the Oh, dearie merch. This cup specifically from Alan Wake. Alan Wake reference big time right here. Containment, the, both Alan Wake 1 and 2. No unique procedures required. Altered status is suspected but verified. This is the Oh, dear diner coffee thermos. I'll altered item 73-UE. A blue coffee thermos with a white plastic cap and a logo of the Oh Dear Diner located in Bright Falls, Washington, which is where the Alan Wake games take place. The cap doubles as a mug. The item responds to formula I.16, yet no discernible altered effect has been discovered. Other than keeping liquids warm for surprisingly long periods of time. It's a thermos! That's its job! It's also worth noting that the coffee from the thermos is always refreshing and strong, and no matter its quality before being poured into the item. Okay, that's weird. That's altered, definitely. The thermos was discovered on the shore of Cauldron Lake, Alan Wake. Cauldron Lake is at the center of both of the games, right? Outside the town of Bright Falls. Both are known sites of a recurring AWE. See Bright Falls AWE case file for further information. According to witness statements, Alan Wake, see prime candidate program entry for further information who went missing shortly before the discovery of the thermos had been seen redacted, collecting similar thermoses for a, a redacted purpose. I forgot, in the original Alan Wake game, 
oh dear or oh dear diner thermoses are collectible um i forgot that uh yeah so also this is interesting the prime candidate program is the program that the fbc kidnapped my brother dylan for right jesse's brother dylan for and that program is supposed to be people who can become director of the fbc so that means that the FBC was considering Alan Wake as a potential candidate to become director of the FBC because he's a pair utilitarian probably. So the director has to be a pair utilitarian. The director has to be a pair utilitarian, which is someone who can use and bind objects of power, right? So that's the first that we've ever been officially told that, I think. So, all right. That is, I mean, that says Alan Wake. That note says it. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, uh... The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that right. object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Section 1, Section 2. This is literally the containment area for all the fucked up items. Altered items, pair utilitarians, objects of power, you name it. Everything that should be allowed out in the world that the Bureau has collected, it's in here. All right, cool. <laughs> this place is huge too. Oh boy, what are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> Can we craft? Not yet. Oh, yes. Motherfucker, yeah. We can do charge. We can do a new thing. We can do charge. Hell yeah, boy. We're also, we also can upgrade charge in a little bit. We need, where do we get corrupted samples? And we need more remote thoughts too. We're close to being able to upgrade charge. Uh, We got a new gun. We have no abilities. Countermeasures, Kilohis distorted, demolitions expert in the containment sector. We are, I guess we are still in the containment sector. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. Kilohis Rangers. There we go. New gun time, baby. All right. Oh, uh, new weapon form. Charge. All right. And it has one slot. Rarity. Damage while low on health. Blast radius plus 65%. Yes, please. Missions. Uh, executive hiss nodes, communication department. Uh, I, you know, we, I don't, we haven't done a hiss node one. Why don't we, why don't we go do that? Investigate the safe room. Jesse returns to the sealed threshold to contain the anchor altered item that cost Horowitz and the other rangers their life. Okay. I'm glad that we have that. I'm glad that we have that side mission that we could go back to. We can't go back to that one yet. All right, let's go do, permit me. I want to learn about my new... My new weapon. Permit me. Let's go test our new weapon. Huh? Why don't we do that? Executive. Executive. Let's just go to central executive. Hold on. Where's that? Where's this mission supposed to be? Hold on. Mission. Go to the communications department. Okay. Communication. Communications. Uh, central executive. Communications department, dead letters or right here? I think mail room would be the best spot to go to. Owen Wilson played Fred? JK? Oh, you're joking. I was like, was that really Owen Wilson? Usually I recognize Owen Wilson's voice, I feel like. All right, I think if I go this way, we will get to where we need to be. Oh, I already hear the chanting, bro. Uh, there should be uh, up here, right? Yeah, you chanting fucks. Uh, communications department, right? So this is where we want to go. Yep, here we go. So this is charge. Our oh, I can't go in here yet. That's not. This is not where I need to be. Communications department is down here. We've already gotten that before. That's the America overnight thing. That's the mail room. We need to go back. The communications department is down, I guess. Is it in here? 
All right, this is mail room. And communication should be... It's going to spawn enemies, though. Holy shit, bro. Oh, you guys are fucked now. Oh, dude. Oh, they never should have gave me this. Oh, my God. The chaos that I will ensue. charge i mean that makes sense with the name right that killed that guy too oh my god dude they should not have given me this it's too dangerous i have become death i have become death how do i get to the goddamn communications room that's the hotline chamber i don't need to be there where the fuck is the communications room i only got like 10 minutes find this place hotline chamber is there a door down here i forgot how to get in there oh no, there's no doors here i need to go back out those are bathrooms it's gotta be it's like we need to go to dead letters i need a control point i should have warped to dead letters where's the control point that got us here again back here cafeteria central executive mail room okay this is not where we want uh wasn't it through here wait this is communications where's the go to the communications department executive communications executive central communication isn't this it where's the where's the hiss nodes oh is there something up there hold on damn it you know what? Can I not get on top of these? I thought I could. No, it's just red. Is this not communications department? This is it. We just were in the mail room. Is it in dead letters? Maybe. Huh? Uh, that goes... Maybe pneumatics. How do we get to pneumatics? Oops, that's the shield ability. I didn't mean to do that. I, like, never use that. I kind of feel bad. It's a cool ability, but I just don't... I'm more aggressive playstyle-wise, I feel like. Maybe if I go through the hotline chamber door? It's been... This was the first... This area was the first stream of the game, so... I've kind of forgotten how to navigate around here a little bit. That goes back to the director's office, though. All right, hold on. Hey, what's up, Nightshade? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. We're we supposed to go down, maybe? Cafeteria, pneumatics, dead letters. All right, let's check dead letters. I think this all classifies itself as the communications department. So the hiss nodes could be... Yeah, here we go. Oh, those are hiss nodes. Dude. Oh my god. Charges. Charges so good, dude. kill myself by accident with this weapon though <laughs> they don't seem to be damaging that guy too much bitch 
What are you doing? Oh, oh! It's a big guy! It's a big guy! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fucking asshole. You know what? I got something for you, bitch. How about these apples, motherfucker? Damn, Skippy. Oh, yeah, look. Look. I made him glitch through the fucking map. Look at him. He's. I, I showed him the way. I showed him the light, dude. He was praising me. I became his god. <laughs> yeah, you guys want some? You're not ready for this. You're not ready. Yeah, that's what you get. Hello? Hey, what's up, dude? Where are the other hiss nodes? I've only got six minutes. Are they are they are they in these other Yeah, here we go. Did I just kill that guy? No, okay. I thought I killed him with one three charge shot. Almost though. Bitch. Bitch. Die! That's what I'm talking about, dude. Set your ass down, motherfucker. Yeah, you guys explode. I got explodes. I got explodes. Everything the bits, dude. <laughs> Jesus, did you hear that fucking hiss, dude? That was horrible. Got it. Got the hiss nodes. Oh my god, rocket. Is there another bad guy? Hey, there's still one here. <laughs> ouch, 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 ouch. I was a little bit too close to myself, my bad. Oh, we never got this note in here? Willow A-W-E, excuse me. Oh, Tomias Willow. This is, I guess, she, that's the guy that we fought in the mailroom, the first boss in the game. So maybe this appears after you fight him. Uh, Re-information campaign summary of Willow A-W-E. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much public much less likely to redact it. So another AWE behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we could stop monitoring redacted, redacted, and redacted for any off message message opinions but it's looking like we're in the clear tomasi out so tomasi was the head of like this um this uh fucking we already saw this we just need to get rid of the thing he was the head of the communications department right so responsible for telling people uh you know what was real and what wasn't dun, dun, dun. uh accuracy plus 15 percent god damn dude and then what did we get here? We got a new mod somewhere. Seize speed. Okay. All right. Hey, we completed. We completed this little side thing. Now we just need uh, uh, to teleport back to where we were. We just need to find a control point. Shouldn't be too hard. Ah, fuck, dude. How did I trigger more? Uh, 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 uh. Oh 
fucking killed that trooper god dude i can i can tank people now oh oh no uh, i need a control point control point uh central executive can i get back to there from here it's the cat it's the dead letters department isn't there a control point down here i thought that was a control point is there a control point up here then wait we never we haven't been back here since we got clearance cards and such Probably shatter choke projectile and house memories. There's probably a bunch of doors and shite we can open that we couldn't open before. I got my sniper, my precision, and my explosion weapon. I love it. Uh, no, I don't think I can get out from here. Mail room, dead letters. We don't want to go to dead letters and pneumatics. We want to go back. I need... Oh, there's a control point in dead letters, though. We actually want to go to dead letters. Hey, what's up, Sharkbite? Welcome. Good to have you back. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Yeah, control point right in here. Here we go. That's exactly what we needed. All right. Uh, Yeah, we can upgrade charge, dude. We can have a second slot. Let's fucking go. There we go. All right, board countermeasures. Kill enemies in the containment sector. We need two more. Okay. Second slot for charge, baby. Uh, rarity, what do you got? Damage while low on health, 85%. Uh, reload speed, plus 21%. We might actually go for reload speed. Damage after kills. Projectile speed, rate of fire, damage against enemy armor. I think I'm going to go with reload speed. Although we have a new, what do we have? Energy boost plus eight. Okay. All right. We got to teleport. We need to go back to containment and we were at, we were in the panopticon right here. All right. Good shit. What's up, Jojo Rod? Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing well. All right, we're right back to where we were. Fuck yeah, dude. We took our little side objective. We did good, man. We did good. Oh. Hey. Huh? I heard whispers. Section three. Looks like we're going that way. That's the way that's open. Spin grouping efficiency. Damn it. Bitch. <laughs> yes, dude. All right. So we can't open this. Fortified unit seven. Man, what do you think you, they keep in there? I wish I could have three forms active. Ooh. Ooh, spicy. It's a mailbox. Floor one, unit 13. What does the mailbox do, dude? It's one of the, like, USPS. If you're in the United States, that's exactly what, like, in the United... For our foreign friends in the United States... Ruby! Nope. Hey. Hey. Don't you do that. No, no. Do you need to... All right. Hey, chat. I had an alarm set for 730, but hold on. Hold on. It's dog. It's dog. It's dog. Hi, dog. Hi, dog. The dog never comes. Um, But I think she wants to go out now. So I'm going to take... I'm going to take five minutes... And go walk El Doggo. All right. I'll be back. And then remind me to tell you guys about... Well, I'm sure you could talk about it amongst yourselves in chat if you wanted to. But I'll... Uh, for the foreign folks, I'll tell you about mailboxes. Like, you don't know what they are. I'm sure you have them in your country. But you know what I mean. All right. 
<laughs> I'll be back, okay? Everybody, hydrate, get snacks, take a quick break, okay? I'll be back as soon as I can. D d whoever sticks around, if anybody new pops in, let them know I'll be back ASAP. 125 people here. There better be 125 people when I get back, okay? Last night I was all set up for the highest sights, oh yeah I didn't fuck it all up again, again 18, yeah, I got big dreams, but it don't mean shit If I can't stop dreaming every second Yeah, I could have been there right then I'm taking over my thoughts, no, I can't let it go Say I just need to focus, but that's what I don't do best Yeah, here we go again, did it mean it go? I'm a twisted head, couldn't go my way, too late, all my life is so wasted and, no I don't really mean to, it's not how it seems where I wanted, didn't want to go at my age, I yeah I'm stuck up at the start again, up high trying to fake my pride when I know deep down that I have no fight, one hit can knock me down and I'll be better off dead, yet I'll say all this I'll make it work and then I trip down all the steps and hurt my head And then I'm beating all the words that you say, yeah Taking over my thoughts, no I can't let it go Say I just need to focus, but that's what I don't do best
nothing to believe in Leaving all my pressure and mistakes Wanted better, nothing to remember So I'm freeing up my brain Take me flying What's up, chat? You guys could probably hear me the whole time. What's going on? <clears throat> oh, you guys want me to put the link to the playlist? I can. Hey, I grabbed uh, I grabbed dinner for myself real quick. Don't worry, I'm not gonna eat everything on camera. But I have a, I have a. You can't probably see this too. Well. I have a chicken salad pita with Swiss cheese, some grapes. I have a. Uh, I, I'm telling people because I'm I, I'm sure somebody will ask. I have a uh, cream soda. I don't know if anybody else likes cream soda. I really like cream soda and I never get it, but I went to the grocery store the other day and I was like, I'm gonna get some cream soda. And then I have some uh, homemade trail mix behind me as well. But anyway, I'm gonna eat my chicken pita real quick. And then the rest of it, I can uh, I can eat as I play. So cream soda is great, dude. The chicken salad is the chicken salad from the place that I went yesterday that I told you guys about. Dude, I love Fisk Beats. I just don't know. Are they are they stream safe? Are they like... Does he allow them to be streamed by creators? Hey, what's up, Darkstar? So we can chat real quick. I can't play, but I'm eating my chicken salad pita. I'll eat that and we can chat. Not that you guys can't ask me questions anytime, but if anybody has questions, you can ask questions. What's up, Maria? Welcome to the stream. Jamkey, welcome to the stream. Or Jamaica. I'm sorry. Welcome to the stream. Judas Goat Barbecue, good to have you. Thanks for joining. No ice cream, unfortunately. Despite what I just said, I'm trying and I'm having a big cream soda. I'm trying to be a little bit healthy, unfortunately. So I'm drinking my calories. Everything else is pretty low cal. <laughs> Cream soda floats are really good. Hey, what's up, Lily? What's up, uh, Tamara and James? Good to have both of you, everybody. Hope you guys are all doing good. Yeah, I was really sad. Here in the U.S., there's a brand of cream soda called IBC. And they do, like, root beer and cream soda. That's my favorite. But our grocery stores where I live don't have it anymore. So... liquid calories don't count man liquid calories not alcohol but like soda although i drink mountain dew zero a lot and that's zero calorie liquid calories have been a problem for me though <laughs> 80 hours who did 80 hours of what Oh, forgotten one. You had an 80 hour work week. Holy shit. You deserve some rest, man. Uh, Kalea. I hope I'm saying that right. Apologies. If not Jones company soda is the best cream soda ever. Yeah, I like Jones company too. And I like some of their other sodas, but where I live, 
the only place that carries Jones soda is like this like kind of nicer grocery store like kind of like a hippie place for lack of a better term not saying that Jones soda is hippie just saying that's the only place that has it and like it's kind of far away from where I live so Paulo, I love code red too I didn't say hi to Mrs. Paulo. Uh, Miss Paulo, I hope you're doing good I know you're out there watching Hey, look, it's What If. It's Goober's favorite song. Hannah, good to have you. I hope you're doing good. Good to see you. Birch beer is way better than root beer. I've never had birch beer. I've heard of it. I've never had it. I have, hey, what's up, SWAT Master? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I have not finished control. I'm on a quick break. I'm eating la food. I'm eating dinner real quick. What's up, KS Plays? What's up, KR? Welcome. Good to have both of you. Uh, uh, Tamara, with the five gifted channel memberships, those went to KR, Spicy Nut. DJ Karma official Philly Man 2 and I missed somebody. Who the fuck did I miss? Star Crusader. Welcome to channel membership on behalf of Tamara. Tamara, you rock star. Thank you so much. I pointed at the camera and the camera's off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go find some birch beer at some point then. You started your new job, KS Plays? Hell yeah, dude. Congrats. These are, you guys are the real people who love me because you stick around while I stuff my face off camera. I also got grapes. Listen to this. Ah, it didn't have that crispiness I was expecting. Judas Go Barbecue with the $15 super chat said, I'm originally from Connecticut, but I'd never heard of celery soda, which I hear is very popular in NYC. Don't know if it's good. Smash the like button. Judas Go Barbecue, you absolute rock star. Thank you for the $15 super chat. Celery soda, never heard of it. Sounds disgusting. Ugh. I would try it though. I will try anything once. God, guys, this local bakery place that does the chicken salad and stuff that I got that I talked to you about yesterday, their, their chicken salad is like, it's like a, it's, it's like a heavenly experience. I don't know if heaven exists, but I imagine that this chicken salad resides there if it does. Camilla, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. You have to wear a radiation badge, but it's for cancer patients at four hospitals. Oh, well, it sounds like you're doing important work, man. Nah, you don't want to see me eat. There's a whole process, dude, with the beard. I will say this low carb pita is not bad either.
Hey, what's up, uh, Gold Lamber? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Almost done, guys. Oh, dude, Hannah, I love Slovakis. Oh, they're so good. The uh, place that I went to college at, my, the university, I won't say the name of it because it'll kind of pinpoint me. I don't live in the same area anymore, but I, I live a few hours away. But um, the university that I went to, there was literally like where the street that the campus ended on right across the street was this amazing like traditional Greek uh, like little restaurant and they had Slovakis. They were so fucking good, dude. I used to go over there like once a week after class at some point and get one. They had the best tzatziki sauce. Oh, God. What's up, Cody Chilcott? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. KS plays with the gifted channel membership, and that went to Rick's Changer. KS plays, you rock star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Helps out a bunch, dude. Seriously. Get some food, Scott. You gotta get some food, dude. It's, I don't know where you're at in the world, but it's dinner time where I'm at, or it's kind of after dinner time. Twelve PM is lunchtime, Cody. Eat some lunch. Is it eleven PM in England? Holy shit. Alright. I'm done with my chicken pita. I just got some grapes and then I have trail mix for later. You found a pizza place near you that does cheese steak stuffed pizza. What the fuck? That sounds insane. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I'm sure it's good. That sounds way too rich though, maybe. You know, like, have you ever had, you know, you don't know, have foods that like they're really good or like uh, a recipe or a mixture of food that's really good, but it's like so rich. It doesn't have to be dessert wise or sweet wise either, but it's just like so rich or like so flavorful that you can only eat a little bit of it you know what i mean like it's it's too much you know you know what i'm talking about that's what that sounds like marcy and theory what's up welcome to the stream good to have you thanks for joining yeah i have excuse me <laughs> i ate too fast i have uh i have homemade trail mix i i bought like okay so here's what here's what is in it i don't know if i'll be able to show this on camera but I tried to make I'm what I, so I'm not really on a diet. I'm just trying to eat healthier. And what I'm trying to do diet wise is I'm trying to eat like the least processed food possible. Okay. Like talking to my doctor about it with my autoimmune disease and everything. I'm trying to eat not like 
foods that aren't processed. So what that means is when I go in the grocery store and I look at stuff, I pick up the package. I need to be able to recognize what all the ingredients are and like, you know, and it needs to be like something that grows or is an animal, right? It can't be like, you know, ribonucleic acid or whatever the fuck it is. You know, it needs to be like an actual thing, right? So anyway, I made my own trail mix. So what I have is I have some almonds uh, uh, you're not going to be able to see this. I have some, uh, there's two things in the spoon here. It's not going to focus. You can kind of tell. I have some almonds, some honey glazed almonds. And literally the ones I bought, it's literally the ingredients were almonds and honey. <laughs> That's all. And then I have mango and then I have dried cranberries. Yeah, they're just pure dried cranberries, not anything else. Cause I had those kidney stones recently and I've been trying to incorporate cranberries into my diet more. And then I have, this is a mango slice. I know it's not going to focus. I have just literally dried mango slices, no sugar added, nothing like that. Just dried mango slice. Cashews, just plain cashew pieces, not, not no salt, nothing added, just plain cashew pieces and um, no chocolate or anything, unfortunately, nothing sweet. And then there's also um, some raisins in here. But anyway, I like, you know, I bought like, the stuff that has like no sugar added and and all that stuff and it's just like whatever the item is. And then I and then I mixed it all together. And that's my trail mix. So yeah, you don't need sugar for mangoes, I feel like. The cranberries are a little tart because <laughs> they haven't been cut with anything. They're just like straight cranberries, so they're a little tart, but yeah, anyway. That's my trail mix. And then I also had with my chicken pita which I still have some. I have some grapes. <clears throat> All right, let's get going, though. Subdue Benoff. Oh, I was promised you guys I'd talk about mailboxes for the foreign folks. I don't know if you guys talked about one where I'm while I was gone. But in the United States, uh, for the foreign folks, right, just like in your country, probably, there's a mail service. It's a S S Pesuedo government agency. It's not technically government, but the government oversees it. Um, but anyway, it's called USPS, United States Postal Service. And uh, there are public mailboxes in like shopping centers or other places, and they look exactly like this. They're just blue. This is their exact shape. You pull the little handle right there. You put whatever you want to mail into that slot, and then you close it, and it drops down. And then every day, a mailman comes by and picks it up. You also have like a uh, you have a you have a uh, mailbox at your house, right? That like the mailman will drive around Monday through Friday and pick up mail and drop off mail. But you you do this, like if you have like a really important letter or something or something that you like want to make sure it's secure or like it's supposed to get to where it's going, uh, you can drop it off here. It's usually typically a little faster. The only difference is in white letters on our mailboxes, it says like USPS on the right there where I'm pointing and on the sides, but anyway. That's what that object is. That's why it looks like that. I've seen some other countries' mailboxes, and they look quite different, so I figured I'd just tell people. That's a picnic basket. What the fuck? I wonder what that object does. Floor 1, Unit 14. All right. So these are all objects of power or altered items. That's a fan. <laughs> these are all SCPs, essentially, right? That's what this is. <sighs> Skilly mail isn't a US exclusive. No, I know it's not, but sometimes, listen, people, when it's, I've learned being on the internet that whenever uh, I assume that people recognize something or know something as an American, that's an American thing, meaning that style of mailbox, uh, I've realized that there's people who don't know. Like, I always, like, if I had made an edited video of this and put this out, I guarantee you somebody would have commented and been like, why the fuck do your mailboxes look like that? Or that's not how mailboxes look in Djibouti. That's a real country, by the way. But, you know. Anyway. That's a hammer. Is that Mjolnir? That kind of looks like a, a little bit. Plus. That's right. I got to spread the freedom, right? Everybody must learn about the freedom that we have here. Uh, I guess I want to go to Firebreak. Because we're on the fourth floor, right? No, we're at the Firebreak? Okay. So I guess we want to go to the fourth floor. Altered Items Unit. There Something we go. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau Oh, I'm dead. I need to put my heartbeat. I don't think 
she's telling me everything. I have not gone back to the anchor, Panthera. I don't have the ability to do it yet. We have to wait until I get, I think, the final ability. What the fuck? I can't use my gun right now. This dude just following me. Listen, if you're vegan or vegetarian, good for you. That's great. Um, and I have no qualms or issues with it. And I, I think it's a healthy choice and it's good as long as you take care of yourself and make sure you get the nutrients and everything you need. And, uh, but can someone tell me why? And hopefully this doesn't offend anybody. Um, you know, you do you, whatever you want to eat, whatever diet you want to be on, that's fine. But why are a lot of vegetarians or vegans so pushy about being vegan or vegetarian? Like, I get it. I understand the moral and ethical obligations that, that you, that you might be doing it for. I get it. But like, you realize that to a lot of people acting that way is the turnoff of being vegetarian or vegan. <laughs> so... You know, maybe back off a little bit, vegans and vegetarians. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, all right? Maybe palm down. You know, be a little bit nicer. I'm generalizing, I know. I know all vegans and vegetarians are not like that. I'm well aware. I'm just generalizing. <laughs> because they've seen the light and want others to see it too. It's so funny you say that. That's what it feels like, right? Like sometimes the way vegans or vegetarians talk about being vegan or vegetarian, it sounds like a religion and it's like, bro, I don't want to join your cult. Please just, you do your cult stuff over there and I'm going to do my non-culty chicken stuff over here, okay? Unapologetic again, what's up? Welcome to the stream. What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times or it deviates. My super blazer never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Oh, poor guy. That guy has my name. That guy has my name. He has my name. His name is Philip with two L's. He spells it like I do with two L's. I can't leave him. I can't leave my fellow Philip. Oh, I can't do it right now. I can't help him right now. Assist the agent in the panopticon cell after Dylan has been found. Okay, so we have to come back and do that. Poor guy. He has to watch the fridge or it deviates. Fuck, dude. That sucks, bro. Jack Frost, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. He is a Philly twin. Yes, he would. Yes, he is. Yes, my real name is Philip, aka Philippe. Uh, I can't do anything, can I? Upgrade wise, uh, we we haven't done that much since I last. Oh, I completed a countermeasure though. Shatter recoil efficiency. Okay, kill his distorted his rangers in the containment sector. Are we? We're still in containment, I think technically. Kill mold hosts. Okay, I don't think we're we're there yet. I need a new one. Strategic target hiss warped. Uh, they break, crack, rip. Rated M for mature. <laughs> I I can't kill those though. I need a I need a I need a a thing that I can actually do. Uh, hiss elevated. Sure, fine. All right. I hear something. No object. Oh, so. All right, some people are fighting. Oh, she's fighting. All right. Got him. Eat shit. Yeah, I need I need to go back and save Philip when I can. 
I can't leave a fellow Philip dying. Underneath? Okay, I don't think I need to go underneath right now. Can you call me Philippe instead? Sure. I like Skilly though. But I mean, yeah, I don't really care either way, honestly. <laughs> You want to know where Skilly came from, Jamekel? I've talked about it some. The short and dirty is... Uh, I'll try to do this real quick because it's a repeat for a lot of people. But, uh... Fuck. All right, hold on. I, I, I don't know if I can tell it while I'm in combat. Holy shit, dude. Fuck. Oh, God. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. Ugh, ugh. Okay, um, <laughs> so I went by a lot of different monikers online for like my Steam account and my Xbox account and stuff over the years. And then um, when I was in college, I was like, man, all these online names that I've had or have had before are stupid. And I want something like unique and cool. And uh, my uh, fiance at the time, who is now my wife, I was trying to come up with something and I didn't like anything I came up with. And she was, um, ooh. And I was like, yo, I need, I need help. I need to come up with something. And she doesn't play video games. She knows nothing about video games, uh, really. She just knows that I like them. She doesn't even really care to watch them. And uh, she was like, well, you play a lot of uh, uh, video games. You must be really good at them. I'm not. <laughs> And she, and she, like, there were a couple people in my life. It wasn't that big of a nickname, really, but, like, she jokingly would call me McPhilly sometimes. And uh, she was like, you must be really skilled, so, like, skill McPhilly or something. And I was, and I added the Y. I was like, oh, Skilly McPhilly. I was like, I kind of like that. And uh, so then I changed my, like, gamer tag and my Steam name and all that to Skilly McPhilly. And then when it came time to become a content creator, I was going to go with something else. And when I was talking to IGP about it, he was like, are you stupid? He was like, Skilly McPhilly is a great, unique, fucking personal to you. Like, you know, matches your name. He was like, you need to use Skilly McPhilly. And I was like, all right. So that's where it came from. So my wife pretty much made it up. That's the object of power. That's the TV. I need to cleanse it. All right. Hey, what's up, Second Chance? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Ooh, it's an object of power. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. Get yeah, spicy. Holy shit, brother. Why didn't she use evade? Come on, Jesse. You gotta be thinking on your feet. See, those are the best kinds of names, uh, Jamekel. I like it. Right? Like they have a personal touch or something personal about them. So those are the best. Uh, also, too, I think, right, like my my content is about, you know, like I play funny, silly games. You know, we do, um, you know, like I just I, I like to be dumb and, and just have fun. And Skilly McPhilly kind of sounds like that. I think I also personally think it's kind of funny that the, the word Skilly is in my name when I am not very good at games. So, but games aren't about, I mean, I guess for some people, games are about being really good, right? But to me, the it's just, games are just fun. You're just meant to have fun, right? And it doesn't matter if you're good or not, so. But I think it's, I think it's slightly funny and kind of like an inside jokey almost that uh, my name is Skilly McPhilly, but I am, I am not Skilly at video games in general. I'm, I'm okay at some games. I'm not the worst ever. I know, I'm well aware. Uh, there's, uh, there's an item over here, but I can't, 
I think I can get to it, but I can't really see the ledge. <sighs> Fuck, dude. It's too dark. I need, I need light. If I do an explosion, will there be light? Okay, I kind of, hold on. Let's do that again with Pierce. Okay. <laughs> the second I mentioned my partner saying you must be skilled, I laughed really hard. Yeah. <laughs> bless, bless, bless my wife and her, and her naivety when it comes to me being good at video games. God fucking damn it. There's a way up there. I know there is, and I don't know how to do it. <clears throat> hey, what's up, D's Nuts? Welcome to the stream. Josue, Josue, dude. What's going on? Been a minute, man. I hope you're doing good. Thanks for joining. Good to see you again. All right. <laughs> yeah, there's also a lot of potential as chat is showing off to uh, play around with my with my name. Damn it! I can't. All right. I'm not gonna fuck around with this too much more, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try a couple more times. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Can I? I just noticed that we're like things are not where they're supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, I might I swear to god, my luck when it comes to thumbnails for streams. Like I just pick thumbnails. I come up with a title and I pick a thumbnail image from like promo images or press kits that I think looks cool. This is my thumbnail. I didn't know that this was I did this yesterday too with the enemy. Ah, oh, the fuck. I, the, oh, you know what? I can't get to it. The room needs to be shifted again. Okay. I'm doing something that's impossible. I just I just realized. What's up, Demon? What's up, uh, Josh G? Welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. This is trippy as fuck, though. All right. What is that? That looks like a new enemy. What the fuck is that? That's a boss. Full show. I can't decide if I want to hit him first or if I want to take out a couple of ads because I could kill a couple of ads in one shot. I don't think I'm going to kill it in one shot. You know what, though? Go big or go home. We're firing all three charge grenades at it. Is he dead? No. Oh, I don't think this is going to kick off. Oh, I have to go down to activate this. Oh, you fucks. You absolute fucks. Oh, no. It's going to make me go down to activate the battle. And there is no way back up here, is there? So I'm going to have to fight down there. All right. Here goes nothing. Yeah, Salvador. Oh, that's one of the directors. I need help. I need help. I need help. Ah! Ah! Oh, I killed myself. I was way too close to my charge explosion. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> hey, what's up, Kevin? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Oh, damn it, man. Fuck. All right. I just got to run around again, right? I'm going to need this to kill the two hiss elevated over here. Are they already dead? They're already dead. Okay. Nope. Did I miss? That guy ducked, right? I got something you can't duck from, bitch. <laughs> yeah! How about that spicy meatball? Hey, what's up, baby? Oh, you want some? All right. Got them all, right? Yeah, we're good. Hey, what's up, Critter? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. All right. Oh, D. 
damn, this is fucked, dude. Cleanse the Benikoff DVR. We gotta face Salvador, though. Man, I get it. It's a boss fight. They don't want you cheesing it and standing here and just shooting everybody. cream soda is so good dude man why do they at least in the the store that i go to they only have like fucking they only have little four pack bottles like there's no 12 pack or anything else i guess that's a good thing i'd be so fat if i could buy cream soda in like packs of 12. yeah he really crushed me uh these guys are gonna show up again aren't they Okay. All right. All right. What is that? Am I... Sniped me, sniper. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. No, god damn it, man. My reaction time was off there. I'm, I'm racking up deaths now. What the fuck's wrong with me? The food has slowed me down. The food has slowed me down. It's the grapes, man. Wrong way. source all right listen chat i don't know if anybody caught that i just shot two barriers in front of myself with the charge uh form and the charge form grenade thing blew up in my face and killed me that's what that's that's what just happened i don't know if anybody caught that uh but i just essentially just committed kermicide sorry that was my alarm to get dinner and walk the dog but we just did that like 15 20 minutes ago all right i got this i got this i got this i just gotta stop being dumb I did it again. I did it again. I, I don't think I should be allowed to have this weapon. I don't think I'm allowed. I, I, I think I'm going to have to ban myself from using it. I just, I can't, I can't be responsible. This is why I can't have nice things. 
All right, I need to get all the health before I die again. All right. of fighting <laughs> chance that's for sure hey what's up workman welcome to the stream thanks for joining good to have you <laughs> okay boss time this time i can't die this time we can't keep doing that bridge encounter i'm trying to think if i should switch i definitely need charge I'm wondering if I should switch to either Shatter or Grip, though. I might need to switch to Grip so that I have, like, a more accurate... No, you know what? I've been using Pier... No, I got this. I got... I'm, I'm going in with the weapons that I want, that I like. I'm going to do this the skilly way. Otherwise, uh, you know... All right. Here we go. guys sorry Oh my god, I'm 
hurt again. Oh, he's down there. I need that health, though. I need that health. I need that health. Oh, I'm so close. Oops. Wrong button. Wrong button, Skelly. Get it together, man. Get it together. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Health. 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 get a new strategy <clears throat> charge blast radius yeah reload speed we're not doing up on reload speed we need more damage or armor breakthrough is what we need um projectile speed to fire accuracy damage against armor 37 percent all right we're adding that what is this damage while aiming and damage against enemy armor 80 percent oh actually 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 hold on hold your goddamn horses uh, um, uh reload efficiency maybe reload efficiency dude mm, damage after kills uh zoom boost reload speed we'll do reload speed for that and then for here we are gonna do enemy armor 80% damage because I'm assuming that that guy's like shield thing that he's using like my shield ability right I'm assuming that counts as enemy armor or at least I hope it does <laughs> I love doing that dude There's more guys down here, right? Always. Fuck you guys. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, my, my fucking thing is full. Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. I don't know what my highest is. Dracice or other bods might know, but um, I can tell you this. I know I'm nowhere near it. <laughs> I think it might be the one of the berserker fights in God of War that I was doing before I was technically appropriate level for it. I think I died like 30 sub plus times to that in God of War Ragnarok. But I finally beat it. I'm locked in on watching this boss battle. LOL. I'm supposed to be working on a project. I can't work till you do it. I'll get it done. I'll get it done. Yeah, the Berserkers is probably my my record. with one levitated thing and my health is just it's just it's literally it, it's gone it's gone and then like look what bullet kills me that's the i died so fast there i'm gonna have to use the shield ability yeah this isn't even close to the berserkers nowhere near yet and uh two of my deaths or three of my deaths tonight are due to just me being stupid and other stuff I got obliterated, dude. He hit me right away with levitate there, and I was just done for. 
I had to try to go for the health, otherwise. Oh, is it not? Are they not spot? Oh God, I suck so bad. They're no longer spawning enemies. What should you order from DoorDash? Free day for food? Well, what are you craving? If it's a if it's a cheat day or whatever you want to call it, I would say burgers or pizza or something like that, dude. Or pa get some pasta. Get some Italiano. You know, something like that. One of those three. Uh, Critter, I am drinking cream soda. I love cream soda. I know it looks alcoholic, but it's not. <laughs> my three charge burst thing a little too close to myself right there and fucked myself that was a little too close <laughs> it's okay ruby i'm fine i promise i know the sounds coming from this room i i understand i'm good i'm good good girl Yeah, that was better, but I still... Why? Okay, why didn't they spawn last time? Ow. Ow. Ow.
asshole. Alright, I really need to refill my health before we get in there. Okay, I, I should not be using that weapon right there. I'm gonna end up killing myself. Ouch. Help me out, buddy. Help me out, dude. shooting at me where's the other guy where's the person who was shooting did he go up huh okay whatever a blt with a little bit of peanut butter on it i have not heard of that before the fucking dude All right, that was the last guy. It's a game changer. Well, now I got something else I got to try. I don't, damn it. I really wish I had full health going into this fight. Okay, I think I have to make use. I did really good making use of the shield ability. I think I have to make use of that. Maybe evade more. Maybe instead of jumping, evade. I do not have time for major targets. I'm trying to kill a fucking a fucking bitch. This guy is so hard. I wonder if I'm the only one who has trouble with this fight. I can't be, right? close to myself. Ow! Oh, a fucking rocket! God, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Dude, I didn't know that there was a rocket. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Alright. 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 I just gotta get good. I gotta get good. I got it. I got it. I gotta get good. I think these are definitely the guns, even though I'm just sucking ass because you need armor piercing stuff. No enemies this time, huh? You're having Panda Express for dinner. I have not had a Panda Express in a long time. At least I'm at full health this time. Oh, I was gonna try to cheese it. I was gonna try to be a bitch.
to myself. All right, hold on. I'm getting better. Did I up the death count? Did I did I up the death count? One more. There's uh, that bubble bitch, right? Nope, I got him. All right. Ooh, what the fuck? That was a step up. The hell was that? I need to do my. Wait, four? Hold on. All right, we have to. We don't have one that's four. Uh, my weapon mods are full. Fuck. All right. Um. Zoom, rate of fire, damage. I need stuff that's duplicated. Uh, recoil. Get rid of that. Projectile spread. Hold on. Don't we have a recoil one somewhere else? Oh, which that could go away. Uh, isn't there another rate of fire too? Yeah, we have a better rate of fire one. Projectiles fired plus three. We can get rid of that because we're about to pick up a plus four. Uh, we only need one of those. Accuracy. We can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, headshot damage while aiming. Get rid of that. All right. Now we can pick that up. All right. That's for shatter, though. We're not using that. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not having any trouble. Am I supposed to be at 11? It should be at 11? Okay. There we go. Fixed. 
<laughs> All right, I got I got this. I have to I, I this is it. This is it. I know I was a goober told me be aggressive. I normally do do better when I'm aggressive, but I don't know being close to that guy. He's like he like one shots you almost. I don't know. Times. What did I fight that guy like seven times? God. All right. Why does uh? <laughs> yeah. Why does being aggressive like it always works for me? And I don't understand why. Even like when it's like counterintuitive to what the strategy is supposed to be for the fight, I always do better when I'm aggressive. It's it's a strange phenomenon in the Skilly universe. All right. <clears throat> I only need one of those. These do stack, right? So I think I'll keep those. Those are all prime. Uh, weapon mods. What do we got? Ammo per cost down by five, but we already, if we do by type. No, we'll keep those. All right. Uh, hold on. Mission wise, I completed two. Okay, so we need to return to the thing. And then collectibles, um, Salvador's ID. Oh, that was what Salvador used to look like. He didn't look like that anymore. It should have never been accessible to low cleared staff in the first place. Lynn Salvador. I get stuff done in rage mode. Yeah, I seem to, don't I? Okay. Strange phenomenon. Another object hey, what's up, Robin the Unique? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. All right. And then there's something else over here before we do that. Anchor supplement. Oscillates anchor. Oh, so this is the anchor that we can get to that we need to go to later. The object of power. The crew of the white... Uh, this is altered item 11-UE. The crew of the white oscillate first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the redacted. Witnesses described it as a black spear with faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew redacted by throwing a tin bucket, which disappeared into the spear. Soon after the vessel lost structural integrity, the ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the spear lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the Redacted rescued the four surviving crew. 
Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates, redacted, and began diving operations. On the second floor, the agents found the spear. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the spear behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the spear was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the redacted to the U.S. port of redacted. Upon re arriving in New York, it was brought into the Bureau via the redacted. Woo! Hey, Cherry Boy, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Glad to have you. Sometimes uh, the bot is a little overzealous, but you're all good. All right. This is that object of power. We got to uh, bind it to ourselves, I assume. Is this going to give us our last ability? Whoa. Saw a flash of Polaris there. Use the TV slash babysitter. Levitate superhero over the obstacle. It is levitate. I guessed it. Use levitate to complete the astral plane challenge. Fuck yeah, dude. So. Oh. We literally. I literally can just levitate around for a certain amount of time. Okay. I keep holding it to go higher. What? Dude. <laughs> It's our last ability, huh? Holy shit. Oh, it's one of those fucking things. Rob with the gifted channel membership. And that went to... Uh, that went to Arcane uh, Tavlate. I probably butchered that. I'm so sorry. Rob, you legend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That helps out a bunch. So thank you. Oh, yeah, I can literally... I can fly now. That, 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 that's what this equates to. I can fucking fly. While falling to slow fall. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, see? Oh my god. This is... Oh my god. Movement just got even crazier in this game somehow, guys. What, what, what you, what you talk about, Willis? Fuck out of here. Hey, what's up, bitch? Nah, I'm gonna need you to stay there. I can shoot, I can shoot while I'm levitating. Oh, I meant, I meant, I missed all of those, dude. Eat that. Eat that for me. Hey! Fucking Superman, man. Newsflash APB. The hiss slash static attempts to reach us. Our broadcast okay. must survive. Dealt with the TV. All right. Now I can find Dylan. And we can go back and do that side mission. And we can save our friend Philip. Philip. Uh, yeah. Actually, we're gonna go do the, uh, safe room. Uh, well, actually, after Dylan. Okay, we're gonna investigate the safe room. Right? The enemy within. That was what we needed. We needed this ability to get through there. We also have a case file on this. Yeah, I'm going to the anchor. It's anchor time, baby. All right, no unique containment procedures required while bound. This is the Benikoff TV, object of power 7-KE. A CERT television built by a CRT, or I, I like to call them CERT, built by Benikoff and Sons Electronics. The screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum observed altitude of redacted. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to harness this effect for their own use. See report redacted for the results tested with prime candidate redacted. The object is currently bound by Redacted. That's a me. Background. The object was first discovered in a local news story from Redacted, Kansas. A figure had been seen Redacted over buildings. Is that a Superman reference? Because of flying? Because Superman's from Kansas. The Bureau dispatched agents to the town who discovered that a man named Redacted had bound himself to the object. Mr. Redacted was detained um, and the object was brought to the Bureau for study. I think that's a cheeky little, like, sly Superman reference. Uh, like, honestly. Whoop. Oh, dude, that is so cool. That is so cool. Wee! Wee! All right. Well, I wanted to know... Aww. I 
will take you. Please, I need you. Become my friend. Fight for me. Do my bidding. Mwah. Oh, oop. Are you, are you still, are you dead? Are you alive? Oh, oops. You're the last one. Sorry, you have to die. All right. <clears throat> Wasn't there an item in here? Yeah, now it's all light in here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Post box procedures. All right. Ooh, it's the it's the it's the mailbox. Jasper post box altered item 31-PE. Black rock paneling is proven effective in hindering but not eliminating the object's altered effect. Agents in the immediate vicinity may still experience paralysis. Keeping a distance of redacted feet from the cell is recommended unless agent is confirmed to be non-susceptible. Um, a dark blue United States post box model redacted. Paint is chipped at the edges. The item itself is empty with no mail discovered inside, inside at the time of retrieval. The item seizes the motor functions of organisms meeting an unknown criteria. Paralyzed subjects are still capable of moving their eyes and limited speech. During tests, approximately 16% of agents remain unaffected by the item. Age, gender, race, weight, height, blood type, eye color, clothing, place of birth, diet, heart rate, and socioeconomic standing are all factors proven to have no correlation to an individual's vulnerability to the item. Victims states, victims state of my states of mind were recorded during onset of paralysis, but no emotional correlation has been found yet. Okay. Wasn't there something else in here too? Somewhere. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I'm standing on a wet floor sign. Oh. Nope. Yep, there is. There absolutely is. All right, we gotta grab that note. Is there anything on the on, on the old ceilings here? Oh, oh, ow, ouch, ouch. Okay, you gotta, I gotta remember to slow my fall. All right, hold on. Uh oh, I went up too high. Uh oh. Here we go. Ah. There we go. Oops. Dude, levitate. It's so awesome. Oh, God. That, this game keeps getting better. Ramen Lantern uh, Altered Item 69.-KE. The Lantern was discovered. I know I say that word funny. Sorry. Was discovered at a street side ramen shop in Tokyo, Japan named Redacted. The shop gained immense popularity due to this item. The shining beacon hanging in its doorway. A visiting documentarian was similarly enthralled by the crimson luster of the lantern and helped it find international acclaim through a television series highlighting the world's finest restaurants. Audiences' interest in the lantern brought it to the attention of the Bureau, and soon the lantern found its way here to us. I write this as I sit beside the very item. Its light is so comforting, so familiar. It reminds me of summer nights when I was a boy, the sun setting, the air warm, the chittering song of the evening insects. The Lantern knows we all want to feel safe at home, secure in the knowledge that the world won't change, and neither will we. We'll be young and happy forever here in its glow. The author of this document was detained shortly after this case file was distributed. Individual handling of the item is now prohibited. Information in this document may be compromised by the author's obvious infatuation with the item. So it made people like love it, right? Mission wise. Yeah, we're on the right mission. All right. Where did I come from again? I came from that way. Is there anything else around here? Like I can't, what's directly above me? All right, hold on a sec. Whoa. All right, I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, 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 oh. Right? Oh, no, we got everything. Boop, boop. Boop. Okay. It'd be funny if there was a shop somewhere called Redacted. Oh, dude. I want to I wanna open a shop now and name it that. Oh, yeah. The bad, the bad people are here. I see you. I figured it would be a sniper. 
sons of bitches. Oh, hey, what's up, boo? Better? Do, do they want me to, like, fly? Should I try to go over there? Before we continue on? I think that might, that might actually be the way up. Because of levitate. Yeah, that is. All right, we're not going there yet, though. I mean, I could pretty, I could pretty much go anywhere now. It doesn't matter where it's at, but I need to get back. I need to get to a control point, and I need to teleport to where we could go do the anchor. Oh. Yep, here we go. Ward countermeasures. Oh, that's right. We, I completed countermeasures. All right. Uh, research incursion. She's a target mold. She target hiss rangers. Let's do that. And uh, charge maneuvers. Kill enemies with the service weapon in charge mode. Yes, please. All right. Oh, I can't help Philip yet. I have to. I have to reach my brother first. Uh, fast travel. Uh, sealed threshold. We need to go to logistics. Is that where we need to go? Logistics would be the closest one. No, there's one at turntable. Turntable. Where's that at though? Logistics. Sealed threshold hall entrance. Right there. It's right there. There's one right there. Skilly, on two stream, you said you were to remind you about the secret area you found and couldn't cross. We ended up getting across that in stream two, later in the stream. It was a long stream, eight and a half hours. But yeah, we ended up getting across it, but thank you for the reminder. I appreciate it. There was, uh, we just needed to get like this, we just needed to do this other thing. I forgot exactly, but there was like something else we had to do, and then the bridge extended. Uh, I think. Okay, if I remember correctly, anybody who was here for that part, just remind me or say yes or no. Okay, Mr. Dead Dog, what do you think of this? You know that the airplane we brought in, like the actual proper airplane, guess who they made catalog every individual piece of that plane to be examined for suspected altered status. I had to count every bolt, nut, and piece of non-connected metal, and that's just on the exterior of the damn thing. Do you know how many pieces of hardware it takes to make an airplane? I do, I do! Takes a lot is what I'm guessing. That, that guy's not, he's not a happy camper. Not at all. All right, how do I get, um, blah, 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 blah. How do I get to where I want to go? Down here? It's not down here though. It's through here, right? Right? Yeah. And then it's the place with the blood outside of it, right? No? Is it down? It's down here. This is the safe room Well showed me. The one with the altered item inside. Yep. Great. More clocks. Oh, Sway, thanks for being a channel member for three months at the engineer level, dude. I really appreciate that. We decided on a sandwich place called Potbelly. Cheers, Skilly and chat. Happy Easter. Hey, Josue, thank you so much for being a channel member for that long, dude. You're a legend. It helps out a bunch. Enjoy your dinner. Yes, I am going to the anchor right now. That is where we are headed. We shall go there. All right. Oh, how never will I cross? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just levitate over. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, the fuck is that? Uh, defeat the anchor. I didn't realize it was gonna be a fucking boss. What the fuck? Holy oh, shit, brother! Okay. He's just throwing a bunch of clocks at me, dude. He just threw a bunch of clocks at me. Ah! Nothing is hurting it. Nothing is hurting it. Okay, this hurts it. Charge hurts it. Is it over there? 
All right, we're gonna charge up. Josue with the $50 stream or uh, super chats and happy early Easter. Josue, you absolute legend. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, one at a time, it seems. <laughs> can't hit it when it's doing that I think yeah when it's doing that it's it's unhittable when it's doing something like that I should probably I'll do more damage if I'm in front of it when it does that I think but I also feel like yeah no damage when it's doing that okay These red ones do massive damage when it when it oh when it stops this. Yeah! I knew, I knew there had to be a trick. Oh, okay, something it just shit just got real, dude. Shit just got real right away. Stop levitating. I need the health. I need the health. Oh, it's firing shit at me. Look at me, bitch. Open up. Open up. Take your dinner. Take your dinner, motherfucker. Ah! Hey, 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 hey. Back up, back up. I will. Don't make me do this. All right, we need to get... Is there another red clock? There is. There is. Stupid fucking anchor! Now open up, open up, say yummy. Say yummy. Say yummy. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed. Ah! All right, run, 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 run. We don't have a lot of health. Save me, dude. And I was gonna say that this fight was easy not too long ago. Oh, no, boy, was I fucking wrong. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, I know what to do now, though. Holy shit! The hell was that? That is one big spicy meatball. That is not an anchor anymore. It's a spicy fucking meatball. Hey, what's up, Junior? Welcome to stream, Junior. I hope you're doing good. Good to have you. I, I did get clock blocked. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. Wrong one. Not evil laugh. The dumb tiss. My <laughs> not evil laugh, dude. My B. <laughs> wrong sound effect. Roll it back. Roll it back. Here. He disappeared. What a son of a bitch. This is the safe room Well showed me. The one with the altered item inside. Great. More clocks. <laughs> Luxy Funky, welcome back. Good to have you. 
Welcome to the KFC as well. <laughs> I gotta do my evil laugh. That that was that was the sound effect for it. <laughs> or my or like my evil laugh. <laughs> that's a bad that's a bad evil laugh. All right, we know what to do now. Gotta wait till he opens his big derpy fucking mouth, though. What the fuck is that? Open your mouth over here, you bitch. what you fucking get. <laughs> Open your mouth. Open mouth. Open mouth. Is he going over there? Because he's I can't tell which way he's gonna open his mouth. I need to try to take down as much of his health before the ads start popping. You know? Please open over here. Yeah, yeah. Woo! The ads are gonna start now, though. Oh, shit. I just barely dodged whatever the fuck that was. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't want to throw that at him. you to look at me over here no i picked up the wrong thing damn it man melon wow cow what's up melon con wow sorry welcome to the stream thanks for joining good to see you again oh, dude what is up with the bosses now in this game being like supercharged yeah the soundtrack for that fight's great wrong way we gotta go the clock way. Yep. This is a safe room, I'll show you. The one with the altered item inside. Great. More clocks. I should have fought. I'm gonna have no I'm gonna have low health now. Oh well. I'll die in one hit. God damn it. If I if I do at the control point, do I get my health back? Hey. Oh. I completed a board countermeasure too. Alright. Uh executive incursion. Kill mold host. Let's get a new one. Research host. No. His troopers. There we go. Um, astral constructs. Can we do anything? I got to upgrade Shatter. I mean, I mean, I don't have the corrupted samples, so why not? Shatter's now got a second. Let's do that one more time to kind of like save. There we go. All right. Look at me, motherfucker. What the fuck is that? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Defeat the anchor. It's making more shots. 
Look at me. Open up. Open up, big boy. Open up. Bitch. Yeah, all right. I got to stay focused. Focus, focus. I got to spin. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me and you will see a world full of wonder. Hey, spin, 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 spin. He doesn't start doing ads until you get his health. Two clocks. Two clocks in. That's the gauge. my attention's diverted and it's the fucking floating explody guys and you have to deal with them fuck man at least i'm smart now and i did the uh the point right here so i don't have to walk all the way back all right i got this i got i got i got it i got it it's no it's no biggie badoop, badoop, badoop. I think I need to shield against that that sonic blast if I can remember. Here, spin, 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 spin. Come to me, come to me, baby. Come to me, come to me. You know you want to. You know you want to. Hey, what's up? What's up, dude? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! No! I needed that clock! Fuck! God damn it. All right, we're gonna try something. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna try something. We're gonna try to shield with shield and throw a regular clock. It still hurt him. It still hurt him. Okay. All right, good to know. And then we're gonna float over here. Ah, oh, fuck! I fuck! 
fucked up. I was too focused on these guys. Damn it. Oh, the ads are the fucking problem, dude. The ads are the goddamn problem, for real. Look at me. Please look at me. Look at me. No, 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Fuck! Damn it. Uh, I tried to throw the thing at him because I thought he was gonna be right there. Then the thing happened and then he wasn't there and then I died. Fuck, man. What's up, Misty? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. God damn it. What's up, uh, Matthew Crosby? Good to have you. All right, I got this. Dude, this. Oh, fuck, dude. The red clocks definitely do more damage, though. It's not, it's not like a huge difference, but it, it definitely does more. Woo! What is that? You're gonna go down. You're gonna go down. I got you. I got your number. I got your number. Flip, 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 flip. Look at me. Look at me. Accidentally. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Everybody, calm down. I accidentally double tap spacebar, and it, when you're levitating, that de levitates you. And I lost my height, and I couldn't re levitate. All right. <laughs> oh fuck! All right. That was a dumb mistake on my part. I won't make it again. What the fuck is that? It's the anchor. It's the blanker. It's making more clocks. It's gonna look at me. Look at me. I want you. Come on, I want you to do it. I want you. Wrong clock. Wrong clock. All right. Well, we could just stand here again. Because uh, this guy—it was a clock. It counts, right? <laughs> you know you want to. Damn it. Oh, well, fuck it. Pierce does a lot more. All right. Pierce does more than the charge shots, but it's it takes longer to get Pierce off. I do this next clock are gonna come. He's coming. No, I fucked it again. I fucked it. Fuck you. Ow! The fuck was that shit? Fuck you. Hey, hey. Ow! Where the fuck? Oh god, he's gonna explode. Hey. Assholes. He's gonna look at me. He's gonna look at me. I can feel it. I feel it. I felt it. Damn it.
Oops. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Do it. Do it. I want you to do it. Come on. Come on. did get clocked <laughs> hey what's up shorty welcome to the stream thanks for joining i gotta go I, I need to pee maybe that's why i'm not doing so well here i gotta go to the bathroom you guys listen to music for a minute and maybe i'll just uh i walked ruby not too long ago maybe i'll just take the doggo out for a real quick pee too because she ate her dinner so i'll be back in like i don't know i'll be back in like five minutes not even okay i'll be back i'm gonna woosah and we're gonna come back and we're gonna kick this fucking thing's ass 146 people here stay here I forgot where the camera was for a minute. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Memories flow into my head. All the things I wish I never said. It's been so long. Where have I to go? Put me up on that pedestal. Too afraid how far I would fall. Is that too One you need, the one you long for, the one who fixes all your problems. It's not my job, it's not my place to take your hits and bruise my face. Don't say you swear. Take a breath, no, you didn't mean anything when you said to me. Another night of sleeping 
alone coming over this wasn't what i was hoping what happened to being open what went wrong say we make up say none the tension break us no What's up, everybody? <laughs> All right. I was thinking every time these uh, the hiss elevated floaty dudes, explodey dudes come at me, I'm just going to immediately platform hop to another area to create distance. I think that's a good idea, right? So that's going to be the game plan. The ads are really what's killing me. If I could just focus on the clock, this would be such a simple fight. But I can't. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Ooh, girl! Oh, girl! Oh, girl! All right, look at me. Look at me. You know you want to. does doesn't he so he shot there he shot there is he gonna shoot there or here and does it always stay the same i feel like it does because he always shoots the place where you start at second oh, fuck. yeah all right well i'll throw one clock at him here because he's coming here next and then we'll hop to the other place actually we need to go here this is where he's gonna look next. And I hit him, but I... All right. There's a pattern to where he looks, and I know what it is now, which is good. That's gonna be really helpful. I'm just a fucking idiot and jumped without hitting levitate. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. That fight was going so well. <clears throat> oh my god, man. All right. I got this. I got I'll get it together, guys. I promise. It's a lot of buttons to press, dude. There's a lot of buttons. The fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Woo! going here next come at me bro come at me bitch come at me bitch huh come on oh that didn't work and uh and i fucked myself all right he's going over there next oh god All right, health, please. All right, you can throw anything at his face hole. And I fucked up right there, too. Good job, Skilly. Just, just excellent, excellent form, buddy. Alright, 
he went there. Now he's coming here. Wait, I can get this clock. He's coming here. He's coming here. He's coming here. He's coming here. Yeah, look at me. Look at me. Nope, he's going over there. Ah, uh, JK. JK, LOL. Just kidding. Now he's coming here. Now he's coming here. Look at me, right? Uh, I've gotten out of whack. I don't remember where I'm at. Maybe he's coming here. Maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, he's going over there. All right, he's here next. He's here next. That's for sure. And I'm dead. I don't know what I, one of them threw a thing at me, I think. Or, okay. All right. All right. All right. Everybody, we... we hold on. We got it. We got this, man. Oh, man. I'm going to lose... All, everybody's going to go away because... <laughs> I can't fucking do this. All right. What the fuck is that? It's the anchor. That didn't work. Shield does not block this. I still get I still get hurt. It blocks some of it. I don't know how that didn't hit him last time. How did my clock not work? It's bullshit is what it is. or what's fucking my asshole every single time those fucking fucks and there's I can only dude this guy's worse than Salvador Oop. the fuck is that Was it recharged? <laughs> this guy's gonna make me rage. He's gonna make it. He's gonna make me do it. All right, I have a health boost, a launch energy cost, and an evade energy cost. He's gonna. He's gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 32%. All right, 20% and 21%. Okay. Yeah, I have the best. I have the best stuff on. All right, just making sure. All right. I'm not jumping over there because I feel like I haven't been able to hit him on that first one. Fuck is that? So I'm going to stay here. He's going to do his thing. I'm going to shoot him. Hit him with all three. And then I'm going to get him clockwise right here. Come at me, bro. Come at me.
bitch. Look at me. Are you coming over here? I don't actually know if you're coming over here. I'm just... I'm hoping and praying. I'm hoping and praying, brother. Nope, you're not. All right, that's cool. Cool. You come over here next, though, right? Yeah, 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 look at me. Look at me. No, you fuck. Oh, you dirty fucking red ball. All right, fuck this. Ah, fuck. Damn it, now I gotta wait for him to come all the way around again? All right, hold on, I'll catch him over here. Hit him, hit him, but I took all the damage. I took all the damage. Fuck. Oh no, now we have more hits elevated. looking here? Is he looking here? I'm dead. That hiss elevated got too close. Dude, this is insane. Like, <laughs> redhead player with the $2 super chat said, hey, how you been, mate? I'm doing good, redhead player, other than this fucking anchor boss. All right. Theta Thoughts, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. A friendly suggestion? Sure, go for it. I'll, I'll allow it this time. <laughs> What's the suggestion? The fuck is that? I did better when using the shield, but the shield, you still take damage. I feel like I did too, but the shield, you still take damage. I don't want to take damage. I feel like if I'm good enough, I won't need the shield. I don't know, though. You're right. I might try it. Oh, I did it. I did it again. Oh. Oh. Oh, I am dirty. I can't believe I pulled that off. Isn't it? No, is it coming here? Open your fucking mouth. More guys are gonna spawn before he's coming here next, but I think guys are gonna spawn. And then I'm gonna be screwed. I'm gonna be screwed seven ways to Sunday. Nah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I hate those guys with a passion, dude. Sometimes when I throw the clock, it's like maybe I'm not locked on and that doesn't hurt it. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I knew he was coming there. I knew he was coming there, but I thought, oh, you got to deal with the guys who are shooting at you first. But no, he, he was just like, he was too fast. He was too fast, man. I will beat this. This is intense.
I'm gonna try this again. Fuck I'm gonna regret way? it, but I'm gonna try it. I might get right up in his face. It doesn't work. It doesn't work and it Is takes my health, so you can't. Fast? You can't. You can't take him at that sequence. Uh, that. Yeah, oh, fucking duck, dude. Seriously? I gotta keep an eye on my energy meter, too, so I don't accidentally not have enough energy. and fucking slice me dude I, yeah. that's what i'm dying to i'm not really dying to the anchor i'm dying to those fucking his elevated fucking floating bitches this is hard i what am i at 23 deaths this is this is shameful i okay we know we can't go over there to do it the fuck is that oh <gasps> I got this. I got this. It's making more talks. Come on. How did that not hit? How did that not hit? How did that not hit? <laughs> you have to be kidding me, bro. You've got to be fucking kidding me. 
I was panicking so hard. Ah, oh, no, I got this. Lindsay said you could always move on and come back. No. No. Skilly doesn't quit. No. Failure is not an option. We will do this. God, dude, my hands are sweating. What the fuck is that? My hands never sweat. Fuck! Huh. It's making more talks? I got it. Come on, bitch. Look at me. Look at me. was that holy shit guys Whew. yeah for a first try it was, so, it was so that was so many goddamn tries yeah first try such a hard time with oh oh my fingers hurt oh all right that was i said i got a trail mix oh i'm with trail mix but boom God damn it. I mean my nuts. Shit. <laughs> what did I get for that? <laughs> um damage against enemy armor, blast radius, accuracy. Oh, Judas go barbecue with the $5 super chat. Thanks. Uh, I really appreciate that. That helps out a bunch. You legend Judas. I don't know. My dog seems pretty okay with it. We were worried about that. And so we kind of looked it up before we got a pet. I was worried that my streaming would be like a big issue or like the yelling. Plus the kids are loud too, right? And they said, well, dogs apparently have an ability to like it's that they can't turn off their ears but if they're in an environment that's loud or in an environment that they don't like noise wise they can almost like kind of tune it out some so i don't know that was the first try you witnessed so it's the actual first try oh yeah all right hold on did I get a haircut? I didn't get a haircut. Oh, you mean beard? 
I got I, it's not a lot trimmed, but I did get it trimmed a little, but that was like a week ago, I think. All right. Ocelot's anchor. Altered item 11 UE. Blackrock paneling successfully prevents manifestation of the spear. A Trotman style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surface is rusted in places, weighs 3,789 pounds. The item generates a, pers a persistent blank spear, the purpose of which is currently unknown. This spear is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item, specifically redacted horizontal feet and redacted vertical feet from the redacted of the anchor. 425-1983, redacted. Ranger First Class was dropped into the spear wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line at Redacted AM EST. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the spear, Redacted's oxygen line was cut at the spear's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during Redacted's entry into the spear experienced vomiting, vomiting, vertigo, and loss of fingernails within an hour of one another. Ranger Redacted has been declared MIA, MIA presumed dead. <sighs> Fuck, man. All right, what mission are we on? Uh, okay, after, we gotta search for Dylan, okay. Oh, all right. I did the anchor. Man, that boss. Fuck, dude. That was something else, brother. Oh yeah, there are two, um, hold on. How do I get that? All right, hold on a sec. Hold your spicy meatballs. I, I almost forgot about these. Dodge efficiency. A prime one. Yep. Hey -o. Also, these dirty bastards. Look at this. You could overshoot that, I think, and die. <laughs> they don't pull any punches, do they? All right. Ooh, I got ability point. Ooh, spicy. Plus 10% to levitation duration. Yes, please. 10%? Yes, please. <laughs> Not enough points. Press C when levitating to slam it to the ground and damage. I can Superman punch the ground, dude. Bruh. Bruh. All right. I know what we're saving up for next. Ooh, what do we got? Upgrade charge. We need more source. Upgrade shatter. We need more intrusive patterns. More corrupted samples. Upgrade grip. Okay. Grip is our original gun, and that puts us all the way to three mod slots, I believe. So I'm actually going to do this. There we go. Good shit. And actually, um, countermeasures, did I complete any? No. <laughs> Not in that fight. Actually, so I think if I, like, switch and I, can I remove a thing? What I want to do, I think I could store some weapon mods in, in these, right? So then, all right, Rarity, what do we got? Accuracy plus 12. Yeah, that's the accurate gun, right? Damage while low on health, 58. I do tend to use that to kind of snipe. And I want to save that. Rate of fire plus 25%. Uh, headshot damage plus 60. Ooh, giggity. Um, what is this one for? Grip. Yeah, we'll put it there. Why not? And then let's switch to shatter because we can store another one here as well. We'll put a shatter exclusive one there. Negative 21% recoil. Okay. And now I actually want to go back to charge. What do we have? Damage against enemy armor and blast radius. Radius. Okay. All right. And we have a new, we have some new mods here. What we have let's do by type so we can get rid of extras shield strength get rid of that keep those two because it's a prime and an absolute health per pickup what was your nickname at ground pound <laughs> wait what was your nickname at high school superhero landing um Le leviathan is that it's not an e i'm sorry if i'm mispronouncing your name leviathan meow welcome to the stream good to have you thanks for joining Oh, there is so much more to this game than I anticipated. I'm just happy that I actually overcame that. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes there are things in games where I'm like, I'm not, I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do this, but I did it. 
Uh, 60 and 63%. We'll get rid of that. All right. And then weapon mods, 21 out of 24. Let's clean these up real quick. Damage, 18%. Let's get rid of the, that. Uh, damage against enemy armor. Ammo cost per shot. Ammo refund. Rate of fire. Projectile spread. Projectiles, 4. We don't need that then. Projectile speed. Accuracy. Accuracy. We don't need that then. Headshot damage, giggity, we don't need that. 29 while aiming, 52, and then another accuracy. All right. Well, let's save that. And then, yeah, we have the right guns equipped that I want to have equipped. All right. Uh, where am I going? Containment. That's right. Fast travel. Mm, sealed threshold corridor is where we currently are. Where's our objective? The, uh... Panopticon is where we want to go. All right. Back to the main thing. Ground pound. <laughs> yes, that's it. Oh. All right. Uh, we want to go forward. There's going to be some enemies pop. Yep. You bitch! We got a do hickam about. Oh yeah, I need to go. I need to go up. That's right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I almost levitated my ass off that. Hold on though. We uh completed a countermeasure. Where's it at? This one. Health recovery. Thank you. Street target his demolition experts. Yep. Let's go. All right. Boo 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 boo. over there I'm not doing that right now I'm not doing bureau alert is there anything this way though archives can I get back here I can't hi what is this a Christmas tree yeah it's one of those white little mini Christmas trees oh that's the that's the globe thing we actually have the note about that what is this? Not the right, not the way we're supposed to go, but maybe the way that we want to go. Eh, eh. Open? Does that have to close and then you have to open? Watch your step. Yeah, because that's what the... Hello? Want to play like that? Yeah, they cur that thing, that thing traced me. That thing fucking traced me.
assholes. Oh no, there's one of those doohickama bobs that I can't kill. We can't do anything about it. <laughs> what the fuck? I can pull that out of him. Oh my god, dude. All right. Oh, jeez, dude. I'm sorry. I feel like I shouldn't leave you pinned to the wall. Holy shit. Hey, later, Skilker. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Good to have you. All right. I've missed so much in chat, probably, haven't I? That boss had me focusing. What'd you say? That didn't really... I can't really shoot stuff. I can't really shoot those with these. No notes or anything? Yeah, it's that thing. It's that thing being fucky-wucky with the duckies. Level 6? We do not have level 6. That's right. Oh, it's it's like it's like running around after me, that fucking asshole. What is this? Why can I interact with this? Oh, it's a radio. It's one of the radios to turn on. Altered item behave. All right, chat. Remind me, we're gonna have to read that after we get the fuck out of here. Is that thing? Can that thing come in here? That thing better not be able to come in here. We're gonna have to pick up all the notes and stuff and read that after, I think. Anything? Nothing else. Okay. Shit! What is this? A little security office? Certificate of recognition for whoever worked there? All right, we need to go up. Not that way, though. Yeah, damn it. All right, here we go. <sighs> yep. What does that say? Records room. Okay. I think we're safe in these little areas from him. Look at these offices. What are the, what, this is soundproof. Why are the rooms soundproof? Like, what's 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 going on in here? What are, what are they doing? Recording stuff? Huh. Uh-oh. Threshold kids. I already saw it. Oh, everybody buckle up. Buckle up for the fucking weirdness, dude. Buckle up for the weirdness. These are so fucking weird. Looks safe to me. <laughs> Poke it with a stick. See if it's safe. Doctors in space! Wait! It's not even plugged in! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I would love to pick the minds who, who wrote these games too. You know, Sam Lake, I don't know if he wrote Control, but the creative director of Remedy is essentially largely responsible. He had help and other writers helped too, but he's largely responsible for the overall creative vision and writing for a lot of the Alan Wake games and DLC and stuff. I would love to have a conversation with that dude one-on-one -on -one and just talk about like, you know, themes and thoughts and what he was getting at with some stuff. Cause I like how it, I think what he would probably say is he leaves a lot of it open and did right for your interpretation in some cases, but I'd love to hear how he just arrived at some, you know, like ideas or whatever. Fascinating. Finish, dude. All right. <clears throat> those, um... Yeah, those are, like, more immediately creepy. But I think if you... If you stop and you ponder... What this game is, like, talking about with parallel dimensions and alternate realities and interdimensional invaders and stuff, it's pretty fucking terrifying. It's just not as in your face immediately scary as the Threshold Kids thing. So, but yeah. So I think this is just like a little optional area. You got some collectibles, right? There might be a, a side mission here at some point that we haven't picked up or whatever. Oh, hey. I think I can read the, the two collectibles while I'm here that I got. Altered item behavior changes. Uh, recently, there have been some alarming changes in behavior and altered effect in two altered items in the Panopticon. The Redacted and the Redacted have become much more aggressive, which entirely new effects manifesting for no discernible reason. Excuse me. The items have been investigated for updated containment procedures to counter these new effects, with one successfully discovered to be contained by constant visual contact. But this development is worrying. What if all the altered items undergo this behavioral change? We need to find out why this is happening and what is changing. Handling these altered items has also resulted in numerous Panopticon staff being redacted. I would say they've gone to the astral plane, but these aren't objects of power. Not one of them has come back. This, plus the uptick in astronauts not returning from their dives, has me wondering what the hell is going on. Is anyone looking into this? Is there any plan? And then refer to a redacted file for more. Um, Panopticon containment procedures proposal. In this proposal, I'd like to explore the matter of containment policy. When an altered item enters the oldest house, we thoroughly investigate any possible combination of actions or words or material that will prevent the item from applying its altered effect. However, I work with these entities every day, and I have good reason to believe that a less convoluted form of containment is possible. The items crave redacted. If we initiated a series of redacted praising the items or perhaps incorporating their images into pieces of redacted that could be visited throughout the bureau, I believe the altered items would behave without needing to resort to redacted or redacted, which only led to the items feeling mistreated. If we treat them like criminals, we can't be surprised when they try to escape. It's an interesting take, right? We just watched that threshold, kids. Missions, did I? Oh, I completed two. All right. And then what did I, I had, um, sorry. I'm like freaking you out with menu stuff, I know. Uh, search for Dylan and maximum security, all right. Oh, hey. What up, boo? You missed. I dodged that. I can't believe I fucking dodged that, dude. All right. Um, where do I go from here? There's no more up. Oops. Oh, shit. Fuck. Gotcha. Ah, damn it. That thing's coming. Uh, is this it? That might be it for the archives. I might just have to get out of here. I think we did all of this. I'm just, uh... Yeah. Alright, I think we gotta go. This is just archives. Oh, hey. Look at this. Did I run around down here everywhere? 
Let's run around down here. And if they if they want to come play, they can come play. <clears throat> seek shelter. No, thank you. Everybody else better seek shelter from me. They don't know who they're fucking dealing with, bro. Anything in the to toilates? No. 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 Might seem ridiculous me checking all the toilets, but for those that haven't seen it, there's been a couple items like this. Oh, another book club one. <laughs> Alright, before we go there, we're gonna run around this other side too. Boop, 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 a scoop. Boop, a scoop. What's over here? Hey, shelter and a way down. Nothing's coming through there. Pierced. Aim fire boost? Excuse me? Damage while aiming 40. Okay, 47%. Gotcha. And collectibles. We can read this note we found. Book club by Philip P. Is that the guy who's watching the thing that we have to save after we get to my brother? Unless you hooked me right away. It began with visceral dismemberment scenes and this great unsettling vibe created by the unexplained creature they named The Fix. As an avid horror fan, I loved how this story veered from the genre conventions into something a little more, for lack of a better word, weird. Everything felt familiar, but just a little off. The characters even comment on it, saying how their lives felt out of control, as if they were just programmed to perform the same empty actions over and over. Very meta. And I love the way they left the ending wide open. What happened to the guy ordered to watch those monitors for the rest of his life? Wait, what? Did the fix get him? Is he dead? Did he end up in the parallel reality with the others? We don't know, and that's okay. All in all, an interesting read. I'll give it a solid four out of five. Points deducted for some of the clunky dialogue and unbelievable choices the characters made. I mean, who the hell would follow orders from their boss in the middle of such a horrible slaughter fest? But I guess I shouldn't demand too much realism from a work of fiction. I mean, this is this whole note is pretty meta. It's commenting on a fictional book in a fictional game universe, but it's paralleling reality because this guy, Philip, is actually ordered to watch um, uh, 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 the fridge so that it doesn't fucking, it doesn't fucking deviate. And he's waiting for someone to come save him. And there's a slaughter fest going on in his place of employment. Talk about meta. This is a very meta note. All right, anyway. Oh, hold on. Oh, now I only need one. Only one charge bullet and I can do my yin and my yang. I mean, look at that. What's down here? It's like some basement area. Traffic echo, nothing else. Is that all that's here? Really? Huh. Oh, and this. <laughs> I'm just, everything is flying around. <laughs> ah! oh! Jesus fucking Christ, dude! until I beat these guys. <sighs> Charged velocity boost. All right. That is the first time that has ever happened in this game. That was literally a mimic. Misty's right. That was a fucking mimic. That is, we are so far into this game and they're just now throwing mimics at us. Dude, I can't trust anything. 
All right, what was this? Shield strength. Uh, what was the new stuff? It was this was a personal mod that I picked up, right? I thought it was. Is it not? Mm. Yeah, I was not expecting that. I was. <laughs> I was not expecting it either. Projectile speed exclusive to charge plus 30%. Okay. Yeah, I was I was really not expecting that. Wow. What a neat little like side thing. That that that, that really subverted my expectations. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Away from that fucking thing. I think that's everything in the archives, yeah. We actually gotta go to the oh, fuck. I was stuck. Completely unexpected, but not at the same time. I know what you mean, Nico. <laughs> Let me out. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, we were running around this way, right? Nope, we were going this way. Which I think we've we've met our. Yep. Okay, we have to go back the other way. That was enough to wake you up. It absolutely was. <clears throat> All right, I'm stuck here. I'm gonna have to levitate and get around this. We need to be over there. Well, technically, yeah, I think we need to be over there. Ah, shit, guys. Fuck. All right, I didn't mean to do that. Where's the uh, the place up is over here. At least I saved it and I didn't plummet to my death. Leo would have cracked up over that. Oh, he would have. Yeah, for sure. I always get, I mean, that one, there's no way to know that's coming, right? Because this entire game, there hasn't been a thing. There's been no hints either, but yeah, Leo would have loved it. <clears throat> All right. What do we got? Uh, Hiss distorted. I still haven't encountered one of those. Uh, so I'll probably just abandon it because I haven't encountered it. Uh, it's, it's been, I've had that fucking thing forever. Uh, containment sector using abilities. Yeah, sure. Uh, we need to get rid of you. Research incursion. No, no. Maintenance. No. Shatter maneuvers. I don't use shatter. Surge maneuvers. Yes, please. Um, let's get rid of this one. Maintenance. No, 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 no. Oh, that was containment. I should have did that. His sniper, sure, they show up quite a bit. All right. <sighs> Which way? This way. Mimics love me. I know. <laughs> it's 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 an unfortunate side effect. Am I uh? Where did I need to? Okay, archives. That was archives, right? So then we need that over there. So what we're going to do, we're going to do that. And then this, and then here we are. Bob's your uncle, huh? How about that? And that, okay. And this is a trap. All right. <clears throat> All right. Bob was apparently not our uncle. Good to know. Uh, so archives is right there. That's the Christmas tree. Huh. Uh, do I need to go up more? Oh, yeah. I think I need to go up. I see right there, too. Okay. All right. Roger, Roger. Ooh. This is going to be quite spicy, isn't it? Ah, it wasn't that bad. Yep. There we go. Stairs right here. They're really making you work for that levitate ability, aren't they? Do I need to keep going up? Yeah, because he's on... He's on the fifth floor? Yeah, he's on the fifth floor. So this is floor three. Okay. First, though, let's... let's uh, we, we don't know what could be on each of these floors, so... Is there an elevator here that I could have used? There absolutely is an elevator. Boop. All right. 
Fort units. What does that mean? What the hell are fort units? Uh, did I miss running around floor three though? We don't know what's on floor three. I want to run around. There could be, there could be cool shit here. Other objects to explore, dude. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta run around here and, and see all the goodies. What is that? A surfboard? We gotta see all the SCPs, dude. Every single one of them. All right, there was nothing in that one. Nocturnal Noon with the $10 stream elements donation said morning Skilly in chat. Happy Easter Sunday from Australia. Just popping in as I'm doing a huge egg hunt for all the family. Chalky eggs for the kiddos and alcohol for the adults. Have a great stream. Nocturnal Noon, you absolute rock star. Happy Easter to you. Thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate it. You are a legend. And have a fun Easter egg hunt. All right. That's the anchor. I, I So I put it back. That's the rusty anchor. That's that thing that was a bitch to fight. And then that's nothing. Okay. Is that the entirety of floor three? We could... No, that door is locked. I'm just, I'm just trying to check and make sure that there's nothing else floor three wise. We couldn't get over there. All right, hold on. Let's do something that we're probably not supposed to do. Huh? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Wee, Dude, le Levitate is so fucking badass, dude. It's so fucking badass. Lords of the Fallen. Yeah, dude, I enjoyed that game. I know that game got a little bit of hate here and there. I enjoyed it. Yeah, and there's... Uh, I forgot about Mimics almost that entire game. So I get my ass handed to me by Mimics quite a lot in that one. Perhaps the last bay is yet to be contained. Fort units. All right, let's see what these are. Fortified. Oh, okay. I got... I got gotcha. you. Uh, where does that go? Should I be going that way? Hmm. All right. This isn't the fifth floor, but maybe it's the way up to the fifth. Wait, this looks like the Salvador place. This is the Salvador place, is it not? Fuck. is the Salvador fight place. If not, it's very similar, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is totally where... What? We were on the fourth floor of containment for that? Is that accurate? I don't remember that. This is so weird. Oh, didn't we use a light switch to get there, though? So that would make sense. We got teleported there, if I remember correctly now. And this is just where it actually exists in the building. Okay. <clears throat> Let's check the other side of the fourth floor and then go up that way. You loved Lords of the Fallen? Had great lore and rough combat? Yes, it did. It was good. It was really good. Have we seen these items? Nothing there. Oh, yeah. Here's our control point. Okay. All right. Hold on, though. Have we... Oh, there's the guy, the refrigerator guy. That's right. Okay, he's on fourth floor. We can't help him, though, until after Dylan. Trippy Alex, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I think you've been here for a bit, though. Good to have you with the gifted channel membership. And that went to Michael Mor Moradan. 
Michael, welcome to channel membership on behalf of Alex. Uh, Alex, you rock star. Thank you. Really appreciate it. All right, fifth floor. Dylan is supposed to be on this floor. Finally. Finally, finally. This is my brother's floor, supposedly. Supposedly. All right. I see a swan. <laughs> it looks like one of those giant, like, love boat ride thingy swan majig doohickeys, whatchamacallums, you know? That's exactly what it is. It's an altered item or object of power. Interesting. Uh, oh, dude, it's it's a get well soon balloon and a deflated get well soon balloon. <laughs> Those are objects of power. That's great. That's fucking great. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, a water cooler uh, do hickam a bob. I love I love that the most mundane mundane objects. I was about to say mundane a crowbar. Oh, give me the crowbar. I want to beat people up with that. Containment breach. Dylan. He's so close. Yeah, he's through here, isn't he? Maximum security P6 cell. Yeah, that's his cell. All right, here we go. Am I going to have to fight him? All right, let's do it. Fuck, dude. I just faced a super tough boss. Don't tell me I'm going to have to fight his ass. Oh, shit. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Where are you? It's Jesse. Pope. Where am I supposed to answer you? Eh? Whoa. Look at his cell. All right, hold on. We'll take a closer look. I don't want to trigger it yet. I want to try to get in here. I don't have level six clearance yet. Fuck. All right. I wanted to see if there's any other notes. Oh my God. Did he like rip open his cell like that? Oh shit. What can he do? Does he have the same powers as, Are you there, as me? Jesse. Telekinesis? Emily? All He's that jazz? Gone. Dylan isn't here. <clears throat> he might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. Does that say I'm hiss? Away. What does that say? We need to get back. My brother's keeper completed. My brother. All right, before we do that, though. <clears throat> Before we do that, Dylan Fadden observation. 9.30 a.m. Breakfast is brought. 11.54 gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed. 57 a.m. Asks for television to be turned on. Staff does so. 12 p.m. Lunch is brought. Breakfast is removed. 12.02. Eats lunch. 2.38. Uses toilet. 4.03 p.m. Begins talking to self. Recording speech is not possible due to noise from television. 4.07 p.m. becomes upset, throws lunch tray at glass. 4.09 p.m. sedated, crew clean the cell, television is turned off. 6.12 p.m. comes to, ask for television to be turned on, staff refuse. Television privileges were refused due to hostile behavior. 6.16 sleeps, question mark. They're literally keeping this dude present. Okay, hold on. I've already, why am I learning about control points? We reach slash tether through control points into the bureau slash house. Nexus threshold area codes allow for access. You can translocate, fast travel, construct through the control points. We already know this. Okay. I mean, I was, I was, we were well aware of that. All right. Um, new. Skilly, that said Jesse, not Kiss. What did I say? Huh? What said Kiss to Jesse? What did I mess up? Oh, it said Kiss? It said Hiss, not Kiss? I thought I said Hiss. Did I not say Hiss? I thought I said Hiss. 
How did I set his? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You got. I'm confused now. <laughs> All right, I can assist the fridge guy. We gotta go back to the fourth floor and assist him, and then we gotta go speak to Emily. Before I do that, though, can I check out the cell here? Duh, bruh. Dude. Dude, bruh. Bruh, dude? Alright, I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean. Back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? <sighs> when I first got here, sure. I'd always hope she'd come too. Find me, to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau. If she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. He's mad because I didn't come she for him? I, I mean, I couldn't find the place. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here. You know that. Oh, I gotcha. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of ordinary? I'm done with this. Dylan, wait, we're not and it's not. <laughs> it's not very cooperative, is he? I wouldn't be either though if somebody kidnapped me. Look at this math. I don't even understand this. This looks like a this looks like an alien language to me. Laser beam physics chart calculation sketch? Huh? Control parameters? Is this all for what's it for him? Graphing? The detail in this game. Like they actually like put all this crap on these boards. Holy shit, dude. This is insane. Uh oh. I have a box. I got stuck in a box. What the fuck? I was wearing a dress a box skirt. Nah. Those are real things, right? Like a box skirt is that is an actual thing, right? Or did I just make that up? I might have made it up. It does say Jesse. Okay. okay. All right. I got gotcha. you. Anything down here before we start? We start gallivanting around up top. <clears throat> All right. We came in from that door. We've adopted a box. Yep. I did say hit. Yeah, because I thought it said hiss. Yeah. I thought everybody was saying I said kiss, though. And then I get jo I get Joker's reference now, though. I'm just a little slow on the uptake, okay? <laughs> Sometimes it takes a, a minute for old Skilly to catch up. <clears throat> we. Thought. All right. Do do do. Ooh. 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 Spicy. Oh no. There's an invisible wall. Okay. Fine. 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 All right. There's nowhere left to go but into the cell. And then we gotta go save our friend. Oh my God. There's blood everywhere. And they, they were literally like keeping it does say Jesse J. It just looks like a V or like an a, like an H that he fucked up somehow. Like, you know, like he was going to do H, but then he did H and uh, you know, I don't know. Jesse, though, you're right. It does say Jesse. All right. I, I didn't miss anything in here, did I? I don't think I did. Like there's no... No, 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 no. I, I definitely didn't. All right. We can't get in there yet because we don't have security clearance six. Which who knows where we're supposed to go. 
<clears throat> box and skirt are in the same area. Uh, uh, so all, all the ladies out there, there, there's a there's a type of skirt called a box skirt, right? Am, am I am, am I am I just full of shit and making that up, or is that like a real thing? I thought it was a real thing. You guys i'm going to save my friend philippe mr philip uh trippy alex with the gifted channel membership and that went to foxtrot 101 trippy alex you legend thank you so much really appreciate it we got three ability points which i needed i can now i can now i can now superman it guys hold on astral constructs can i do anything here i need three corrupted samples and untapped potential and uh Two untapped potentials and five intrusive patterns. All right. Uh, hey, let's test this out. Oh my God. It's not straight down, but that's interesting. All right, we got to help our boy. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. How long has he been watching this What's thing? What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and... I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. He's dead, probably, if he closes his eyes or something, right? He's, like, been staring at it. All right, speak with Langston. Uh, isn't there a control point right here? And I should be able to teleport back to Langston, I would, I would assume. Right? Uh, the entrance, maybe? Did I teleport? Yeah, I did. Secure day. It's a kind of mini skirt. It's a kind of mini skirt. It's a kind of mini skirt. I think I, I... Hold on. It is, right? Did you Google that? I feel like I got to Google this now. Sorry. Give me, 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 give me. I'm pulling up a... I, I, I... Because I feel like... I, I don't know. I feel crazy, but I feel like I've heard that term a lot. Uh, box skirt. All right. Well, those are some spicy pictures. Uh, hold on. I don't know if this is stream safe. Is that even a skirt? Can you call that a skirt? Jesus Christ. Box pleats are made up of two knife pleats. Okay. Is it called box pleated skirt? Box pleat skirt. Box pleat skirt. Okay. All right. God damn. Just trying to look up a type of skirt. And that, that wasn't even... What was that? It was a belt. Poor girl was wearing a belt. God damn. I'm getting old. <laughs> All right. Oop. Wrong button. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly is using it. <laughs> He's watching. Philip. Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? Oh my god. There's a lot going on. The Hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Okay. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. You can go in there. I'll figure just something a, out. Just a, just a suggestion. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. <laughs> he doesn't. 
I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Like All right. Always. He opened the door. I could just teleport back. Um, I gotta be honest with you, chat. I have a feeling that poor Philip is dead. I, I just, I, I don't, I don't think he's alive. I hate to say it. I don't think our boy has made it. Okay. Hello, Jesse. I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesse. The friend is doing something. Oh no. I can't get in. Philip. <gasps> oh my God, he's dead. Oh, if I look away, it hurts me. Okay. I'm using Polaris to do something to it. I'm trying to cleanse it. Astral plane, find a way. To... What? A fridge is talking to me. It sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck! What the hell? something i want to point out something this is a boss obviously right this is a fucking side mission this isn't even a Hello? main mission Jesse? this is a side mission i'm back to encounter this thing oh, thank you oh thank you thank you i want to see what it does to him Jesse? oh i can't get out so i'm not allowed to see I'm not allowed to see. Philip. <gasps> this is insane. This is ridiculous, away. dude. It hurts. Me. This is such a this is this is how you do side missions, right? Holy shit. Alright, hold on though. I think I need um I'll try charge against it. We'll see. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck? Oh my god. When he, when he stomps, when it, whatever the fuck it is, stomps his, his appendage down, it breaks through the floor and there's a hole in the floor. I didn't realize that last time. Holy shite, dude. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. My God. I was so surprised I couldn't Jesse? even fucking speak. The fridge is doing something. Oh yeah, camera, sorry. Philip? Uh, hold on. Why did my desk counter and there we go. All right. If I look away, it hurts me. 
Okay, I got this. I got this. I got this, brother. Alright. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck? I didn't hurt it. is wrong. Appreciate it, bud. Yeah, I need more holes to try to dodge. And four. How <laughs> the fuck? Maybe shield. Maybe shield. Maybe I shield against those, and I wonder what happens. Because it's uh, the my levitate and dodging is like not fast enough at all. Also, I think I hate to say it. I don't think charge is uh, capable of doing anything in that battle. So, I think I should go with grip. Um, accuracy, rate of fire up, and damage while low on health will probably all do well. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He might have, he probably blinked. Philip? He probably blinked. That's probably what happened. <sighs> Holy shit, dog. Oh, did I increase my death right there? Did I increase my death counter? This sounds like the board, but I Hey, what's up, Zach? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. forgot about the holes i'm gonna be honest I, for I forgot about the hole common problem forgetting about the holes not knowing where they're at accidentally falling in the wrong one you know oh god damn it dude <laughs> hello jesse i'm back i'm coming in jesse the fridge is doing something <laughs> Philip? 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 <sighs> it's got some weird, creepy kids' drawings on it, bro. It Fucking weird. Uh oh. Uh oh, my, my armrest thingy came off. Alright, there we go. I got it back on. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck? Did that not hurt it? How did I not? Okay.
bitch. Die! Oh, oh I got it. Oh, no! Dude, the holes, man. I, I He's like so big and in your face and you're so focused on him that you just... Uh, Fuck, dude. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. Jesse. We have to listen to this. This guy is stuck in a death loop. We're listening to Philip die over and over again. This is like my worst nightmare because I'm Philip. If I look dude? Away. It hurts me. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck. I just went back so far that I levitated off of the fucking arena. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I died so many times tonight. <laughs> yeah, I could do this. I could do this. He's not that particularly hard. I just have to be more careful with my positioning is all. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. Jesse? Philip? I got it. I got it. All right. I'm going to focus up. I'm going to focus chat and we're going to get this shit. All right. We're going to do it. It does sound like the board, but it says former. I don't know what the, is that trench, the former director, but I can't understand it. Can't start shooting him until now. went into the light. for the deaths. Fuck a duck, man.
Those do kind of feel like articulated spider legs. All right, I got this. Hello? Jesse? Yeah, I was so I'm close. I'm coming in. Jesse? You know what? The fridge is doing something. Hold on. What do I got on grip? Damage while low on health. I'm not really low on health in that fight. Accuracy boost. Yeah, I'm fine. Rate of fire. I'm fine. Can I do a damage increase? Uh, ammo cost per shot minus 11. Headshot damage. Does, do you think that counts as headshot? I mean, it's as high. Hmm. Or just... Ammo refund chance. Damage after kills. We'll do 18% damage and see if that helps tank us some a little so tank him a little sooner. If I look away, it hurts me. Poor FBC Philip. <laughs> Alright. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. doing such a good job watching for those i was this close too man i was this was this i was this close <laughs> this guy is every boss now is just like a fucking uh, it's insane Hello? i'm back i'm coming in let me in I can stand on the pillars, yeah. I could try that. I feel like it will come down on the pillars, though. But yeah, I could try. I can't stand on that one. I can stand on this one. I should be able to stand on this. I can. I can. One, two, three.
die, you bitch. God, my gun is recharge it recharge 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 wait there's no black pyramid here oh there is no black pyramid here <laughs> speak with Langston. Fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? That's weird. All right, we got to read about that here after. Woo! Man, that took a few tries, didn't it? Holy shit. Oh my God. Ugh, what's up, Arrow? All right. Ooh. Fuck, I'm never going to find that collectible again. What, what, what was that? Does anybody remember what that was called? Oh, shit. All right, hold on. Let's read this one. Refrigerator procedures. Arctic Queen altered item 10-KE. No unique procedures required. An Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 1960s. No cooling functionality. The door is decorated with crayon illustrations by Redacted. The illustrations cannot be removed from the item. All attempts have failed. The paper cannot be burned or torn. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after it survived the collapse of New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it served as an appliance and apartment redacted, rented by a man named Redacted. It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building's collapse undamaged. Mr. Redacted, who was out of the building at the time, collapsed. Redacted 8 p.m. retained ownership of the item until 1974, when the Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. New altered effect has been observed. Um, we just met the altered effect, right? That's one way to call it altered effect. All right. I won't take up too much of your time. Okay, we we already watched that. Former. Let's see what this is about. The former slash dissident is back slash not gone. It is previous slash disappointment and is not part of the board slash us. We apologize slash deny all knowledge for the inconvenience. The, you will see slash face the former. It is stealing slash linking altered items. Is that Zachariah Trench, the former director? It builds a competition slash not us. You must espionage slash destroy. When possible slash inevitable. Do not believe slash get hyped about the former's lies slash ads. We provide slash offer better bonus package slash health plan. <laughs> if you leave, you will be sorry slash dead. Oh, damn and you will never work slash exist in this torn cosmic reality again. Holy fuck. Yes. What the absolute fuck nugget? Yes, first try. Totally first try for that. All right, there was one other note. Did anybody catch what it was? Can anybody rewind the stream what it was called? Mm, thresholds, nope. You tend on, nope. There's one other note that I accidentally backed out of and now it's not new anymore, so I can't find it. And I would like to read it. Um, Atlas Theory, Atlas X has been Black Rock. It's none of those. Sealed, Salvador's, Corey Incident, Portrait, nope. Uh, we already read that. I'm just going off memory here. Anything that looks new or doesn't sound familiar. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's none of this. Yeah, it's none of this. Employee incident? Yeah, 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 you're right. Employee incident is what it was called. You're right. So it would be case files, probably. Objects of power, not were, not that. Altered items, probably. Employee incident. Nope. Okay. Correspondence, maybe? Yeah, probably. And thank you, by the way. Employee incident. Am I missing it? It is definitely employee incident. Oscar Bravo Real, thanks for joining. Good to have you. Because as soon as you said that, I was like, oh yeah, that's what it was. 
question is where is it at fuck sorry guys we wouldn't have to spend all this time if i if i had just floppy disk little service weapon boot supplement havana globe mannequin i'm pretty sure you got it right because as soon as you said that like it clicked in my brain just have to find it here we go this is it. Incident in question occurred on Redacted and was brought to HR department's attention by the internal security personnel who, inter who intervened. According to reports supported by security camera footage, Agent Filson entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, a homemade sandwich cut diagonally and packed in a plastic container, but discovered the refrigerator had redacted his meal. And this is about a refrigerator. This is definitely it. Agent Filson began to kick the bureau-owned appliance as he expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. This behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was alerted soon after. Filson complied with security's commands to, des to desist. Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week. The review committee recommends one non-mandatory counseling session. <laughs> the, dude, I, the dude was totally... He was totally within his rights right there. <laughs> Fucking working in this fucked up place. All right. Uh, fast travel, and we need to go back to logistic. No, I don't think that's right. I need to go back to the entrance one. It's fine. We can we can do this again. All right. Oscar Bravo Real, I said hi, right? Brian408, welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. I, I think I said hi, and then I, I I thought I didn't say hi, and so then I just said it again within the matter of like three seconds. Uh, it's the entrance that we want to go to, right? Right here. Yep. And we walk out the door, and Langston's right there. That, dude, again, that was a side mission. That boss was a side mission. I love that. You could play this game and not even experience that fucking thing. And what a shame that would be. But goddamn, was that Oops, awesome. No. Wow. How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. I think I was something um, happened before fighting the sandwich. Yeah. <sighs> Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. Joseph Martinez, what's up? But Welcome to the stream. Here, Good to see you. Then who's watching the fridge? <laughs> the fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. Yeah, you what do. You I went do? into it and I fucked it up. I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane hmm. is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. Something's happening, yeah. It's weird. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The hits are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. Oh, <laughs> because I can handle all your shit, you bitch. Fridge duty? All right, you asshole. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Yeah, I bet you will, you son of a bitch. All right. Uh, I got a new, I got a new do Hickama Bob. 63% to head, headshot damage. Good. 18 out of 24, 19 out of 24. We don't have to clean up yet. Untapped potential. Ooh, I think I can actually, hold on. I think I can go upgrade some. Uh, Trippy Alex with the becoming a channel member for himself said, thank you for the best subscription I made so far. Trippy Alex, you rock star. The blurry finger thanks you. Really appreciate that, man. All right, um, seize duration, shield strength. What do I want to do? I feel like I need more health, 20% to health. Oh, more energy would be really nice, though, too. I'm going to do more health for right now. I don't think by the end of the game you're going to be able to do everything. You can reset for 30 essence, though. Uh, astral constructs, can I do anything? Spin, nope. Uh, I do have the untapped potential to upgrade shatter. I just need the source and the intrusive patterns. Or upgrade charge, which I would prefer to do. Uh, I just need 45 mother trucking thousand. 
there is another gun form that we don't have yet that we saw on a no on a we saw on a weapon mod it was um it was motherfucking called surge so one two three four wait one two three four five five so there might be six total right all right um what are we supposed to speak with emily in the boardroom right but can I Langston's runaways cleanse and contain the Japanese paper lantern cleanse and contain the traffic light cleanse and contain the hand chair dude I'm totally we are checking out all of these altered items a hundred percent bro all right where are they though can't not do these okay one of them is here uh panopticon is the traffic light medical wing is the hand chair Okay, and then dead letters is the moving letters. That's funny. And then sealed threshold hallway is the other one. All right, where is the traffic cone then? It could be anywhere in here, right? to search like every floor for this thing i mean there's not that many there's only five floors that we got to traffic light i don't remember seeing a traffic light i don't know if you guys do that's a fan that's that hammer oh this works now okay altered items unit let's go to i, I bet you it's up there all those guys are running around bye guys bye Bye. Alex Evans, what's up? Welcome to the stream. HG, welcome. Good to have you. I am still streaming, dude. I love this game. I told you guys I was gonna I was gonna fucking crush it tonight and or this weekend with the family gone. <clears throat> this is slow. I could have levitated up there faster. I should have levitated. I can't use my gun. I can't shoot anything. It feels so... I feel so broken. All right. Number 15 was the fridge, right? That was our good old buddy... Buddy pal, Philip. Where's the traffic light, dude? What? Why does this say section three? I thought we were on section four. Oh, hey. What's up, Bill? What up, Bill? like Salvador. We haven't fought a non-Salvador one of these. Jesus fuck, dude. You want to go? I'll take your shield and use it against you, bitch. Was this open before? Fortified unit? I, I bet the traffic thing is in here. There's a bunch of lights. It is. That must be one of the missing altered items. Hey, what's up, boo? Wait, what? Wait. How did I get back here? Oh no, is it red light, green light? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Alex Evans with the five gifted channel memberships. Those went to FC Lifestyle, Sanjay Rawat, Bama Captain, and GG Zone 7, and Noel 37. Alex Evans, you absolute legend. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Welcome to channel membership, everybody. All right. When it's green.
I got it. Red light, green light. <laughs> this is this is actually kind of funny. Yep. I, I'm coming. I'm coming, big boy. Oh, it's moving. Oh, what a fuck. It's throwing shit, too. All right. Oh, we got a new one. I can't really see it that well back there. I'm scared to use levitate because I won't be able to get to the ground in time. You know what I mean? I gotta kind of tell by the, the color of the glow, not the actual thing. Oops, I got stuck on something. Woo! They ain't nowhere else to go, bitch. Gotcha. Gotcha, motherfucking stoplight, fuck. Unless escape Dr. I don't worry about. Traffic Light Pro. Altered item 49-KE. The object's effect is subdued by exposure to sunlight. A traffic light with three distinct lights arranged vertically on each of its four sides. From top to bottom, the lights shine red, yellow, green. A popular children's game is believed to be integral in the manifestation of this item and its effect. If an entity approaches the item while its red light is activated, they will be instantaneously relocated a distance of redacted from the item. Note, theories that the item is shifting people to a former timeline or parallel universe have been explored and dismissed. The item was discovered after a street light at an intersection near the elementary school began shifting people away from itself after sunset. A local panic brought the case to the attention of the bureau. The item was contained and a gas leak was blamed for this confusion in the town people's perception. Anytime you hear a gas leak, fucking conspiracy, bro. Right there. Fucking conspiracy ruby does need walkies thank you for reminding me although i did walk her a little off schedule when i had to go pee again and i do have to uh i, I could use the bathroom myself so yeah let's do that let's take a let's take a let's take a tenor or like between a five and a tenor everybody because she's also like i can hear her snoring out there um when the volume isn't too loud or when the ambience is quiet so let's do this uh yeah like five somewhere between a five and ten minute break everybody get water go to the bathroom hydrate Get ready, get comfy, get a blankie, whatever you need. We're, I'm going to go for another, I don't know, two, three hours probably after this. But this will be like the last, the last big break, okay? I got to pull uh, stream elements back up. Hold on. Yeah, get some stretches. Do, get up, run in place, jumping jacks, something, you know. You don't want any blood clots in your legs or anything like that. It's like riding on a plane. You got to go in for the long haul, okay? All right, let's play some ocean blues. All right, I'll be back, y'all. I'll be back.
head Can't help but think about the things you said Cause I What it do, everybody? I'm back. I'm back. Ruby's so funny. <laughs> About this time of night, whenever we walk her, usually for the last time before getting up, like almost every time we take her, like I just took her right now, like we go outside, she pees immediately, and then she wants to go back in the house. She's like, I'm tired. I'm done. I was like, okay, well, let's just, you know, just in case you want to get some more out. So like, you know, we made a circle, like, well, two circles of the front yard and then came back in. But it's like, <laughs> she's hilarious. <clears throat> I've never had a dog that's like, all right, I'm good. You know, like, I'm done. I don't want to stay outside anymore. Um, Is this back the right way? Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, we're going to go to the sealed threshold hallway, I think, next. <clears throat> Woo, I got another cream, cream. Cream, 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 cream. I got another cream soda. I'm being a bad boy. I shouldn't. Try not to drink too many calories or eat too many calories like that. But, you know, this week is special. It's special. Special weekend. That's how I'm going to justify it in my head. I got to deal with another one of these guys. Is he dead? Focus. You really gotta pound them. You know what I mean? All right. I died some 20 times. There were two bosses that fucked me. 
Oh shit. That was actually my alarm to walk Ruby, but we've done it. All right. Can I do anything right here, good sir? No, I need five more intrusive patterns. I should be trying out Shatter again at some point, shouldn't I? I feel like I should use some. I should use Spin and Shatter and try all those hoop to do's out, right? Um, we need a fast travel. I want it to go after the sealed threshold. So there's right here. No, wrong one. Sealed threshold entrance, right there. <laughs> Phrasing. Oh my god, cream soda is just so smooth. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Cream soda is technically like, isn't it like kind of like a uh, vanilla-ish flavor? I normally don't go for vanilla flavored stuff too much, but cream soda, mm. Uh, which way am I going here? I'm going down here, that's for sure. I'm going in here, right? Yep. All right, what is in here? A Japanese paper lantern. All right. Fuck is that thing doing? We're gonna spawn enemies though too. And actually, I kind of miss. I gotta be honest. Charge is good. Um, but well, I kind of want to keep charge and keep grip going. Enemy armor and uh, wait, damage, accuracy. Is there a better accuracy one? Does the accuracy one look like that? Negative Ghost Rider. What about uh, rate of fire is good. Damage wise, is there anything better? Damage about low on health. Damn, I miss grip. I miss grip. I miss just the standard. So I think I'm gonna use it for a little bit. 63% on headshot damage, huh? Let's try out this ammo cost minus 11. Let's try this out. I kind of like that idea there. All right. I miss being able to do this. I just have a single fire bullet shot. I missed that. So I've been rocking charge and... Oh my God. We got another one of these guys. Are these just like standard issue now? God damn, dude. Like, fuck. brother just 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 like seriously just just fucking get the fuck out dude and die hello hey what's up dude season him season him all right you're mine just so that i can kill you All right, where's the, uh, is the paper? I know where it's gonna be. We know absolutely where it's gonna be. It's gonna be in here, right? No, it's not, it's in here. Something's flashing down there. That's an altered item up there. Right here? Huh? Up where? She said up, didn't she? What do I do here then? Here we go. It was like covered up. It was like caught. It was like pulling everything into it. it wasn't so bad. All right, I did it. Paper lantern procedures. The item should be kept in a locked containment cell. Any prolonged observation of the item should be avoided. The item is a paper lantern known as a, a chochin. 
The paper is read with elegant black Japanese characters that translate to ramen. Ooh, I want ramen. Item has an attractive effect that is both physical and psychological. Nearby objects gravitate towards the item with a minor force of redacted. Gravity, probably. More notable is its ability to attract sentient organisms with its rich red color and warm, comforting glow. Damn. All right, we did it. All right, how do I get back out of here, though? Up here, right? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Drake? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh, Elder God, good to have you. I'm sorry I didn't say hi earlier. Levi Haverfield, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Uh, Demon, you've burnt your... Oh, dude, crab ragoon. I don't even like seafood, and that's the only seafood I'll eat is crab ragoons. They are so good. You are right. From pretty much every Chinese restaurant on the planet, they're delicious, right? I love it. All right. Uh, what's the next? What do I want to go for next? Probably medical wing. The hand, the hand chair. What the fuck is a hand chair? I am now realizing I don't know what the fuck a hand chair is. I'm wondering if the easiest way to do this is not is to go back to the Panopticon entrance one, go back into security probably, and then go over. I think so. Let's try that. You know what helps burnt mouths? Cream soda. No, I'm, just, I'm joking. <laughs> the cream soda lobbyist paid me to say that. Not really. All right. I don't think those exist. I don't, I don't think that's an actual thing. Okay, so to get... Yeah, I need to go back this way. Okay. Or at least I think I do. Whee! Oh, wait. I can get that now. Whoop. Almost fell. I can get that now. Whoop. Oh, 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 oh. Almost fell again. All right, Skelly. Hey. Hidden location. Got an ability point for that. Entropic Echo. Oh, and another thing. <laughs> Cream soda lobbies, yeah. Ooh, what is energy recovery, dude? Uh, what is it? Energy recovery speed plus 40%. Oh, hard decisions must be made. I had to take off the health boost. I had to take off the health boost. I had to. Are there any more of these around here? At least not right now. Those sneaky bastards hiding a bunch of sneaky shit. Medical wing would be this way. Yep. Question is, how do I get there? I think I see. I don't want to fight people. Don't make me fight people. Over here? Logistics? Is it through the shelter? No, it's not this way. It would be on this side. Medical wing. Here we go. Have I been down here? Did we skip this area? No, no, no. Exam rooms. We, we came here. We came here. I remember the exam rooms now. Is this the way? This is the way. You do not know the way. We've been in here, right? Yeah, we've been in here. Oh, no. I might not be able to get this. I don't have clearance level six yet. All right, hold on. We will, we'll check this area because it could be somewhere else that I can get to. I think I, I feel like I hear it over there. So, mold autopsy. This was not here last time we were here. <clears throat> autopsy report. The subject is redacted. The deceased was a redacted year old redacted with no significant past medical history the subject was brought in after being discovered in the active threshold in an early state of decay that is characteristically fungal based in its appearance during autopsy the cadavers plural cavities were revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold to an extent that medical staff were forced to put on decontamination suits the procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's 
high body temperature and undulating torso muscles presumably but not probably caused by trapped gases routine samples such as as well as tissue samples requested by dr underhill were successfully extracted however their rapid retrogression outside of the host body needs to be noted cause of death mold ingestion oh god what a horrible way to go bro that's just terrible man all right Assuming is that no-no ground to touch? What the fuck? Was that an enemy? What did I just do? Oh, I'm stuck in here right now. What are we looking for? A hand chair? Right here? Oh, a hand chair. I, it's a literal hand as a chair. Easy peasy. <clears throat> I'm not even sure I understand what I did there. It's a hand. That's a chair. Okay. Human hand chair. Altered item 63-KE. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects. Under no circumstances is the item to be sat in. A plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a seat with the fingers acting as the chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of redacted. Its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material. That's, dude, it's made from humans? <laughs> Found in a warehouse at Redacted Albany, a team of ranger trainees accompanied by an experienced field agent were dispatched to investigate local rumors when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item. What the fuck, dude? All right. Well, I've got to kill. That's not everything. Where's all the enemies then? I gotta kill all the enemies before I'm allowed out. What is happening? Okay, I can't go that way. Why does that keep respawning there? Because I need to go in here and kill this. Okay, thank fucking God, dude. Son of a bitch, man. All right, closest thing is back in logistics. Okay. Damn. I wish I had, we had to do the thing for six right now. How often does it flip people off, you think? I don't know. What would be crazy is if it move, if it changes its finger positions too fast for them to document or to record or for people to see, it's like one second you're looking at it, you blink, and then the next second it's flipping you off. <laughs> I saw ice cream pies, buy one, get one, and I opted for the cobbler. Now I'm just disappointed in myself. Oh, dude, you should got an ice cream pie, man. Bad arrow. What are you doing, bro? You were already getting pie. You got to get the ice cream pie, dude. Better yet, you should have got some ice cream to put on top of the cobbler, man. This way to logistics.
Hmm, let's go up so we can deal with these guys. Did they hover? <laughs> and then they hovered down. Those fucking assholes, dude. And then they hovered back. We fucking stay in one place? And now I'm gonna die. I fuck. I don't like you guys. I really don't like you guys. Oh, <laughs> okay. I didn't need more problems. You know what I need, though? Should have never, I should have never put Pierce away, man. Should have never did it. Why did I do that? Why did I put this beautiful, beautiful weapon away? All right, we're going to dead letters, right? Uh, isn't this a control point? Am I just dumb? No, it is. Markiplier. Hey, what's up, Nutcracker? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Markiplier's back. What's he back for? Does the man need another million dollars? I'm just fucking with you. He can do what he wants. Uh, dead letters, dead letters. Ah, uh, dead letter, dead letter. We can literally like go like right there, bro. You eating buffalo chicken salad for dinner? What about? I had the the. It was regular chicken salad, but I had a chicken salad pita with Swiss. Same Z's, yo. That's no normal piece of paper. Where? Does she see a pa piece of paper? Oh, I see it right there. Okay, that's weird. It's talking. Cleanse and contain. It's gonna move. Right? Do I need to levitate over to it? Okay. To and it moved. Okay. <laughs> oh. Ah. 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 How do I stop this thing? Got it. I got it. I got it. <clears throat> you just kind of had to like sit still for a minute. That <laughs> what a fucking trippy. Wait, there's... Oh, it's not done. Uh... Okay. Too much, too much fucking hiss noise. I need to be able to hear the letter, too. Alright, is that all the his stuff? I think so, roughly. Oh, uh, where's the letter? It says it's still in this area. Alright, we gotta find it. It's probably up, not down, but we'll see. Not in here. Did you hear that? When I... I killed that thing. Anybody else hear that? Letter's not up here. Uh, hold on. Have I been up here before? I don't... Was I able to get up here before? I mean, this door is unlocked, but I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I was here before. I don't think I've ever been here. I needed levitate to get here. And there it goes. Got it. One more time or two more times? One more. Oh, there's multiple letters. Moving letters. That's Ati. Alright, hold on. We have a collectible, though. Correspondence. 
Smoking ban. Dear elected official, thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I am happy to inform you I'll not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poison to them. If you government traders can't stop people from smoking, then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. <laughs> I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handing the planet over to alien overlords. We won't let you. We will resist. I will smoke forever. Signed, a proud smoker slash rebel slash patriot. <laughs> that letter took so many twists and turns about smoking. That was ridiculous, dude. Uh <laughs> All right, yeah, we have not been, uh, we have not been to this place. Uh, correspondence, White Kitchen, dear gentlemen, a uh, Tyacel Garcia, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name, I do it to everybody, became a channel member at the cadet level. Thank you so much. That kind of support is next level and it really helps out a bunch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a legend. <clears throat> I'm glad you enjoy watching. Thanks for being here and uh, being a channel member. All right, uh, dear gentlemen of the Society of Sciences, it has been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it is not the case that you have dismissed my claims outright. In that hope, I am writing to you once more to once more ask for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen me in my home. I've recently begun renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I found the isolation quite soothing. Recently, I've begun experiencing a strange occurrence. When I'm in my kitchen, a tiny little thing with not much but a sink I sometimes lose myself. My surroundings change. I find myself standing on a strange dark stone. I stare out at a colorless sky as white as undisturbed snow, terrified of moving. Perhaps this is a brain issue. I think not as it feels terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now and I have become frightened of entering the kitchen. If it's not too much of an inconvenience, I would dearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what they make of it. I await your response with little expectation. With, but with great hope. Very truly yours, Lorraine Fitzgerald. So I think her kitchen is a threshold, right? And she is going to the astral plane is what's happening to her. <clears throat> That's a weird sentence to say though. There's another door over there. I feel like I need to go to that side too. We'll have to check out this whole place. Um, After we finish after we finish the letters thing, if we haven't by then. I hear it. It might be over on the other side. Which is fine. We can easily get over there. God, this place goes up so far. And you would never know about this area or coming up here if you didn't come back after getting the levitate ability. Pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a 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 pinstripe world. Redacted, redacted. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. All right. There's nothing weird about that note. Totally normal note. Okay, anyway. <laughs> the record seems to be scratched. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting in I was getting into character there with the letter, you know. So I was I was I was uh I was method acting. No. <laughs> All right. That's a really, so reminder for those who didn't see the first stream or, or you, you know, you may have forgotten because a lot's happened. A lot of weird shit. We're in the communications department right now, the dead letters area specifically. So basically this is letters that have been either sent to the Federal Bureau of Control or they've intercepted or yada yada that they believe to be about altered world events, objects of power, altered items, para-utilitarians, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why, you know, Everything here is from people outside of the bureau talking about weird shit. <clears throat> cat clock. My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move and I think it's angry, but I keep apologizing. 
and it won't stop. But I said, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. But it won't leave me alone, and I don't know what it wants. I can't keep apologizing. Fodo, you see it now, too. It told me everyone is here, and I need to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter. It wants me to stay with it with my eyes on its eyes and moving very fast. But I can't keep going, and I worry they will forget about me so in, in needy. I need you to write to you about this because I can't keep going. Get back, cat. Well, because of I, its eyes, it redacted, redacted. Okay, now. Okay. You thought it was quite comical that I just kept going on there? Thank you. <laughs> I thought it was probably slightly annoying, but you know, you gotta mix it up sometimes. I feel like I have something on my teeth. Like a piece of trail mix or something. Piece of mango. I don't think so though. Alright, there's the there's the letter. Oh, and now we're on the other side and we can just kind of go down. Okay. Alright, we gotta we gotta fix this letter situation though. What if I just kinda eh, eh. Okay. I need to know where it's gonna end up. Jesus Christ. It said rod. It it, it rod at me. Did everybody hear that? Yeah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> it rod at me again, dude. This fucking thing rod at me again. All right, we got all the items. Letters, moving letters. Uh, altered item 77-KE. Excuse me, I don't know what the dash is. Some of them are UE, some of them are KE, etc. Is it like the Keter and the different type of classes of SCP? Is that what it is though? Yeah, the letter was roaring at me. I don't like that. It says, love you, love you, love you, XOXO. Uh, black rock, or XXX. Uh, black rock paneling suppresses the item's effect. A stack of four envelopes, each containing a single page of paper. All four letters are illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes curiously do not show any sign of such damage and are covered in messages of love. The items are able to move short distances at a pace of less than redacted and always in a redacted direction. This is, uh, I think it's a diagonal direction based on how it was moving. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts, a fact previously believed to be an impos impossibility by redacted. A proposal to take the item slash items outside the oldest house and follow their movement to its de final destination is under consideration with the budget committee. Items uh, was found in the dead letter archives where the he herd archiv archivist, the herd, the herd archivist. Is that supposed to say head? Is that just a typo or is there actually a herd archivist? Found, I mean, this game's weird. I wouldn't put it past it. Uh, found it attempting to escape a filing cabinet. She reports having no record of the items in her archive of letters. All right. Our whereabouts. Hey, you have questions and the prophets have your answer. If you are truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days, this is why the Vatican is a sundial and also simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing, while I'm here, if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun plus moon are composed of plasma, simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you, I, and humanity reside. Cheers. Oh, okay. Sure thing, sir. All right. Wouldn't it be cool if you could read them unredacted when you complete the game? Nobody spoil it if you can, but who knows? We might be able to. We don't know. That that would be cool, but yeah. Or if there's like something you get near the end of the game and it's like now you can read everything unredacted. Vivid dreams to the esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council. We have five gifted channel memberships by Melon Conwow. Melon Conwow with the five gifted memberships. Those went to Mang Kong Yu, Vivian G, uh, Genricious Namas, Christopher Crossett, and Adam Bailey. All became channel members on behalf of Melon Conwow. Melon Conwow, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're a legend and a rock star. All right, back to the American Psychiatrics Council's real announcement. I am writing you to inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I am aware that there are many books purporting to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but if I would, great, but if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. 
Ever since I was young, I have had intensely vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness every strange events. Every, I witness very strange events. Blah, 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 blah. I can't read. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its center. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Because of this recent incident, I've decided to seek help. The doctor says I'm physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Yours very sincerely, Richard Bowker. Okay. I don't recognize that name, but this small empty town, utterly dark, lake at its center, Lake Cauldron, Bright Falls, Washington, where the Alan Wake games take place. Sounds very familiar, right? Shadow people muttering odd things. Bright light woke him up. Sounds very much like Alan Wake and the fucking Bright Falls. So interesting. Oh, you're all good, second chance. No apologies necessary. You're right, though. I, it would be really cool if that was the case. I was wondering if there was something in the game that would allow you to, like, read the redacted parts. I was wondering if it was going to be a pickup or an ability at some point. Or, like, yeah, if you finish the game, can you do it? It might just leave it to be kind of a mystery. Oh, no. All right. Uh, fuck. We got to do... Yeah, we're full. So we got to do some management here. Sorry, guys. Shield strength 70. Okay, so get rid of the rare. Element pickup. Uh, we're going to get rid of this and this. Uh, energy boost. Energy recovery speed. Evade energy cost. Evade energy cost. All right, so get rid of that. Get rid of that. 18 and 16. Get rid of that. Launch energy cost. So get rid of that one. 17%, 16, and 18. Let's get rid of the 16. We'll keep an extra one. 32. Yeah, we might want to health stack at some point. So I'll keep those shield energy cost. I don't really use shield that much. So we'll get rid of that C speed. There we go. All right. We've broken up room there. Let's do the same thing with the weapon mods. Uh, zoom 12%. We'd probably only do one. Damage 18. Damage against refund. Recoil. Sorry, guys. This helps me just kind of think through it, talk through it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Projectile spread. Projectiles fired. Speed. Speed. All right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Accuracy headshot. We can get rid of that. 31% damage while aiming. 29% get rid of. 47% get rid of that. Damage after kills. Damage while low on health. Get rid of that one. Uh, damage while low on health. Okay. All right. Dodge efficiency. There we go. Mm, uh, anything else over here? So we came up this side, but I don't think we've been down this side yet. At least I don't think so. So we got to check this side, right? Or did we come up this side? No, we came up this side, bro. I actually don't know. I'm conf I'm uh, I'm confused. You love how much I've been streaming these last few days? Yeah, it's a rarity that I get to do this, but my family was out of town this weekend. So with no kiddos and no parental responsibilities, I had the ability to do this and I really got into control, so I wanted to do it. Oh, it, you zigzag back, back and forth between the levels. I get it, except for this one. I don't I feel like we didn't get to do this right here. I don't remember this door. I don't think it would've been in this. Yeah, okay, never mind, we have. All right. We just need to get back to Langston then. We need a control point. Um map. That's what I need. Uh dead letters straight ahead. Yeah. That's right. Oops. Ouch. <laughs> you finally ordered lunch. Good shit. What'd you get, Panthera? Oop. I meant to hit F. Fast travel. Abil one ability point is not enough. All right. We need to get back to containment. 
And uh, the Panopticon, that one is the closest to where Langston is. Barnacle Bills. I have no clue what... You're in Australia, right? So I have no clue what that is. Is that seafood? Barnacle seafood, right? I gotta be honest. I'm not a seafood fan. I don't like it. <laughs> Some of the security cameras aren't working. How do I get those fixed? But it's really healthy for you. So to eat your own. Items. All of them. Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. But those weren't all of the altered items missing from the Panopticon. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. How many of these things did he lose? Oh, you ordered the How chicken, many? okay. <laughs> Just a couple. That's what I would get no from a problem. seafood place. I really appreciate your help. Really, just super. <laughs> this guy, this guy. Cleanse to contain the flam flamingo, the mannequin, and the rubber duck. All right, we're doing I'll it. I'm, later, I'm sold. Too. I'm bought in I'll on this here. side mission. Like always. So, I I, I, I I have to do this. Uh, prime candidate room, uh, sealed threshold corridor, and protective studies. Okay, prime candidate room is pretty close to here. We got three ability points, though. Four for 30% health. More energy, please. We're starting to get... Uh, we need to boost these. We need to get these going and then work on powers and launch, maybe. Melee, I don't melee too much. Uh, probably work on levitate after that. Uh, anything construct-wise that we can do? No. Oh, we're getting close to being able to upgrade charge. Okay. Uh, fast travel. Oh, there's one right there sealed threshold though we can go sealed threshold corridor right there all right i love chicken fingers too i like chicken chicken's my favorite meat so we've talked about before i'm pretty picky about my meat uh it's in here it's this way i'm gonna assume it's up All right, it's somewhere in here. What is it? The flamingo. All right, I'm assuming it's pink because the flamingos, the 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 flamingo stuff is is it an actual flamingo? Or is it like why are there Why is everything walled off and and like chalked out like evidence? Is that what they were doing? Flamingo. Anybody see a fucking flamingo? Jesus. I don't... I hear... I don't know if that's the altered item or what. It wouldn't be out here. Wait. Okay, that's not... I don't think that's it. Huh. Flamingo! Alright, hold on. You might have goth vampire flamingos in my front yard. I might be goth, but I'm also a hick. <laughs> Wait! Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't mean to trigger these bitches. Asshole. Flamingo. Am I just dumb? It's supposed to be in here, right? That's the checkpoint, so I don't think he's back here. This would be out of the area. It's right there. Did I miss it? Are you serious? What do you mean it's right there? Are you fu are you you're fucking with me? 
All right, you guys can tell me. Where do you see it? Really? I don't see it. Am I stupid? Where's the flamingo? It's under here. Huh? Huh? Hey, what's up, Kelso? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. What are you guys talking about? There is no flamingo down here. To the right? Okay, hold on. I, I, in relation to the control point, where is the flamingo? I've been moving around too much, I know. Leon, what's up? Appreciate you being here and lurking. Look for the glowing room on the tight? On the right? Okay, in relation to the control point, donde esta? Santalia, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. How do you phonetically pronounce your name, by the way? If you don't mind, since I always butcher everybody's names. Appreciate you joining. Literally has a pinkish glow. No, that was... Okay, in it's right over there. All right, that's not helpful at all. <laughs> all right, hold on. I'm going to go back. The place that had a pinkish glow... Find the pinkish glow. This, this, the, you're talking about back this way? You're talking about back this way. The stream's on a bit of delay. No, that's not it. You guys are trolling me. I think you guys are trolling me. Yeah, you guys are fucking with me. I knew it! Now, where the fuck is it, though, for real? No, there is a pinkish glow. I know what you're talking about. Look, look, I'll show you. There is a pinkish glow, but it's not in the, it's not in the right area. It, the, you're talking about this, right? You're talking about this. This is just the light, and this is, if you look at the map... I mean, maybe it's back here. I don't know. Let's check. Yeah, maybe I am supposed to follow the pinkish... Yep. Whoa! got to be an altered item. Holy fuck. What do I? Here's the problem. We don't know what this does. There we go. I just had to get through its weirdness. All right. <laughs> See, it was under there. You trolls. All right. Uh-oh. This thing again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. I do not want another fight. Oh, bro. What the fuck are you? Bro, this is not cool. Is it fighting the bull? This is not cool, dude. What is this thing? It's like some interdimensional entity that's fucking with the altered items. God damn it. All right, we got multiple arenas. Go, do I have to do the flamingo thing again? Where am I going to come out? No, that thing is dope. I just don't... I, 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 what do we do to kill it? You know? 
Like, what do we do to get rid of it forever? Oops, I didn't mean to turn my camera off. Sorry. I was re and... All right, we know... Well, at least we know where the flamingo's at. <sighs> a flamingo fucked me up. Well, I don't think... That thing... That thing is fucking with altered items. I don't know if it's a flamingo, but yeah. All right. I got this. Yep. That is so trippy, dude. That's got to be an altered item. God, can you... I'm so glad that I'm playing these side missions. Oh, what? All right, hold on. Let my energy recharge. Oh, shit. I, I levitated down too low. Okay. I got this. This is very trippy. It's a giant thingamabob. It is a giant thingamabob. This thing again. If it tears this arena up too much, we'll have to move to one of the other ones. Got to another what does this thing want? Is it fighting the boar? <laughs> kidding me oh my god here we go here we go racking up 10 more deaths fuck man god damn it dude cream soda give me power please for the love of god soda I'll, 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 well, I'll we can go get you some cream soda god damn this thing said I take it back 
he wouldn't stop i was running out of i ran out of energy like i can't keep up that amount of dodging and everything yeah he was spamming it was like the little brother who just keeps hitting the same goddamn fucking shitty combo over and over again in the fighting game asshole That's got to be an altered item Have I considered a career in ASMR or voice acting? <laughs> no, because I feel like I can't actually do that many different voices. I, I'm, I'm better off the cuff, like not thinking about it. If I actually try, it, it normally doesn't come out too well. But I mean, I would be dope to do that. Fighting the board? I thought he was going to shoot another uh, thingamabob. homing missile in his goddamn thing <sighs> dude this guy this guy this guy it said use shield i feel like shield is all right we might try to i might try to use the shield ability more there i'm just breaking down everything as i go dude I was crushing, dude. I was, I was, that guy was getting fucked. It was close. No thanks. 
this thing again. All right. Where does he pop up? Does he usually pop up like right there? I think it's like slightly different. Right. Dude, bullshit, dude. He was dead. He was fucking dead. And I still had levitate. <laughs> Just evade right through the fucking shit. Ah, dude, he was so dead, bro. That's got to be an altered item. He was so goddamn dead. I'm tanking this guy too, man. Like right off the bat. He's getting fucking again. shat on. holes in the floor are so hard to like keep track of and still like keep him in your focus and dodge him and everything that's that's what makes that difficult he doesn't have that much health and stuff yeah that hole that hole really fucked me all right i could do this we just gotta we just gotta that's got to be an altered item I just gotta be perfect with my dodges and missing the hole. Aw, oh, damn it. That's the first time I did that in a while. Ah, uh, I fucked it again. Yeah. I'm a little bit too low. Because you lose a little height with each uh, event. And I lost my... Oh, okay, my meter was fine. All right. this thing again mm. yeah the holes have white light like kind of coming out of them so you just gotta look for the white light
damn it, dude. I'm about to break my fucking keyboard. I can't believe it was one shot, bro. One fucking shot. That's the one time that a gamer has ever said it's one shot, and it's actually fucking one shot. I fucked around at the end. I was just trying to dodge all of his shit. Use Pierce? Pierce is... It, uh, eh. it takes so long to charge. That's got to be an altered item. But yeah, I might give it a try if I, if I keep having trouble here. Uh, this is how I beat him last time. What I'm doing right now. This isn't the first time we fought this guy, right? This is how I beat him last time. This arena is just different. It's a little smaller. It has the three things. All right, I got this. This thing again. All right. Got it. One, two, three. What does this thing want? Is it fighting the focused i'm like just dodge 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 survive i never did like Woo! flamingos is that is that like a speed record for that guy is that like a speed record for that guy it's got to be like a speed record right i crushed that guy in like was that that was like what was that a minute and a half max holy shit all right no unique containment procedure no unique procedure required altered status is suspected but unverified a plastic pink flamingo lawn ornament. Two steel prongs extend from its underside. The item is suspected to influence atmospheric physics, altering meteorological phenomenon in the area. This effect is currently unconfirmed. New altered effect has been observed. All right, which is what it was just doing to us. All right, we need to get back to a uh, control point, which should be like right out here. Shouldn't be far. Fuck these guys. Uh, where are we going? We could need to go there or hold on. Shit. <laughs> I need to. Where the where 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 where? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Fucking god damn it. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Thank you. Protective st research, protective studies, or prime candidate program. All right. Let's try prime candidate program. We did complete some counter a, a countermeasure. Surge maneuvers. Okay, abandoned. I don't have surge yet. Why was that even like? Why was that even selected? Kill his snipers. Uh, research containment incursion. Spin maneuvers. Nah. Research incursion. Nah. Executive incursion. Nah. Maintenance. Nah. Nah. Uh, his guard, sure. Containment. We are going to containment. You shatter, though? Nah. Executive, nope. Containment. There we go. We'll just try that. Woo! You lurking now to eat? Hell yeah. Uh, so this is linked to Alan Wake. Uh, it's not linked to SCP. I just like to... I, I, it's very unique in its own right, but it, it it's very the easiest thing to compare it to to explain it to people is SCP because it's kind of like that. It is a game set within the Alan Wake universe and heavily linked to Alan Wake. There's a, tons of references everywhere and notes and things that even mention Alan Wake. So, and one of the DLCs is focused on the connection with Alan Wake. 
All right, uh, containment, and we need to go logistics. It's telling me, no, logistics is what I was on. Maybe we'll go to, we'll go here and then go back through security and go to, okay. I think that's the best way to go. I got it. Yeah, I've been trying to point out as we go along the way, the Alan Wake universe uh, connections and everything that I noticed having played both the Alan Wake games, but I'm sure I haven't caught every single thing because those are those are two very dense, long games with a lot of lore, so. Thanks to the Runaways. I also don't know if any of these side quests we're doing are linked to the DLC or not. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is like main stuff or if this is DLC stuff. I'm not sure. Either way, it, does, it doesn't really matter. I wanted to play all of it anyway. I just not sure. Is there a door that goes out of here? No, we've already seen that before. Oh, you're all good, Allie. No need to apologize. No, we don't have six. I, I hope none of these are locked behind level six access. That might actually be locked behind level six. Fuck. Is there another way here? Maybe if I go to logistics and go down. All right, hold on. That can't be, that can't be right. What if I go down through here? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe scaby. Can't go up that way. All right, let's, let's. Back over this way. Like if we, here's the problem. I'm worried that says question mark. We've never been to that area. Huh? There's no way to it from here. It's on top, but can we go mechanical room and then go up here and then maybe be on the same level? I don't know if this is right. Hmm. We might not be able to get in there without that le without the level six clearance. We might actually have to try to do the other one and then wait until we get level six. Let's see if we could get to the turntable thing from here. All right, this is turntable, ordinary avenue. I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to get to this or what I want to get to, yeah. Huh. There's nothing to interact with in here to like, no, just the control point. All right, hold on. It's always, yeah, it's like there's a, a hiss entity stuck in that thing. Damn it. Fuck. Hmm. Yeah, I think we might be locked out of that one for right now. Let's look again, though. Yeah, we haven't been to this whole area, this, or we might have to unlock it playing the main mission. This is good damn it. Okay. Mm, if we go to the sect hold thresher, that'll just come back around here. Yeah, I don't think we can get there. I think I need that level six key card. Maybe, maybe not. It has something to do with the turntable, but we don't know. Hold on. 
The turntable is down there. We don't know how to get into the turntable. All right, we'll, we'll go try to do the one other altered item and then maybe progress the main story and see what happens. Where was the other one at? Sorry. Protective studies and research. Okay. Uh, protective studies. Uh, we... Have we been to protective studies? Ritual division is the closest. All right. Let's go. You use my kid's account to like the content? <laughs> oh, yeah. Appreciate it. Um, I forgot how spooky this place was. This way? Yep. Is the turntable connected here at all? There's this whole part over there marked out that we haven't been to that we might be able to go to now. Okay. So it's somewhere in here. It's probably back down that way. Oh, no. Have we done this? Altered item number 52 AE analysis session two. Oh, this is the rubber duck. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. <laughs> No response. Next, I will How do I get heat into him? Via a standard Bunsen burner. Is he impervious to damage? The rubber duck no is response. impervious to damage. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. to any value. Next, okay. I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? <laughs> Quack, if you can understand my words. Oops. No response. I forgot this that I had charge out. Two. My bad. To prepare further tasks. Okay. Oh, the multiple accounts thing, I can answer that. So it's not a big deal like it, it's fine let's say you have like two accounts and you like the videos and watch them on both accounts that's not a huge deal but let's say you create you have like 10 accounts or five accounts and you go do it youtube might pick up on that because they consider that like yeah kind of gaming this they have policies against gaming the system or against like buying views or they might think that all those accounts are bots and they're all watching the same video to try to boost the views and everything or whatever because there are like sites where you can go and buy YouTube views or whatever. Don't ever do that if you're a creator because that'll kill your channel. YouTube will mark that as invalid traffic. And best case scenario, what they'll do is they'll remove those views that all come from like the same IP address or the same like account holders or whatever. They have different ways to track it or the same area. That's best case. Worst case scenario, if they feel like there's a lot of invalid traffic on your channel, they can give you a channel strike or temporarily suspend your ability to put out videos. Don't worry, nobody freak out. I'm sure none of you guys are creating enough accounts to even have that happen. That happens when you have people who go to those sites and buy YouTube views and all of a sudden they go from getting like zero views to 100,000 views in 30 minutes because they have a bunch of bots hitting their videos. That's not going to happen. If you have two counts, if you have your kids accounts and you watch the video and like it on all of them, you're fine. Just no. And I appreciate the thought and the sentiment, but no need to go out and create multiple accounts and like, you know, like, like the video multiple times and all that stuff. If you already have multiple accounts and you want to watch on all of them and like on all of them, that's completely okay. But no need to, no need to go out and try to like boost it all up. Or if, if you, I don't, oh, okay, hold on. I'm dead. <laughs> um, oh, what was I going to say? Uh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say because I got attacked. Uh, uh, Damn it. We're talking about invalid. We we're talking about invalid views on YouTube. Blah, blah, blah. I can't. I sorry. I lost my thought because of the fucking enemies. 
so oh i was gonna say i know a lot of people um watch um they watch like on their tv or on their computer or their console and then they have the stream up too and they chat they use the the stream on their phone chat for live stream chat and talk on chat via their phone that's fine you're not gonna trigger any flags or cause any issues doing that continue you're fine don't worry about it so <clears throat> all right anyway Uh, it was back this way, right? Yeah, the rubber duck's right there. Okay. Ah, damn it. That didn't come across like that. That didn't come across like that at all. Don't worry. You're all good. No explanation or anything needed. Uh, you guys also uh, remember, though, another thing. I know a lot of you are, like, watching the stream and you're looking at likes. Like, let's see. I don't know what mine, my dad. Hold on. I can't see the likes right now. Oh, I actually can't see the likes on my little thing. I'd have to back out, and I don't want to do that. Um, <clears throat> you have to refresh the page to see, like, the likes are going to show, and they're going to update really slowly if you've been on the static stream page for a while. You have to hit refresh to actually see the, the like, real like total. So, all right. Oh, how do I... I get into this guy it's a door open right there but this door is not open and there is no keypad and it's like burr, burr. Can I get into this guy nope uh 179 likes and three dislikes <laughs> there's always usually my videos average like 99% to 99.5% stream uh likes versus dislikes which is Honestly, dislikes aren't that big of a thing on YouTube unless you're like, you're releasing, you know, something like the first Sonic trailer for the first Sonic movie and everybody hated how Sonic looked. You know, that, that's the only time that likes or dislikes really come into play. Uh, or I mean, that's the only time that the dislike ratio gets less than like, like almost every YouTuber has like a 99 or 99.5% like to dislike ratio unless they do something fucking weird in their video. Uh, I, I don't know how to get to this fucking duck. Am I supposed to go up? What am I doing in here? <clears throat> you forget what Sonic actually looked like? Oh, God. The, so, first off, the two Sonic movies are actually pretty good. Like the like the live action action CGI Sonic, they're actually pretty good for what they are, right? They're good kids movies. I don't know why my camera's blurry. Hold on, they're pretty good kids movies. Um, and my kid, my oldest, really likes them. My younger one does too, but he kind of gets bored with them because you know he's only two and a half and he doesn't fully understand. But anyway, um, they're actually pretty good, and they really they they nailed Sonic, but they didn't have him the first time around. But oh god, he looks like memeable terrible. Um, in the, in the first trailer for the original look that they had for him, he's absolutely horrid. My webcam might be overheated. Hold on, guys. It might, like, legitimately be overheated. I don't know what to do then. Give me a sec. Yeah, the original look, he looked so, he, it was, it was bad, it was bad. 
he looked off but yeah they did a they did a really good job fixing him and I, you know that's one of the rare instances where they actually listened to fan impact fan input and feedback which was nice all right let's see if this is gonna fix it there we go all right i don't think it's overheated all right i think we got it two syllables gross well that i did it one syllable. gross gross <laughs> up until the internet bullied them to submission yeah <laughs> actually yeah i like those movies though they're not, you know i mean listen, yeah like i said they're not gonna win any oscars or anything they're not like you know they're not super unique they're very like you know your standard blockbuster but they're good uh i how do i get to this duck do i have to just wait later in the story for these two Altered item Let's let that play again. AE analysis session two. That door is locked. Begin by introducing various <laughs> yeah, I might have to wait. All right. Well, we should can we should advance the main story then, right? Missions. What do we have? Langston. These two. Okay. Checks on Doctor Underhill's. Pro oh, I can go check on her progress. Let's go do that then. Let's go do that, dude. We've been waiting for her to fucking to be done forever closest control point says i'm standing right on top of it oh that's because it's right here <laughs> fast trail base trail where are we going uh where is she at again is she in research ritual division this is where i'm at where is what's her face She's down. Hold on. She's down in the mold place, right? I don't think we have a map for that place. She's not an executive. She's not in maintenance. She's here somewhere. I just don't remember exactly. God, it's been so long. All right, we got to run around here. When I see it, I'll remember, I think. But I got to see it. She's not in the synchronicity lab. I know that. She's back over near parapsychology, right? We got to find that way down into that mold area. All right, let's try this. Okay, those are those items. We've messed with those before. Here we go. I knew I'd recognize it. Here we go. She's down here. Poop scoop, poop scoop. Isn't she? She's down here, right? Like, yeah, right here. Yeah, underneath everything. I finished synthesizing the samples. Hell yeah. Ingest this pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how but Okay. So you promise I won't end up walking around covered in mold? Oh, I can do the duck mission. Well, let me do the mold mission and then we'll go back. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Great idea, Jesse. Oh, honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Disgusting. The taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. All right, we've already talked to you about everything Thanks for before. The information. My pleasure. All right, so now I'm assuming that the mold won't hurt me. All right? How do I find the source? Don't think I can go back to the that. Let's go this way and see what happens. Nine inch colas, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I saw you pop in out of the peripheral of my vision while I'm staring at the game. I'm not sure how I saw that. All right. Well, this there's one way to test this. Hill was talking about. Yes. We can walk on the red parts now. Go. Oh, yes. We can finally go everywhere that the mold was before that we couldn't go. And if I wonder if I kill the source, does it get rid of the mold everywhere? 
Yo, you need levitate to do this. I see. Otherwise, you die falling down. Hey, I'm gonna need a friend down here. You wanna be friends? There you go, buddy. Come with me. <clears throat> Ramsey, Ranger Captain, note 7.25. Underhill sent us down this weird ass threshold looking for whatever's making all these vegetables sprout. <laughs> vegetables <laughs> sprout. Don't put it in that doorway. Put it over here. All right. This isn't a secret room. I guess it wasn't that hidden. Balloon supplement? But what? Get well balloon altered item 58-KE. The item was used in the children's ward of a local hospital in redacted. We saw the get well balloon and the deflated one in the panopticon on like the third floor or fourth floor? Fourth floor? The fourth floor probably. Witnesses do not recall where the balloon came from. Therapy dogs, part of a program called Redacted, meant to comfort the sick children, were noticeably attracted to the item. They were reportedly jumped at the i. They reportedly jumped at the item, licking it when they could. The children claimed the dogs began walking through the halls of the hospital at night, howling in a low pitch. One child described the sound as singing. Ugh. A few days later, the dogs were all discovered dead—a dark substance leaking from their Redacted. The hospital staff called local authorities, who called the CDC. Bureau agents intercepted this call and arrived at the scene within redacted hours. The item was taken for evaluation along with the remains of the dogs. Uh, the multi... Hold on. Multimedia thing that we have was what? Threshold log. Did we hear that Ramsey. whole thing? Let's see. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, note 7. Oh, it's only 13 seconds. Underhill sent us down this weird ass threshold looking for whatever's making all these vegetables sprout. I will say this. Um... It smells delicious. Damn. You want to know what it was leaking out of? Yeah, me too. Uh, Sentient, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I don't know. I don't think so. Because we still got the two expansions to do. I'm in love with this game. We still got the two expansions to do. And, uh... We, I still haven't finished the main game, so... I don't think so. I don't know how much. I feel like I'm getting near the end-ish of the main game, but I'm not 100% certain. All right, before we keep going that way, what's over here? Are both of these ways down? They are. Oh, hey, what's up? Seize, motherfucker. All right, come help me. Before we go this way, was there something back over here? God, this is like a maze now. Oh, fuck, dude. I don't want to miss anything. Here we go. All right. That's the way forward. Glad I came back. Spin grouping efficiency. Yeah, they do look like clickers, don't they? So control would have came out after the first Last of Us. So you never know. All right. There's a way down there and there's a way down over there. Let's go here first, though. This looks smaller more contained some research notes 
Intrusive pattern. All right. Picnic basket. We saw that one as well. Bremen basket, a altered item 54. The item came to the Bureau's attention through several news reports in which a family was harassed by animals during a picnic in the redacted national park. The family, the family, the family, now reporting the family, the family, I can't, I, the family fled the scene with the basket. Witnesses report seeing the family chased by the following species of animal, redacted, redacted, and redacted. The family eventually abandoned the basket, at which point the animals remained with it for an unknown length of time. Agents acquired the item from the park's lost and found offices. Okay. Uh, this way. That's right. Mannequins. Fuck. All right. There's a control point and something to listen to. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, note 7.28. Uh, wait, uh, 6, 7, whatever. <laughs> Still in the threshold. Oh, he's straight up eating the vegetables now because, well, why not? Oh, you shouldn't have did that. Eat your vegetables. Eat too many and your skittle turn green. Green like Ollie's. <laughs> What's up, hey. paid to be here? Ollie. Thanks for joining. Uh oh. And I don't want to miss a thing. Sorry. <laughs> Probably woke my neighbors up with that one. <clears throat> Ow. And killed my voice. You think this would make a much cooler? Uh, I love Resident Evil, but yeah, this would be a cool backstory too. Yeah, I agree with you. Ooh, upgrade Pierce, upgrade Charge, upgrade Shatter, upgrade Spin. When am I gonna be able to craft the last one? I did nail it, didn't I? I have a career to fall back on if this ever goes through. <laughs> I don't. Far, far, far from it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. pierce maneuvers <clears throat> kill enemies with the service weapon and pierce mode yep all right and I don't... oh hey you could miss this yeah Ooh, ooh, girl. Is that the source? It's kind of pretty. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Nope. No. Oh, God. I just keep finding myself in all kinds of trouble tonight, don't I? Mold one. <laughs> Motherfuck! Oh my god, I got, I got bitch slap, dude. I think this might actually be a, uh, uh, a, uh, DLC boss, I think. Because I, I, and the reason I say that is I remember seeing a promo image with one of the DLCs packages for it. So I, I'm, I'm not 100% though. I'm gonna throw these things at it. Nope. What the fuck? Ah! 
going on, dude? That I'm dead. <laughs> Holy shit, brother. Am I am I equipped to fight this guy if he's DLC? Do I need more? This one's in the base game? Okay, interesting. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I wonder how many more bosses we're gonna encounter because there's so much thumbnail potential. if they're going around my shield or what uh we might have to respec our personal mods here fuck dude mm. no, hold on yeah we've already listened to this unread one it's the second threshold log missions yeah all right what do we have energy recovery speed launch effectiveness evade cost we might switch this out for shield. Uh, shield strength, 72%. All right, let's try that. And I'm going to have to... I never use shield, but I think I'm going to have to use shield. Is that the source? I feel like uh, this arena is so small. I feel like that's what it's calling for. Nope. No. And I wonder, can I take those out? What the fuck? What the, what the fuck, dude? What was that? It was like, do, 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 do. <laughs> like, what the hell, man? I'm at 42 deaths. <laughs> I'm starting to rethink the death counter. It's just a, it's just a counter of how shitty of a gamer I am. Is that the source? It's Dude, I keep forgetting to use shield because, like, it's not part of my offensive or defensive repertoire that I normally do. Fuck, man. No. 
both sides. My shield only. <laughs> it's all sides. This boss took you an hour to figure out. But, oh, I didn't read the rest of the message. Don't spoil. Don't spoil, Joker. Is that the source? It's kind of pretty. Nope. No. Get him really low. <laughs> I can get him really low. I get him really fucking low. All right. Um, I wonder Pierce wise reload speed and damage while aiming. I'm I'm boosting more, so I don't know that damage while aiming is gonna do it. Uh, damage while aiming 47, accuracy increase, damage while low on health. That might actually 85% damage while low on health. If I hit him with that, because I'm gonna be low a lot, that might actually be the way to go for Pierce. And then honestly, I don't think charge is gonna help in this fight. Um, what I think I should have is either the shoddy or grip to switch between. I could blast. I could blast, yeah. Projectiles fired five. Let's try shatter when those things get up close. Let's try that and flipping between these. Shatter and pierce. Let's see. Is that the source? It's Hey, what's up, crown breaking raven? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Nope. No. I forgot that that's what it does at first. I can't get hit by that at the start of the fight. Jesus Christ, dude. This is insane, dude. This is going to take a bit. This is insane. I'm going to I'm going to fucking power through this. Grip always. Grip is your favorite. Yeah, I might switch to grip. I do really like grip. Is that the source? It's You know what I'm going to try though. Kind we haven't tried pretty. shatter in a while. All right. Nope. <laughs> Not pretty. You dead fuck! Fuck you! 
Whoa! I need to stop being surprised by all the weird shit in this place. Woo! All I needed to do was incorporate levitate into it, man. Fuck yes, dude. That's what I'm fucking talking about, brother. Woo! Rock that shit. Uh... How the fuck do I get out of here, though? I don't think I can levitate out of here. There's got to be, like, uh... There's a door. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, I feel like... I feel, I feel like considering what the fuck that was and running around... It's pretty good. Did not take as many tries as the anchor or some of those other bosses. Oh, good. Oh, he's just eating oh, it. Need more. Mm. Mm. Mm, I want to eat. <laughs> I was close to death there, though. Mmm. Dried mango. Delicious and chewy. Sorry. Can't do any of that, okay. Mm. All right. I need to go back to... Mm -mm. Not the pip. I think ritual division was how I got to it last time. I still can't get over the fridge monster. I will forever open my fridge differently. <laughs> I don't blame you. Did I go that way before? Yeah, I went to uh, parapsychology. Good shit. I was worried with all the missiles that thing was firing, or, you know, plant goo, whatever you want to call it. I was worried that was going to take a lot longer than that. Hey. Oh, that's that. And those are the fucking plants. Okay, never mind. I thought those might be new notes. Yeah, I don't have time for your shit. Down we go. Wait, which way? This way. Down here. This place is fucking weird. Can you make your levitate ability stronger? Yeah, you can. You can make all your abilities stronger. And you're not sprouting mold from your eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. It did. Now tell me everything. Did you find the source? You did, didn't you? I found a big angry plant. Like gigantic. <laughs> I killed it. You killed it! What was I supposed you to do with it, woman? You killed it! I could have learned so much from a live specimen. Oh, uh, it was very the angry. The is touching. Really. It's too much. <laughs> Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold. You're not such a lost cause after all. Ah, fuck you. I'm, I swear to God, I'm still firing her. So different, even superficially. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more stages. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. Okay. I mean, that People makes sense. Need time for further study. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. They managed to sneak out without the rangers noticing. There's a reason I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source <laughs> with the others. The poor Steve These and Andy. hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Okay. Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. I'll go take care of them. Good. And do be quick about it. Yeah, fuck There's you, a lady. Nice way to say that. Four ability report. Uh, ability reports. Four ability. Thanks for the information. 
things. All right. Uh, you guys said I could do the rubber duck, so I'd like to go back after that. What is? That's it. Hold on. What the fuck is going on? My buttons weren't working. All right, there we go. Concept corrupted sample. Oh man, we hadn't had corrupted samples up until now. Speak with it. We still haven't. This is like the main main story. We've been doing all of this. You said I could do the rubber duck. Oh, they're all close to here. All right, let's let's go kill all these fucks first. The elevator works, right? I think the elevator works. Because there should be some, yeah, right around here. Should be some back at the uh, ritual division too. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Whoa! What's up, Pin KP? We turn that into an emo song, right? Um, there's one in here. Where the mold be, yo? What do I have equipped right now? Pierce and grip. Okay. Hmm. I guess we just got to run around until we find the mold. Right? Another guy back there, right? We've been in there. I think Pierce is definitely my favorite weapon. I mean, I feel like that's been pretty obvious if you've been watching me play, but... Pierce is where it's at, dude. Oh, here we go. He went to the bathroom. Oh, there's more than one. Okay, we gotta, we gotta find all of them. Damn it. All right, they're wandering around Central. Is there is there one in the um, little boy's room as well? Nah, that'd be too easy, right? Let's see one in the cafeteria. So they wouldn't be like, that's a new area, right? So it wouldn't be there. We just kind of kind of run around this hub area and find them. I think. I hope. Oh, is he, is he, is he hanging out in the shelter? Did he make it through the shelter? No, no. All right. FBC, open up. That's what I should have did, right? The hiss, the hiss. Is it just me or are the hiss, uh, like the noise that they make, that constant noise, is it becoming more legible? Like, does it sound like, like I still can't understand it. But it's less, it's less garble than it was before. Am I crazy? Anybody else think that? Feels like it. Feels like it for sure. Oh, what's this? Am I supposed to be up here? Psychology elevator? Have I been here before? I don't remember. Am I still in central? No, I'm in luck and probability. We've been to luck and probability? Yeah, we have, right? Another control point here. Yeah. Okay. It's weird. I just used a weird loop is all. Killy, Skilly, can we discuss how nobody misses the last director or even asks what happened to him? I, that is pretty crazy, right? 
that's a that's a really good point i oh we have not been in we have not been in his office before this was not open before i uh i don't know what to make of that i don't know if that means he was a bad director they keep talking about a lot of his accomplishments though right i don't know if that means he was a bad director or they're used to the director changing or because they're in this like ex ex even more danger than normal with the hiss i don't know it is weird i agree with you alternative perspective objects of power and their astral connections dr darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the redacted an entity or group of entities that we have little information on or little that i am allowed to access in his written reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of power, the redacted, the astral plane, and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are innate, a fact ingrained into the very redacted of objects, such as the hotline or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the redacted, but had that connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with the redacted? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline will result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume this involvement by the redacted is a natural fact and not something more redacted? That is a that is a valid point. The hotline and the uh, thing are... Oh, hey. What are they for? All right, hold on. Let's, let's start that over because it was in the middle. So let's start it over from here. HRAs. Okay. Oh, he looks like he's not doing good. I've been fielding questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the Hedron resonance anyway? I. Oh. He's drunk. We've never seen him drunk Despite before. what you may have heard. Or super tired. HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements. We're listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. <laughs> of course. Think of them as... Uh, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and you'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. Doesn't kidding. sound like it. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. You always need to wear them. That's not good. What's the deal with the headroom resonance anyway? So many notes and stuff here. Sorry, I was eating more trail mix while that was happening. Darling budget proposal. Dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague, Dr. Harrington, has already contacted you asking for an increase in our department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel. All fuss, but no results. Parakeesnology has always been the stronger department. More breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown on your desk. Yours in admiration, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Damn, he calling out the other one. Resonance theory. Uh, utilization of paranatural elements. Resonance, con confidential. Resonance, it's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. But what if the vibration is consciousness? What could a force like that do, AKA the hiss? Redacted opened the door to a redacted. I've called redacted. The redacted emits a force that is far beyond the forces we previously dealt with. It was shown me. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder: Is resonance the key element in all altered phenomenon? AWEs, altered items, objects of power. Do they share a common redacted that we've yet to discover? Resonance, I think, is what the redacted is for some reason. 
We can harmonize control points. What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if resonance has been the answer this whole time? Interesting. Oh, my camera. Sorry. Um, let's go. Another note. Astral plane. Uh, the Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle determined by Jungian archetypes and the collective subconscious would be inhabited by paranatural energies when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the redacted in the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane, and the objects were left behind as, it borders, as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully, the truth will emerge. God damn, dude. Bam. Listening to your conversations. Just playing on repeat, huh? While you're wearing them. What is this? Oh, it's another one of those things. You do that regardless huh. You're I wonder what happens if we start the second one of those that's in the other uh, area. All right. I'm kind of glad we're here. We're searching for those mold things, right? I almost forgot what we were doing here. Dimensional research? Re Recurch? Recurge, have we been this way? I don't remember. The mold hosts are not here, though. Yeah, that is correct, Joker. We talked about that in yesterday's stream and in the first stream, I think. But yeah, uh, Matthew Porretta is the voice actor for Dr. Darling. He's also the voice actor for Alan Wake, which is a neat little connection. Alan Wake is physically played by someone else in Alan Wake 2. Um. Hmm. Where would the mold people be? My face has been redacted. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. No, none of this is necessary, guys. Unnecessary. We just need like, it looks like two more mold, maybe three more mold people. Are they in here? That's the sector elevator. Ritual division, we can get to it, but it's blocked off that way. I don't know why. Hey, what's up, boo? you bitch oh shit all right you want to play you want to play you invisible fuck all right and grip, dude. It just... people 
can't be more bad people. Gotcha. Did we already check the shelter? I think I might have. I know I checked a shelter. Yeah, we already got the item in there. Wait, hold up a second. Have I been up here? I need a door. Ask and you shall receive. I don't think I've been here. There's mold over there. Yeah, I've not been here. Dr. Darling, I feel I must inform you of the very questionable documentation I am seeing from Underhill's desk. She clearly has no concept of what the mold is. She claims there are microorganisms responsible for constructing the mold. Ridiculous. It's a rapidly growing fungus, not dissimilar to cud, cud does. She's fabricating complexity to justify her absurd budget demands. Speaking of which, I find it interesting that an old friend of yours gets her budget approved with no questions asked. I wonder if the operations oversight committee would be interested to learn of that. Yours in estimation? Dr. Abraham Lewis. Ooh, that was dripping with passive aggression. Yours in estimation? Jesus Christ, dude. That's like the equivalent of if you work in an office and somebody asks you a question and you respond to the email and say, see previous email. <laughs> That's fucking passive aggressive out the ass, dude. I love it. I used to do that all the time. All right, hammer procedures. Hammer time? Uh, game hammer. Oh, we saw this in uh, containment. Altered item 5-BE. I think that's the first time we've saw BE. No, per archival mandates A 8.A, this document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. No method for suppressing the item's thermaturgical effect is known. I know that word. I just have trouble with it sometimes. To prevent infection, wear proper safety gloves when handling. The item is a wooden mallet from a high striker carnival game. A long wooden handle extends from the head. The item infects any organic material with an unknown disease upon making physical contact. The effects of this disease are similar to leprosy, but develop at a much faster rate. Within a matter of days, tissue loss develops in the limbs closest to the point of infection. While the disease itself has not yet claimed any lives, secondary infection has resulted in numerous deaths. Oh shit. That's fucked. Back rooms confirmed. Alan Wake. Well, I'm finding all the lore in this game, I feel like. Hidden location. Look at that. Aren't we spiffs McGiffs, huh? We're not getting out of there. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? I think I found the mold. Uh, hold on. There's a, we, I have a solution to this problem. All right. I got a box. I got a box on me. Get off of that. I'm trapped in a box, dude. What do I do? Hello? All right. A lot of these hidden locations just spawn like a shit ton. Of that doesn't count towards the thing, though. Also, I'm full on all the mods, so I gotta I gotta fix this. Go by type. Shield strength 55%. We have one up there, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, health recover me on element pickup. Get rid of that one. 38. Get rid of that. 8% and 12%. Get rid of that. 28% energy recovery speed. Uh, we could stack them though, so we might keep that evade. 16 18 we'll get rid of one of those all 21 all right let's get rid of those i only want to keep like two to stack 18 and 17 and 16 get rid of that health uh yeah but 36 percent god damn we'll get rid of that shield efficiency c speed c speed get rid of that one. Oh my god uh you get rid of that all right we're good on those Type for mods. Zoom. I feel like I don't need two zooms. Rate of fire, damage, damage against enemy. If it's the same, get rid of that one. Rate of fire. 
I need one of those. Projectile speed. Projectiles fired. We have a five one, so. Projectile speed is 40%. So that's for a different gun. 48%. Let's do that. 89% blast radius. Yeah, accuracy. Bloom. Energy gain from headshots. Headshot damage while aiming. We can do that. All right. Also, uh, charge. We have uh, a blast radius that's better than this. Uh, 89%. And then damage against armor. I don't know that we have one that's better than that. But we're good there. All right. I want to change back to grip, though. All right. Good to go. Little spicy hidden place. There's also another office over here, though. Door time. Thank you. Just an item. Astral blip upgrade material. Okay. Hey, good night, Paulo. Take care. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. This is officially the longest stream I've ever done. It's eight hours and 52 minutes. I think yesterday was like eight hours and 31 minutes or some somewhere around there. Oh, I see his bitch ass right over there. What the fuck's he doing up there? Or I see one. I mean, that's one of them, right? Oh, shit. How the fuck? What is that even? Like, how did he get there? I can't. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, okay. Uh, interesting look for the mold i guess and they'll be near those that kind of makes sense right is there a document here no not going too much longer guys so i don't want to have to sleep in too long in the morning and i do want to stream some tomorrow with you guys so all right god damn it Fucking hell, dude. Fuck. Please tell me that's all. Please tell me there's not an invisible bitch. There better not be. Fuck you. Is this another hidden another hidden location? Is this really main game content? The 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 mold stuff? Hold on. I gotta Google this. Is Underhill's Mold Quest main game content in control? Old growth is a side mission to control, which you can start if you complete the threshold. Oh, plus, 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 beat the main game. And, uh, I guess it's mean. I don't know. Okay. All right. Jen Lee Jones, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Steven, welcome to the stream. Good to have you both. I hope you're both doing good. Jen Lee Jones with the five gifted channel memberships. And those went to N7 Gallagher, Second Chance, Franklin Hawks and Fast Catastrophe, and Kevin VH 1905 Welcome to channel membership. On behalf of Jen Lee Jones, Jen Lee Jones, you absolute rock star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Panthera, yeah, we've been running across those all game. I've had a running joke that there's no pictures allowed of me. I've been, I've been blowing them all up. But yeah, they're all over the place. Especially in the uh, executive area in the first part of the game. All right, so there's one more mold bitch somewhere. And, uh, I don't know where that is. We gotta find, I wish, I wish I had more of a thing than Earth and Central Research. Because these are hard to find. Because the old house is alive, yeah. Can I get up there? Alright, hold on. Uh, we were about to... What was through here again? Had a moment. Have we been? Hold on. 
Is this the ashtray maze? Because we've been here, if so. It looks like it is. If so, I don't think we need to go back. Although, we have levitate. Does levitate break this maze? We never completed this. Hold on. I'm curious. Does it stop it from mazing? It doesn't. And that's back at the beginning, right? Okay, yeah. I think there's still something story-wise we have to figure out to do that. It's a long-ass game, dude. I've, I kind of want to go do the rubber ducky. I'm getting annoyed looking for these mold fucks here. I've got no clue where they are. I don't see mold anywhere. I don't know about you guys, and it's supposed to be in central research, right? Like, it can't be... This isn't central research. It's not central research. Ah, fuck you guys. Have I gone in this hole right here? That's not even a hole I can get in. I'm now, I'm now reduced to trying to fit in holes that I can't fit in. Maybe he's back here somewhere. This is HRA lab. What? No. Why? Oh yeah, this I is where we did that puzzle. Prisms lie on the most scale of hardness. This is technically protective studies, though. Okay. Is the mold thing up here? Nope. I'm out. Do the duck. Good night, everyone. You all are great. Yeah, I need to go do the duck. Is there a control point here? I'll have to come back to this later. <laughs> I don't want to keep running around looking for these stupid things. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do the duck. I want to go find out about the goddamn duck. All right. Where's? Uh, thanks for being here. By the way, paid to be here. Take care. Have a good one. Where's the control point again, though? Wait. Mold. Mold. Oh, no. This is where we found that one. Yeah, you just got to look for the mold. Okay. I don't know where the mold is. Isn't there a control point down here? Or am I just stupid? What's back here? Oh, the radio just turned on. And then a research note that I never got because I never walked into the goddamn cafeteria. All right. Hi, Carla. Does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Don't get me wrong. Beats a day in the lab. Plus, it's always great to work with you. Oh, yeah. I finished the comparative analysis of the two black rock samples you sent. The prism or whatever you called it. I filed them in the usual place under C for Carla. A handy uh, mnemonic device, right? Haha. <laughs> Anyway, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data. I'll gladly explain. Maybe we could chat about it over some drinks or dinner. Even, I was about to say this dude likes Carla. I can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Maybe we could go together after work sometime. I'm free tomorrow. All the best. Hubert. Oh, poor Hubert. He's got a work crush. Poor guy. Maybe he could be a little less creepy with his notes, though. Just a little, you know? All right, there's mold here. Oh, it's going to be in here. Yeah, here we go. All right, well, we'll have knocked this one off, and then we'll go do the duck. There we go. Oh, can we do this now? We weren't able to do anything with this before. This was the Poets of the Fall song. Oh, yeah, and this is like the... Yeah, no, okay. We we're just supposed to set in there. This was the Poets of the Fall song. That's right. All right. We got all the mold hosts here. We're going to switch, though. We're going to go back to Langston's. Rub a duck. I just need fucking control point, which is back up, I think. 
right? Get out of my fucking way. an amazing band oh what's up michelle welcome by the way uh where's the i hope you're doing good where's the fucking it's up here isn't it or that's the sector elevator but no i want the the control points up higher oh, the control point was down there man oh it's in the it's in the ritual thing hold on no this is dr darling's office Here we go. Yep, up here. All right. Ooh, I got six ability points. Dude, 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 dude. Uh, energy. I need more energy. Like, for real. Because we're using that a lot. Um, And then I would like to upgrade the launch. I really want to get launch all the way upgraded. So we're going to save the rest of those. Can I do anything this way? Okay, I got upgrade spin, shatter, or pierce. I'm definitely upgrading pierce. I use pierce so goddamn much, dude. All right, now pierce has three. Uh, board countermeasures, I completed. Completed. Uh, his snipers? How have we not run into snipers? That's weird. Uh, I want non area specific stuff surge maneuvers we don't have surge yet i can't wait to get surge i i have no clue what it fucking is nobody spoil what it is for me because i want it uh spin maneuvers i don't like spin shatter i don't like shatter i don't want give me a mission that i want his troopers sure Keep going. Kill enemies using launch. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, ooh, teleport, right? Rubber duck. That's what we're after. Where was the rubber duck again? Protective studies, right? Uh, so rich ritual division. Is that where we're going? Ritual, ritual, ritual. Thought we were in the ritual division. What am I going to use my telekinesis on? Anything and everything. Anything and everything. Protective studies this way. Here's the duck. All right. There's supposedly a way into this stupid thing, right? Somewhere. It has to be this way. It has to be this. It has to be this door. Because otherwise this room exists for nothing. We came here before and there was nothing here. <laughs> that. This. What did you say to me? 
Shut up. Don't talk to me. Ooh, mold. All right, before we go down, what's across? Oh, does this count as one of the mold targets? It does. No, no, maybe not. I don't know. Because I don't have that mission active, but we'll see. I think I think we're supposed to drop down back there for the duck, but I want to see what's what's further along here. So humor me. Maybe not though. Maybe the duck's here because we did have to run down a hallway for a bit. What is this? Oh, this is the duck. That's the duck. All right, first off, open this. Then we can levitate back up. Hey, what's up, ducky? Disappearing ducks. Great. Okay. You duck fuck. Quack, quack. I hear quack, quack. What? <laughs> Shut the... He was right there. Wait, hold on. Is it this way or that way? Oh, I see him. Fucking duck. <laughs> He's down the hallway over here. Work, <laughs> work. You son of a bitch. He's further down here. Oh, I see him. How do I stop him? Do I shoot him? Fuck. Where'd the duck go? Is he in here? Yeah, he's in the vents. In the vents. Oh, you can't drop down there anyway. Well, I got a corrupted sample from killing the mold. I don't know where he's at. Sounds close. <laughs> He's quacking. Fuck! How do I catch this fucking thing? Does he just get tired? Crouch? Damn it. <laughs> He's got to be back this way. There we go. What the fuck, dude? This quack quack motherfucker. Finally. No there we go. Wait, what is she saying? Quacking. <laughs> Finally, no more quacking. Damn straight. All right, we got the duck. Rubber duck procedures, altered item 52-AE. Direct contact with the item is not permitted. Safety gloves are required when handling. Item is a yellow rubber duck bath toy from the 1950s. A single hole at the bottom allows air and water to flow in and out. The item makes a sound analogous to quacking. The item travels considerable distances with surprising speed. How it achieves this motion is unknown. The item forms a redacted of unknown purposes with anyone who makes direct physical contact with it and begins to follow them quacking often. This has led to a researcher named Redacted entering cardiac arrest, though due to the individual's health issues, the matter may not be connected to the item's effect. Item on loan to the research sector for further study. Fucking quack, bitch. All right, what was the last one? Can we do the mannequin? Langston asks Jesse to cleanse and retrieve the numerous altered items that have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where's the mannequin at again? Prime candidate program containment. All right, let's, let's go back there, because if we could do the other two, I feel like we could do this one. But maybe not. I feel like we needed clearance uh, six, right? So I might not be able to do it. Hold on. Let me ask this. If anybody in chat who's played this game and know, as spoiler free as possible, do I need... Answer this. Do I need level six clearance to open a door to get to the mannequins? Or do I need anything I don't have? Don't answer what the other stuff might be, but just say you need something you don't have or you need to progress. Does anybody know? Or can I do... The mannequin right now. 
I need to get to this area. We're going to go to uh, right here. Yeah, the duck just split as soon as he saw the crouching. Nine hours and 11 minutes. God damn. What a stream. Uh, security? All right, hold on. There's no way from here. Fluffy Kid said, yes, you need a level six. Okay, I figured. All right, so we can't do this. Good. Thank you. You've saved me a painless time. Uh... Missions. All right. You know what? I might try this mold thing real quick because some of the other areas might not be as bad as parapsychology. But if it ends up being like that annoying, I won't. Or not parapsychology. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Central research. Central research is just like a fucking multi-level maze. <laughs> 24 hours. Did you say no? I I do not have 24 hours in me. I, I'm losing steam. I got maybe like 45 minutes left in me at most. I'd like to maybe finish this mold removal thing if possible and go talk to Pope and then call it probably. Oh, God damn it, you fucks. Where are we going this way? We're looking for mold. Looking for mold so we can go cleanse it. I see some. Can I, can I blast this? Astral exhibition. Okay. There's gotta be a door to get in there or something. Really, buddy? Fuck you. Too close. You couldn't dodge that, could you, you fuck? Mold in here. Where's the mold guy? Where's he hiding? Hold on, there's a note. <clears throat> sensory take purpose. Darling here, some of you are curious why I had those sensory deprivation tanks installed. I thought I'd shed some light on the subject. Maybe some of you have heard of a Dr. Uh, Yoshimi to Toaku, the man behind the hugely popular guided imagery experience tapes. Apparently his tapes go beyond the normal meditative qualities of such things, but create genuine hallucinatory visions in some listeners or so the reports say. We brought these tanks in to test Dr. To Tuwaki's tapes for ourselves. Plus, there may be some stress relieving uses for the staff down the road. I think we could all benefit from some time in a dark and closed space, don't you? That sounds terrible. If you have any more questions, feel free to stop by my office. You know where it is. Do we? Your office was hard to reach. I needed to levitate. All right. Uh, official findings report, Dr. Yoshimi Tuaki, a Japanese citizen residing in Tokyo, has produced a series of guided imagery experience audio recordings that have gained notable popularity around the globe. Due to his unusually swift rise in fame, along with reports of a vivid redacted accompanying the use of these tapes, investigations sector staff were asked to look into the doctor's background. We found no past incident with an altered occurrence, nor any evidence of involvement with an altered organization. However, that's the first mention we've heard of altered organization. That means that there's, does that mean that there's other organizations out there like FBC or something? However, agents that attended a signing event reported redacted when hearing Dr. Tawaki speak. We recommend that the research team obtain an audio recording of Dr. Tawaki's voice and perform any and all relevant analyses. Based on the findings, the investigation sector will determine next steps regarding Dr. Tawaki as well as his eligibility for the prime candidate program. All right, so they think he might be a para-utilitarian, basically, right? Was there not a, like, an item thing in here? Nope. And nothing to zoom up on? 
you'd lose your mind in sensory deprivation i would too my mind's a weird place i need video games and music and other stuff to keep it busy hmm. uh more mold here in parapsychology so we went this way is this still considered parapsychology i think so extra oh the deprivation tanks okay yeah we should check this out because we haven't been here they literally put them on tables and you climb into them. That's kind of trippy. All right, question is, how do I get there? All right, astral blip. Yeah, how do I get in there? Astral Exhibition. I saw mold that way, too, so we gotta go that way. Did we not explore this whole area last time we were here? Or is this, like, is the building shifted? Yeah, mold. All right. Good to know we're on the right way here. Oh. All right, we got one more. Somewhere. Yo... Is this where we trapped that thing? No? Maybe? This feels like, yeah, this is where we trapped that thing before. Now we can't even open it or interact with it. I see mold over there. How do I get back there, though? Through here. Mold, mold, mold. I thought I saw mold over here. God, the chanting's getting there. There, it's getting worse. All right, let's save our progress essentially. And I completed a countermeasure. Uh, we want something mold hosts. Yeah, why not? Fuck. Is there mold in here? Is this still parapsychology? Yep. Wait. Hey, hey. All right, we got all the mold holes. I need to kill 10? That object. Hey, what's up, bitch? Baby, I blew that guy right through the scope. That sounded weird. You know what I mean? Uh, where's the Rex ritual division? So we just need a, uh, oh, I can go this way. I recognize this. Uh, ritual division is up here, right? No, but there is this and then we can teleport there. That room is exactly like the one you fought the former in. It is. It's weird. This place is this place is all weird. Uh, ritual division. All right. <clears throat> we should be able to knock this out pretty quick. Well, already found one. Wait. That's an elevator. It's not. It can't be in the elevator. Ritual office? Okay, hold on. Ritual office. Okay, there's one in the office. Okay. I don't think we've been to the office either. How are we unlocking all these new areas? It must be building shit. It's gotta be building shifts. What's up, Blonde Dragon? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. That's because this is part of the Alan Wake universe. Massively connected to Alan Wake. So yeah, that makes sense. I agree with you though does remind me in a way. All right. Oh, we have been in here. Yeah, I've been in here. I think. Hey, I remember looking down on the ritual division. Yeah, we've been here. I just, I just, I just, I forgot. 
we are the chosen one. Yes. Reminds you of John Wick. Yeah, Jesse is a pretty badass version of John Wick, isn't she? Oh, come on. Come on, elevator. All right, that's one. We need two more. Looking for mold. Follow the fungi. That's what you should do at parties, too. Follow the fungi, right? I'm just kidding. Does this still count as ritual division? Hey! What up, boo? You got fucking smoked, dude. Uh, what is over here? Synchronicity Lab? Does that have its own name on this? It does. I see mold. So we're going. Mannequins. Fucking sussy bacos. More mold here. Oh, I hear something. He's up. He's up here. Yep. Listen to him. Got him. Alright, the rest of those went fairly easy. Central research was a bitch. We can get to Dr. Underhill. Excuse me? What was <laughs> I killed her. <laughs> speak to Dr. Underhill. We need central research for that. Best place to drop. Oh, we're right here. Hold on. This is the best place. Protective studies, central research. It's this way, right? I am at, yeah, nine hours, 24 minutes is what my stream thing says. I'm ending soon. There's just a couple things I want to wrap up here before I do that we're in the middle of. Ooh. Ooh. Up. Who needs fast travel when I move like this, dude? Mold. Uh, mold. The they won't be spreading any more mold. Well done. I'll send burn teams to sanitize the location. Okay. I'm beginning to wonder if these hosts are originating outside the threshold in independent patches of mold growth. You don't sound very optimistic. Optimism is for farmers. As my mother always said. What the fuck does that mean? I suppose you could now return to that hiss business you all seem so concerned about. Oh yeah, because it's not this a problem at all. Some incredible tunnel vision. Fucking weirdos. Two abilities. Oh, bunch of stuff. Mold removal complete. All right. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. Damn, I would have liked to have been able to clear up the. uh can't do the Langston thing because we need the level six thing. So let's go speak to Emily. Propel the story forward so that we're prepared for next time. Woo, baby. 
we just need a control point and to uh warp back or fast travel back to executive Nope, leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. Eh, eh, eh. I do have four though. I could do more health. Oh, it's only two to unlock the final energy level. That's interesting. It's also only two to unlock the final health level. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely do. We'll max out these so that we're good on energy and stuff. Then I would like to max out launch. And then I think I'm probably going to focus on this part of levitate. I haven't been really using the slam. And then if we have anything left over, it'll probably go into shield. Um, yeah, we should probably increase. That. When released, shield propels debris at nearby enemies. I need to unlock that. I need to unlock that. Okay. Uh, can I upgrade anything construct wise? When do I get surge? Probably have to progress the main story. Countermeasures. We're not going to get mold enemies because we're kind of done with that. So charge maneuvers. Use kill enemies with the service weapon in charge mode. Let's go ahead and switch that right now. Charge. And then fast travel back. Central exec executive right there. Man. Dude, I get in a rhythm when I play games this much. Like, I've played this game, like, what, going on 9, 8, 17, and then, like, four hours the day before. I played this game, like, 20 hours in the past three days. Holy shit, I've played a lot of, of gaming in, in the past three days. Uh, I'm in a rhythm. Like, I'm speeding through this. Like, I've, I've got shit memorized now and everything. All right. The resonance emitted from the All right, what you got to say? Antithetical to what do you got to say, Miss Emily? After all these years, AKA Dylan Pope. is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. She's talking about her maybe brother Dylan, so remember? Is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? <laughs> of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse? Be careful. All right, let's go talk to our brother real quick. Let's see if she has anything else to say. There's a file over there, and then I would like to talk to our brother. Hi, Jesse. Blackrock, Arish. Okay, let's, yeah, let's go through this. I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that Blackrock? The Bureau has used Blackrock almost exclusively for containment purposes. See, I say branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, <laughs> She stabbing, gets so excited gouging. about stuff. <laughs> Sorry. I've been I want to stab things with Blackrock. I got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. She wants to stab things. This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. With him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the hiss. I am streaming tomorrow. To we'll talk about that here in a little bit. The hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if his resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the his resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around. Whoa. 
How is HRA production coming? That's on? the thing she's wearing, right? Better that protects against the hiss. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. And they're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. All right. I should be Ooh. going. All right, let's go talk to my brother. Uh, Ruby's laying in her oh, dog bed in the living room, sleeping. Oh wait, there was a file. There's two files. Speech analysis. Uh, analysis of his threat part three. If we understand the hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences if the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word used is one. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You want, you must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you the hiss are referring to? Does the hiss believe humanity, possibly all non-hiss life, wants to join it? To be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most used words are through and time. Is this possibly the hiss stating how they arrived here? or an indication of its age. There is no clear intention in the words. Dismissing the incantation as nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommend, is beyond idiotic. Refer to redacted for the full report. And then, hi, Ruby. Actually, <laughs> speaking of Ruby, all right, listen, I want, I want to end this by talking to Dylan, but Ruby's right here, so I think that means she wants to go potty. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take uh, just a couple minutes cause she won't wanna stay outside long in the dark. I'm gonna take a couple minutes and uh, walk her outside, okay? I will be right back. I'll put on some musica for you guys. All right.
what is up? I'm back. All right. Let's uh knock this thing out, huh? Analysis of his threat part four. To examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Prelim preliminary models indicate ground zero of the evasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer. How did the HIS get past the internal lockdown? How does HIS resonance advance through space deliberately or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world, a cross-dimensional destination? All right. <clears throat> All right. Assets. We got a new thing. Oh, good girl. She laying in her doggy bed near me. All right. What is this? Why is she telling me to? She have to write everything in her. Polaris is telling me. Fucking Marshall. What is that? Hold on. What the fuck? What did I just pick up? I got a new mission. Speak with Dylan on the upper level. Cleanse and maintain the mannequin. Ask Aresh about the jukebox token. Okay. Oh, remember the jukebox? That was an altered item or either an object of power. It was somewhere within the facility here. Um, He's on the top level. Where is Dylan? I want to talk to him and that's how I want to... Oh my God. Hope's promotion. Dr. Darling has personally recommended Miss Pope for a promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing many ongoing research matters. See research reports redacted for breakthroughs resulting from her work. According to her colleagues, Pope has displayed a keen eye for detail and a quick grasp of paranatural concepts. She is professional and diligent, though some of her co-workers complain of her social disinterest. So she's a sussy baka, like a lot of us have said. The review committee approves this recommendation and promotes Miss Pope to the position of research specialist. Okay. I don't think, were these office areas open before or did all this just kind of, God damn. Collective un unconsciousness. Uh, examination of paranatural topics, collective unconsciousness. Collective unconsciousness is defined as a form of the unconsciousness that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage. See Young Report. Pages 12 through 34. Through this collective unconsciousness, we unknowingly ad attribute a series of images and archetypes to all elements in our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. The in this internal belief in the power of images shared by a massive population is redacted in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of redacted, redacted, exuded is attracted to the best representation of that image, imbuing a single object with massive amounts of redacted. Theoretically, places of power could likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained collective belief. Okay. So, enough people to believe in it, right? And it, it, it's an object of power or a place of power or whatever. What do you know about this I didn't have level 4 clearance previously. Holy shit! What kind of psychopath sticky noted the fuck out of this place, dude? God damn. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. Uh, ammo refund 17 on hit. All right. I'm not doing I'm not uh wait. What was that? It was that ammo mod. All right. Let's just get rid of a couple so that we can pick that up. 18% damage boost. Get rid of that. Uh we can pick this up now. There we go. Sticky note complaint. <laughs> to whom it may concern, in case you are not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. Now my office is unusable now. Now my office is unusable now. I will be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. Sincerely, Jay Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. <laughs> the sticky note duplicated everywhere, dude. Did you see that hiss they marched through here? What is this? Why the fuck didn't we put a bullet in that thing's head? I heard it's the director's brother. Would you shoot your brother? That's no one's brother anymore. He's the enemy, plain and simple. You bitch. I will shoot you. Anything in here? All right, where is Dylan? Like, legitimately. 
Turn the radio on, dude. Why are you just standing there like that? You okay, brother? I think he's in that room right there. Just making sure there's no other notes. Yep. He's got to be in there. All right. Before we do that, though, there's been a bunch of new stuff. Nope. I hear hiss. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm cutting this because there's going to be a cutscene. You are alarmed through time. The thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door. Push the thing through the surface into the wet. You've always been a mirror. You are this to be true. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time, the thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, Am I still having problems with the raccoons? No, we racked we wrapped our back steps in chicken wire so that they couldn't get up the deck. <laughs> That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. What? I'm P6. P6. Oh. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers oh. through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. That's fucking creepy. They sound good. They make me feel good. You're fine, Ruby. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to help me. She's talking to Polaris, right? The entity in her head. You! You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only true of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop it! Orange peel. Shit. Shit. What the fuck does that mean? You. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. An object of power. She didn't help when Trunch took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... The hiss? They opened the door up to the hiss. Yep. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the altered world event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I near warm as a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. And now so it's like, baby, 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 baby. Oh! Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Get rid of who? Polaris? Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. 
You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. Are we going to be presented with a... Okay, nobody spoil. I, I wonder if we're going to be presented with a choice between the Bureau and the Hiss at the end. We got clearance level six, finally. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off That's to a weird. Good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. Wait, what? But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names? Could no. Be don't you find that weird? What? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Wait. Is she trying to mess with me? Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. Is. <laughs> are they suggesting that Dylan and Jesse are the same person potentially? Like maybe when the slide projector ultra world event happened, that it like cloned jesse or dylan and made them the opposite sex or one what like they got split because they were traveling from there one of them's from another dimension or something holy shit one person but split yeah i know something that is very something's i think that's important like really important maybe dylan's still in there maybe there's a way to reach him i'd like to talk to my brother please Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. Is it the same dream? This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. Okay, hold on. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way. Forever. Her name, Jesse's Forever. name is spelled the male way. That's a good nice. point, Misty. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real like anymore. Like building shifts. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. <laughs> Wait. You couldn't stop playing. They're breaking the fourth wall. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. What the fuck? She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. And something, something, something. <laughs> what? 
And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. What the fuck? Dude, all right, does he have anything else to say? Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting Another dream. dream? Holy shit, dude. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Uh, that's what I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I oh my god, it's, the mocap is so creepy on and this the guy. the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. What the fuck? He keeps he keeps hissing. More and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> for the record, that will never happen. Okay. Not as long as I'm alive. I don't know if you guys have caught this, but I just realized every time he like is doing an S pronunciation, he hisses. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked. No oh, shit, sister. is there more? Really? This dream, like all dreams now. I know his voice keeps sounding like it's in our head real. randomly. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams I was in a dark place and there was a dark man there his name was Mr. Door <gasps> Mr. Door from the Alan Wake games me that there are many worlds side by side on top of each other some inside of others oh my god in one world there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop the Alan Wake, Alex In Casey. In world, the cop was real. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. What the fuck? But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? Not Holy shit! Idea myself. Time, I mean, we kind of knew what Mr. Door was from playing Alan Wake 2, but this came out before Alan Wake 2. This confirms Mr. Door is an intradimensional being who has access to all the dimensions. Oh my god. Here we go again. Once more with feeling. <laughs> Once more with feeling. Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse... He zoomed out to the corner. This very dream. This very dream! <sighs> oh, shit. He said just now! And repeated it again now! I'm standing there and watching and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, villain. That's good. Is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? I don't think I could talk to him anymore. <sighs> I don't know. Holy shit, so you could only, you only need to talk to him that one time, and then you could leave. So you might not get all of that. Oh my god, I... 
Uh, okay, this is a really good place to stop because my mind is a little bit blown right now and I'm tired and I don't know how to fully process all of that. Somebody remind me, we might need to start next stream and rewatch some of that because there were so many revelations in those dreams. It's insane. First off, I think the big one for this game, right? is that whatever altered world event happened in ordinary and whatever the slide projector that object of power does something funky is going on between jesse and dylan right they're either the same person they were split or something by the altered world event or one of them or both of them are from another dimension or other dimensions or polaris came into into their reality or their dimension at the time and she picked and she like i don't know latched on to jesse and then and then split jesse from dylan or i don't i don't know i don't know this is insane <laughs> this game holy shit and then the connections to alan wake there dear god the mr door connection and then the confirmation i remember playing alan wake 2 and a couple of people were telling me about control and they were like there's a there's a huge like important uh background on mr door in control that was it right there i don't know if there's more but that was it he just told us that mr door exists between all dimensions and can move between all of them open doors between all of them i mean mr door is like an extra interdimensional being whatever you want to call it and basically has access to all the parallel universes all the other dimensions this is crazy i fluffy kids yes i am playing the dlc for this game i am i'm currently playing the uh ultimate edition so we ha i have the dlc unlocked and we will be playing the dlc 100 percent um all right i want to go to the control point and save that was insane i hold on can i do an astral cut wait jukebox tokens single construct one token oh i can construct tokens a thousand okay we'll figure that out. we got to talk to a resh about that uh we'll do that next time though mind fucking blown i don't i've never gotten another outfit that's weird all right i gotta end it there guys i've been streaming hold on oh no i can't I, i'm like 40 seconds away from having streamed for 10 hours it's gotta be an even 10 right I can't end it before it's an even 10. <laughs> Aldo Reno, what's up? Welcome. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell you, Chris, welcome. I hope you're doing good. Unfortunately, to tell you, we are ending stream here in just like a minute. I wanted to hit the 10 hour mark though. Dude, what a game. What a story. I, I don't know what the writers were on when they made this, but it is good. I, listen, it's all connecting together too. I, we don't have all the answers and everything yet, but it is... This is as good a narrative as Alan Wake 2 is. And Alan Wake 2 won awards for its narrative. This game won awards too. What, the, like over 80? I think we talked about the first the first time. It was insane. 10 hours, baby! 10 motherfucking hours of a stream. 10 hours. So yesterday, we shattered the stream time record at like 8 hours and 30 some minutes. And today, we did it by an hour and a half. 10 hours holy shit all right i'm tired i'm going to bed you guys are tired a lot of you have been here the whole time i really appreciate all the support thank you for all the love i am gonna stream tomorrow listen i'm gonna stream tomorrow my family gets home tomorrow uh around dinner time or a little bit after so tomorrow's stream is not gonna be 10 hours <laughs> i can't do like three back to back like eight nine ten hour streams but tomorrow's stream, um, I don't know when it's going to start yet. Probably lunchtime or a little bit after, somewhere in there. I have a couple of, like, chores and things I need to do in the morning. As soon as I get those done, I'll hop on. I'll make a thumbnail. I'll throw up the stream thing and try to give everybody, like, 30 minutes to an hour notice. I I'll ballpark. Let's ballpark it. Sometime between 12 and, like, 3 o'clock, I will start stream. Just keep an eye on the channel for the notification. I have to end stream probably around seven. So whenever we start, we'll just go till about seven o'clock. You know, I'll have to take a break here and there for Ruby and stuff, but that's what we'll do. All right. Hey, 
Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Be awesome. Stay awesome.